Hello, and welcome back to Exandria Unlimited yeah. Calamity. I'm your humble GM, Brandon Lee Mulligan. It is so thrilling to invite you all back to Abelir, the city of crowns. Uh, everyone, why is everyone so nervous? Yeah. 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 Why is, why everyone feels fine. It's all good. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, we now tell you a tale of a long lost city in the ancient history of Exandria. A city that was long gone by the time of our modern adventures here at Critical Role, but it flew once. How much longer it may fly is up to our wonderful heroes here. And uh, to do a quick little old, little old recap, um, in our last episode that we left off, uh, strings were brought together as a conspiracy was unlocked. The Ring of Brass, those members of the High Society of Avalir who do all the moving and shaking, gathered together at the Feast of Amir at the Palazzo Porco and realized something was amiss. Artifacts of the Archmage Vespin Chloris had come aboard and talking to a young Pervon Sewell and putting together clues from a crime scene in a psychometric chamber, we realized something most foul had been attempted. And what's worse, it seems to have succeeded. We also now find ourselves on the eve of the replenishment, the most significant, to call it a holiday is almost, it's every seven years, you know? It's a incredibly significant, potent, magical ritual that the city of Avalir conducts as it lands back on its terrestrial sister, sister, sister city, Kathmoira, and there are many important arcane elements of this that our architect Arcane Laren has clued us into, but also on this eve of an apogee solstice in which the impossible has become possible and Avalir's crown jewel, the center of its arcane research, the astral layrite, an engine that would allow the city to travel not only across the face of Exandria, but to realms supernal, where a city of mortals white, might walk as equals with the gods themselves. Uh, we are returning uh, after uh, seeing the lay, after seeing the astral lay right after attending uh, the the Hall of Records at the Herald's Tome, where we saw evidence that a, Vesp, a younger Vespin Chloris, while alive, had spoken of these matters to none other than Lycretia Hollow and Loris of the Weaver's Mask. Um, our architect Arcane and our Keeper of Scrolls busted the door down and <laughs> killed Magister Micah Cormorant in a single round. Um, you know, if you're planning on killing all your PCs, don't be extra unfair. Run that shit rules is written. That guy would be dead. He'd be dead so fast. You gotta, you gotta play it as it lays. So, and our first night in Guildmaster Golden Scythe went to the Hall of Prophecy, where we discovered that perhaps fewer oracles had gone mad than we otherwise might have thought. Perhaps they were simply doing exactly as they should, and that uh, the powers that be wished to call it something else. And we had one last interaction between our first night and the Lord of the Hells. What that could portend, I cannot say, because what I know is uh, as our three groups of heroes spoke, they decided to all come back together because uh, the helmswoman of Avalir, the guild master of the Navigator's Guild, Akami Ro, in reporting no problems whatsoever to her direct report, the architect Arcane, something terrible befell her. Rushing to the dawn's ledge, you arrived and in the middle of the street found Lycretia Hollow, member of the Ring of Silver, dean of the throne of necromancy, who had earlier that evening left a vial of poison as a gift for Pesha Porco. So All <laughs> things end, she wrote. Lives, stories, even ages. Without any further ado, I feel like we're gonna have fun. I feel like there's a lot of fun. Is that I'm the word? Yeah. I'm glad you feel that uh -huh. way. My brain and my butthole are in hell right now. <laughs> hey, well, a lot's about to join them, folks. Get ready for tonight's episode.
Hello! They were making chicken noises. Welcome back to Critical Role. They were, and I'm and I'm letting them know, and the people deserve to know. Since we're nervous, okay? Since we're nervous. We're stalling. Energy, Brennan. Is it a snitch or am I a reporter to the people? You know, oh, am I? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Appreciate it. So, uh, we return to the neighborhood of Dawn's Ledge. Uh, the fireworks extravaganza is in a momentary lull overhead as it prepares for its grand finale. And you see uh, some little pieces of illumination around you. This is the easternmost side of the city near the helm itself, the headquarters of the Navigator's Guild. But why well, describe it more with my mouth when I could just show you where oh, you are? <laughs> oh, 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 we got we banners go. and shit! We got, we got oh, banners and shit. Wow. Uh, wow. Once again. It's uh, so beautiful. Oh, this is the life. Whoa, wait, what is that big, like, telescopey thing? Um, the big telescopy thing. Get up, I'm moving around. Get up, move around, oh, see what you're It's an observatory. It's an observatory. Yes, we love learning. Look at this white horse looking uh, like Artax over here. Beautiful. Oh, Artax. Oh, no. Invoke Artax. <laughs> um, I'm doing that. Bardo's huge. <laughs> I'm doing it. Uh, so, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you know uh, that observatory right there, that's the helm. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, that is uh, that's the, the helm of the Navigators Guild. Um, that's where you. Uh, that's where theoretically a Kami row would be. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys to place yourselves uh, where you would have come from. Um, so first thing I need to do is actually give all of you your miniatures. Oh, the gorgeous day. Oh, the gorgeous day, oh, Nidus. He is. Uh, oh, my pass gosh, this over oh, to you majestic uh, Loquacious. Man. Oh, wow. Xerxes. Oh, look Hell yeah. yeah. There we go. Thank you. Give um, me my griffin. <laughs> uh, here is... There's Sarah. Oh, watch wow. out. Uh, and of course, our uh, archmages who have already uh, seen some use of their minis. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, here you go. Yeah. Oh, and there is one more mini. Yes, 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 um, yes, yes, yes. This yes. is yes. Tempest. Oh, what? Kitty. <laughs> what a beautiful baby. Let's go ahead and pass <laughs> Tempest on down to yes. Circular Res. Ah. Um, so, oh, dude, this paint job is sick. It's very, very sick. He's all spacey and galaxy. Dude, he got Cosmos in his wings. He got um, Cosmos in his wings. <laughs> wow. He got wings in my Cosmos. It yeah, is <laughs> true. Dude, great. Taste the taste. Great. Yeah, um, okay. okay. Let's do the Can they see this? Is that, are they not? Someone can. Someone can. <laughs> You'll see it. Oh, Zoom and enhance. Right? We'll take pictures. Yeah. Is that a big old broomstone? That's a big old broomstone right oh. there. Brennan, for us, which direction were we uh, heading, and which direction is our our felled uh, person that works? Um, do you guys think you would have taken back roads to arrive here, or would you have just gone by Direct, the straightest route? Right. Direct. Yeah, whatever's the best. Uh, you will all be starting right from here. The sky. When somebody gets cut off, going. <laughs> <laughs> you just um, go. yeah. So uh, everyone, feel free to pass up your minis. They'll go right here. Um, uh, and Damn, I will assume so that you are traveling uh, together for safety as you arrive, but. Uh, let me know. Let me know about the placement that you all want. <clears throat> um, I mean, yeah, I don't think we we expected to have to kill it, or I guess we we knew, we knew someone was in the back for me. So I'm in the front. I'll take the front as well. Cool. cool. But uh, how do I? I'm riding Tempest. Uh, then would you're you be overhead? And you're yeah. your guy. Oh uh, yeah. I get to ride this dude. You got it. So yeah, how do I? Should we like you know? We got stand. We've you got tack. Yeah. We got it all. And we then I'll all, just baby. let him represent both of us, I suppose. Because yeah. Uh, well, you can do that. Or if you want to be extra underneath, I guess. You want to be extra cute? Can I see your oh, dude for a yes, second? Yes. Oh. yes. Uh, this is one of the first things that me and Matt bonded over was this little pieces of uh, blue tack, courtesy of Mr. Rick Perry, who showed it to me. Uh, it's a wonderful trick, uh, and that's how we're going to get Xerxes where he belongs, on the back of his celestial oh steed. I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh. Cry for us. Save it for us, It's a Why? It's like, I can't ex express the, like, it's not oh, adrenaline, it's, it's just like, 
the so tough like childlike. Of course. Yeah, the sort of yeah. a butt standing yeah. thing yeah. that wants to happen he here that. a little bit. Every time he he's like a gondolier. He rides he like, a, like, a, like a circus rider. <laughs> 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 I think Matt made that joke like 12 years ago, oh, really? probably. <laughs> yes. Every time the beast cries, a griffin gets its wings. Yes. Oh. There's so many griffins. Now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lycrecia Hollow. She doesn't need to go hard with all the electricity and stuff. Though. She can just chill. Wow. Uh, with uh, some protectors. Uh, a skeletal guard surrounds her. So we're not even hiding. We're just, we're, she's just being out with it. Vibes. Uh, fully fully Scummies. out and about with it. Um, she is surrounded by her skeletal guard. Damn! Uh, as a necromancer, I think in this age, you know, in a, in a sort of place like Avalier, there's not a religious rule against animating the undead. It's just gauche. Oh, uh, oh, man. So, um, nice. could you imagine? Uh, oh. There's undead creatures? There's undead creatures. She has some undead animated nearby her. So, um, I'm just like a little wicked. I want to get real specific with my positioning. I yeah. want to be just like. Uh, right above the front line, just mm -hmm. like 10 feet, just barely above them. So like, they have griffin feet, like kind of right above them. Amazing, so possible. yeah, you are like hovering over yeah. your allies here, uh, extending any, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I got a, oh, yes. I got, a, I got a paladin, the paladin, so. Yep. Um, for all of you here, uh, uh, I'll say, Sarah, you immediately noticed that those figures you saw on the roof, mm -hmm. Vanish from sight. Cool, 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 How cool, cool, cool. Were there on the uh, give me a perception check. We'll call it a DC 25. Oh DC 25? That's unfair. <laughs> uh, 28. Whoa. Let's go. That's fair. I mean, that beats a 25. <laughs> <laughs> that is. It sure does. Um, on that roll, uh, there were four figures. Um, and I'll actually go ahead and place those because you would recognize all of them um, that have now been rendered in uh, that would now be rendered invisible. Um, so unless you have a means of seeing invisibility, you can't see these. But Sarah, you clock and on that telepathic bond, oh, no. uh, oh, wow. will be able to communicate uh, to everybody here what is going on. We're out. We're parked. <laughs> <laughs> Another one here, and another one Damn, perched. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Did they this is exciting. Look at this map. This is so cool. One guy in the back that's close to us, that's within 60 feet. Dang. Yeah. Actually, go have him post up right here. Um. So, uh, that is where uh, you find yourself. Um. Uh, as they cast spells, uh, uh, we can check the range if you would like me to check the range. No. Waste your yeah. shit on these people. Yeah, okay. Oh, we go. I just yelled, you get one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lycretia observes all of you walking towards the helm. Ah, the Ring of Brass. Happy Eve of the replenishment. What brings six such important functionaries all the way to this corner of Avalier? Why were we coming over here? We are coming to check on the Helms one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just checking on uh, the landing of the city, as is my job and right. What are you and your little skeletons doing? As she's talking, I draw my sword, and it starts crackling with divine energy, and starts to pulse. I understand that you may have some questions. Perhaps it would be easier for some friends to answer. Uh, Magister friend! Oh! Um, Who's here? <laughs> Not him. Not that guy. We don't know, we don't know this guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, this guy came to me earlier. Sure, we should have killed him there. We don't know him. Should have killed Bayless? him. Bayless? Can you imagine? <laughs> I attack him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, you see walking out of the door of the helm uh, and approaching out to about here. Damn, middle of the street. Middle of the street. Um, you see a sort of reedy magister step out. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dean Hollow. I hope everything is all right. Helmswoman Rose indisposed at the moment, but she sends her regards to all of you here in Collected. Um, give me a perception check again. Actually, and anyone can do this, but. Yeah. Dude, let's go. Na uh, natural 18 for a 31. Jesus. Nice. Okay, I'll let him do it. Yeah. Um, Sarah, your training is all about spotting illusions, shapeshifters, uh, all sorts of magic before it can become a problem. Milas is a thin and reedy man, very slight. Uh, the front door of the helm is a broad door, about eight and a half feet up and about, you know, three, maybe like, like four, four or more feet wide. Hefty door. As Milas, this thin and reedy man, steps through it, he goes, Ooh. <sighs> So he has back problems. <laughs> uh, you watch him. The stoop is is one thing. It's really that shifting of his shoulders. Four foot door frame should be wide enough for anyone to just walk straight through. So he's got something up that's uh, hiding the way he really looks. I I hope there's no trouble to have caused you to come racing here to Dawn's Ledge. Uh, from whence did you all arrive? <laughs> come on, oh uh, we, we were... <laughs> I'm here to conduct an interview. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, an interview. Uh, we, uh... These these fine friends of mine were helping with some of my equipment. We'd hope to sit sit down and uh, discuss your reactions to the replenishment. And uh, are you excited about it? I mean, what, what was your name again, sir? Uh, go ahead and give me a deception. And I know you're very good at it, but this will be with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Not great. Not great. Oh. Uh, okay, that's twenty-two. You see, I'm going to roll an insight. Oh, I'm afraid my constitution fails me. Perhaps tomorrow might be a more advantageous time to conduct such an interview. I'm sure you all have many responsibilities to attend to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why are they stalling us? I just kick up. <laughs> wings out, and I'm gonna uh, fly up to the top of this sort of. You kick off, and you hear Lycrecia go, Knowly! Oh, run for that! Oh. And uh, everyone roll initiative. Oh. Oh. What language Christ. was that? Uh, infernal. Uh, Who speaks infernal? Damn. Uh, uh, Raise your hand. Uh, uh, no. Raise your no, hand. Do not speak infernal. Guys, electives courses are important. No, Did we all hear her yell knauth, basically, but in like. Knauth. Um, I have comprehend oh, languages, so but you know. Can I have advantage? Oh, I rolled a 25 <laughs> perception, by the way. I mean, a uh, uh, deception, by the way. The range? I, can't, I forgot. I can't roll below a 25. Right. Amazing. <laughs> Which one do I want? Mother. Yeah, I um. Never. I'll. I'll. Can I throw up a? Well, she already did it. Never mind. If oh, I no, do. No, it's not. It wasn't. Right. Too, I just needed to know for my own information. That's right. That's right. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, comprehend languages. Oh, oh yes. Oh, if to I understand. understand. Oh, tongues. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, everyone. Oh, wait, I'm rolling initiative. Oh God. Oh, yeah. so much. Oh, God. So much. So much. Oh, the music. Oh, I'm stressed. Okay. All right. It's funny okay. when you're the one that's not funny. Every time I look at someone else's rolls, it feels like I'm like coughing. What are you doing over there? Uh, everyone, so we'll go around the table uh, and let me know what you rolled. Nidus, what did you roll? 21. 21. Um, Pesha. Uh, also rolled a 21. <gasps> Dang. Uh, Xerxes. <laughs> 10. Uh, 10, all right. Uh, Loquacious. 17. 17. Laren. Four. Four. 
And Sarret. 17. And Sarret. So we're Sarret. Well, I like that you guys That's good. You. Yeah. Patient. Uh, Who has the higher dex between you two? I think me. Okay. That's gonna be, uh, no. Yes, me. You? This is a yeah. plus three. Sure. Um. Sarah, okay. Loquacious, Cirrus, Blair. Nine is Pasha, Blair. 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 You are, oh, sorry, Nidus and Pesha, you have split initiative and you act first. Okay. Um, split initiative. Uh, over the telepathic bond, uh, I think uh, the Infernal is kicked up. They seem to be in attack mode. What, uh, are we attempting uh, to reach the helm? Or uh, what, what exact, are we? Subdue them! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> first night kicking into high gear. Oh, yeah. uh, we love it, okay. we love it. Okay, how much Big space is energy. between me and uh, homie, uh, homie, homie doth friend? Uh, the friend. Oh, Mr. Milus friend? Yes, my friend. My friend. Uh, hell yeah, let's go ahead and do this then. Um, bada boom. Uh, between you and Milus friend, you're talking about uh, 70 feet. 70 feet, okay, coolio. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> all right, we're going full attack mode. No, we're not holding back. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drop two sorcery points for a quicken spell summoning a uh, draconic spirit. Yes! Uh, wait, talk about the dragon, I gotta go get a dragon. Yeah. Uh, gotta go get a dragon. Get a dragon. As, is, as is the role, as, as comes with the title of being the dragon uh, of Avalir, uh, you are given uh, a protective spirit Ba uh, that is the uh, the original dragon who guarded the horde uh, that became, that is what the Golden Scythe, uh, our entire oh, holdings are yes. based on the death of the, the horde of the dragon that used to guard uh, the top of this mountain. Um, and so uh, as as mm -hmm. is, it comes with, it comes with the role. You get a, you get a free dragon. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Who Bad here, guys. Who here speaks Draconic? <laughs> um, uh, uh, Nidus, what does this spell look like as you pop this off? I think it's fully a coin <laughs> that I have, that I keep in my breast pocket, uh -huh. that I pull out. Uh, and I, what is the name of the dragon, uh, the original dragon uh, that, uh, uh, I don't know, had its horde on Toramuda? Yes. Um, Brimside. <laughs> Uh, hold on one second. Um, oh, this is in a different lore document. Why didn't I put this in the main one? Uh -huh. um, get it, get it. I want to know its name. Um, uh, the dragon of Avalir, the coin goes up, uh, and the spiritual form of Shao Korjan. Uh, <laughs> Shao Korjan uh, appears and says, as the gold, you see that uh, its spirit appears as the gold piece leaves, the first gold piece that was taken from its hoard, and its spirit is summoned in its ghost, grasping for its old hoard. Oh, no. uh, and the coin disappears in midair, reappearing in your pocket, uh, and it turns to you and says what it has said every time you summoned it before. Is my memory mocked anew? <laughs> It says that every time? Every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is, they're 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 is my, <laughs> yes, Shao Korshan. Enemies ahead. Um, and I'm gonna gesture to Miles Friend. Hell yeah, and you're just gonna let it just rip towards uh, so him? So I'm going to, uh, I would like to uh, ride it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna hop on its back and we're together going to ride at Miles Friend. It has a fly speed of 60. Uh, I also take one of its resistances uh, when it's uh, summoned, mm -hmm. so I will now have resistance to necrotic damage. Yes! Um, and the two of us are going to just uh, fly at Miles' friend. I'll hop off and I'm going to take two attacks, uh, and it will also take its attacks. Oh, God. oh, you're hopping off when you get there? Yes, I will. Copy that. Or unless you'll let me attack from Dragonback. I don't, I don't see any reason Wait, not I'm to. I'm swinging from the back of a dragon. <laughs> Uh, Zip. fuck yeah. Zip. Uh, Amazing. Hell yes. Um, big opening move, big opening move. Uh -huh. um, ah, ah. 
we've lost the guildmaster. Um, no. uh, okay. As you approach, out of his feet, whatever you'd like. Uh, so the dragon has them because you can summon the dragon a little bit ahead of you. Yes. Move. Um, it has sixty fly. It has a speed of it has a speed of sixty fly. Cool. So you use half your movement to sort of jump up, and then half to, or actually, yeah, you use half your movement to mount up. Um, the dragon descends on Myla's friend. Go ahead and take your attacks. Great. Yes. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, okay. <laughs> you can. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Uh, net twenty. Let's go. Uh, I'm the f- uh, so the first one, I, and on the second attack, I will flourish. Um, so that'll be we'll do make that a defensive flourish. Um, so first attack is going to do uh, just a cool ten points of damage. Bless you. Second attack um, will do nine, eighteen, uh, eighteen plus four. Uh, is 22, so 22, uh, so 32 points of damage total. Uh, the, from, second, sorry, the second one was 22, correct? The second one was 22, first one was 10, for a total of 32. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my AC, which one of my, uh, the D10s do you want me to make my, uh, uh, my bump to AC? Which, oh, uh, uh, go with your first one. Okay, I was honestly too excited and now all the dice are moved. I think it was four or five. <laughs> um, oh yeah, great. So uh, we'll say it's a four bump to AC. So yeah. we're at Ooh. 22 wow. AC. Uh, and then the dragon will go? Go for it. Okay, okay, yeah. dragon goes. And he'll take all of his attacks on Miles' friend. Uh, let's see. The okay. name Miles Friend Milus. is slowly becoming I Miles Friend. Miles Friend. Who <laughs> brought Miles Friend? <laughs> Half the spells level uh, rounded down. There's two <laughs> attacks. Uh, uh, two attacks, which is plus your attell spec. What's my, my attell spec? That's plus. Just everyone's five. making okay. appearance at this party. Uh, that's going to be a. 14 and a 7 to hit on its uh on its uh on its attacks. Mm-hmm. Either one of those hit? 14 and 7 do not hit. Great. This is a dragon we're talking about. It right? is a dragon. <laughs> okay. Uh and then uh uh it uh Miles Friend needs to make a dexterity saving throw against the DC. Miles friend. <laughs> friend needs to make a spell uh, DC 18. <laughs> he no, succeeds Miles. on that save. Great. Miles, get over here and tell your friend. Uh, and he'll take three more points of damage. <laughs> um, you see, uh, so first of all, um, Nidus, go ahead and give me an Arcana, Ar- Arcana check. Oh, you got it. Also made no perception checks, truly just wailed on this man. Uh, Arcana, yeah. 29. Um, 29. Uh, so first of all, I don't think anyone here has seen the Guild Master of the Golden Scythe pop off in a second. No, no. A former pirate captain leaps aboard a magical, like, translucent, glittering dragon, um, and uh, take to the sky, <laughs> you swing at Milas, hitting his neck twice, going in about an eighth of an inch. Mm. Uh, and you immediately can tell that something is wrong. Number one, you know that those blows were deadlier in general, Mm -hmm. and you can only assume, you don't know what to assume at first. I'm gonna roll some concentration checks. That's a natural one on a concentration check. Yes! Reveal your secrets. Oh no! You begin to understand why your weapon attacks were not as effective as you would have otherwise wanted them to be as the true form. You grabbed the wrong mini. No, no, I grabbed the right mini. Oh! Uh, uh, Milas goes, <laughs> Guildmaster, if we had just handled business <laughs> uh, and spreads out his wingspan wide, you look at a true devil uh, beholding you here uh, in the uh, holding you here in the middle of the street, Nidus. Any bonus actions from you? Uh, that was everything. That was that bonus was, action. Yep. Action. Uh, uh, yeah. Pesha, you watch the Guildmaster facing down um, a being of the hells in front of you that has not walked Avalier in your lifetime. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm, I'm up, yeah? Mm-hmm. Is there heat radiating off, radiating off of it as well? Because there's like a shimmer in the air, or is he just there? Mm. Um, 
the stark and clear mundanity with which this creature is here, he's not wreathed in flames, it looks like some kind of devil. Uh, you smell a stink of like, matted fur, uh, blood drips off of him. It's the blood, it's like the blood of a lather, like a horse that's being run to death. Jesus um, oh uh, wow. And uh, wow. there's a dull red to his eyes, like when you think a fire has all the way gone out and you like kick a log and a couple dull red glows come out, coming out of its eyes. Um, it is a being of malevolent will rendered here in physical form. Oh man, oh man. No big. How tall is he? We can still Not that tall. I would say he's a good. I would say he's a good fifteen feet tall. Got it. All right. Um, Pacer thinks to herself, "Well, dragon beats demon," and I really don't like uh, what um, what's her butt, Miss Lycratia over here, is Spartan. Um, so I'm just going to kind of take a few steps forward and take my orb, and you see it burst into flame and uh, it, it kind of starts to levitate in the air for a little bit as a meteor comes striking Hello. down and I do a fireball on yes. her and her little uh, skeletal minions. Hell yes. What is the range on fireball? It's 150 feet, so hopefully I'll move up if I need it. Cool, cool. I think you should be good. Um, Cause that's 80 right there. Okay. So you are good to fire it from right where you are if you would like. I will just kind of fire it and then I'm gonna kind of tuck. Shit, there's there's people on the roof. Yeah. Mages. Mages on the roof. Um, can I like just even just kind of peek in these little pillars in here, kind of take a little half cover? Do you want to take some half cover? Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. Okay. Uh, good, good instinct. Um, you duck into the pillars there. Yeah, I'm in there. Uh, you are in there. Use your imagination. Um, uh, hell yeah. You uh, duck into that uh, place there. And actually, I believe these are all movable. Oh, oh there you go. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, go for it. Uh, you can. Well, before you roll, actually, I'm going to see one last thing here. What is this? What is don't this? Like that. I don't, don't like that at all. Um, and uh, Pesha, your instinct as a wizard gets you just out of the 60 foot range. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and the other mage who could hit you doesn't have line of sight. So you're good to go. Ooh. All right, 10d6, let's go. 6, 12, 14, uh, 16, plus 3, 19. Um, 20. Six, thirty, four. Thirty-four. Come on, man. Uh, Thirty-four fire damage. Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I just want to get rid of those scalies. So, uh, so I have good news and bad news. We're going to talk about the bad news first. Oh, uh, God. Uh, I'm going to, as this begins, uh, the first thing we're going to do is talk about Lycretia Hollow. And I'm going to let you know that Lycretia uh, wants a roll of 11 or higher right here. And I'll roll it in front of the board to be. Uh, as, a, for, as a kindness? As a kindness. So that you know we're all on the straight and narrow. 17. Uh, so, you duck uh, underneath those pillars uh, in the tower on the corner of the street. Lycretia looks at you and says, Pesha, we've worked together for so long. Your fireball streaks from your hand, and because you're hiding under there, it can't arc up, so you see a bead of flame zoom out, uh, uh, Nidus, like right underneath your dragon, zoo! Uh, and you see Lycretia says, to the other side. Her eyes roll up in her head and she vanishes uh, and uh, she is gone as she disappears. Gone. gone. Uh, it does not look like a teleportation, but she has nonetheless vanished. However, that was so much damage, we don't even have to roll saves for these guys. They are obliterated. Yes! Um, all of the skeletons Show are consumed. Up. Consumed in flame. Uh, any bonus actions from Pesha? Damn. No, just taking out the trash. She's not gone. <laughs> Come on. She's not gone. Mm -hmm. She's not gone. No, she did some like. She's like. She's um, yeah. or something. I'll actually say because you were aiming right at her. Uh, go ahead and give me a. Um, uh, give me a. Arcana check. Okay. <laughs> ah, Twelve. <laughs> No idea what she did. Um, <laughs> something bad. But you're the, dragon, even the dragon's in the way. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> even if it's somewhat translucent. Uh, even on a 12, you were dealing with a ready to action. She had something up the sleeve, like ready for something to pop off. As soon off. as something pops off, okay. Um, uh, she ready. Uh, Patient, that is your turn. Okay. Uh, now. Oh, it's Sarah. Unless they have higher. Mm -hmm. We don't know where to go. Uh, our Milus, if that is his real name, is going to step up. Oh, it's backwards, so it's. Salam. 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 That's not right. 22. <laughs> that's one hit. That's not right. Yes. Sal. Yes. Sam. Sammy. Uh, Nidus. Um, uh, Milus na uh, lashes out with a claw, deals you 18 points of damage. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and it's going to come around with a tail attack as well. I thank I thank the Lord for that for that good speech from mm -hmm. uh, from our friend. Uh -huh. um, and Milas whips around with a barbed tail that you can see is dripping venom, and uh, and you slide all the way out of the dragon's saddle, and it sails over your head. Ooh, still got it. Still got it. <laughs> Uh, and I just does like feel like just a vertebrae in his back, like oh no, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> unbelievable. Talking. Yeah, talking. <laughs> oh, okay, you have approximately one hour before you can't move. <laughs> well, um, chiropractor tomorrow for sure. No more, no more spreading. Um, incredible. I see. Hot. Um, so, uh, uh, what you see next? Um, racing out uh, from the corner. Um, uh, Xerxes, you would recognize these guys. These are part of uh, Thindris's spell guard. So these are like eldritch knights of the city. Yeah. Um, they, uh, both of them are going to rush out. And help us? Oh. <laughs> and be our friends? And be our friends? Reinforcements! Yes. After one oh. round, look at that! <laughs> Um, we beat them so badly, they were like, but it's like, uh, oh, this combat's not going to be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see how fast these guys can make it. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, uh, crouching behind this building, you see uh, moving faster than human speed should allow. Uh, these armored spell knights come out. Uh, Lycretia howls at them. Uh, the, the next thing that Lycretia says as they start running, her, having vanished, her voice just echoes from all sides no. in this space. No. Um, uh, you see, uh, she calls up and says, kill them all. Keep the blood of the masters chosen. He lives. Uh, Whoa. And uh, you see them both run the fuck. That was her up. voice? Yeah. That was her voice Sorry. from all, Omnidirectional. all places. Omnidirectional. Chosen? Who's the master's chosen? I'm gonna be the master's chosen. Yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> I'm so sorry, one more time. Can you be more specific? For, you know, everyone in me. class. Uh, okay. Can you give like a rough point at tell which tell one that would be? Real time updates, you real time updates. Yeah, I got a software <laughs> update oh, on my arm. Protection from good and evil, right? I have you protection from, yep, I do. That little, little, little blessing. Like protection from good evil might be useful. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You want to make any judgments here. I don't know what Oh, let's go try to kiss this one. <laughs> That's a lot of dice. I don't know. Um, okay. This. Sorry for this. That's 14 plus three. Serret. Uh, two swings miss. The third swing connects for 17 points of slashing damage. Okay. And then 13. Where are you, sir? 13, 23. What is attacking? 32, uh, 32 psychic damage. Is he? Ooh, can I use my uncanny dodge to uh, to have that uh, 32 psychic? Um, you can actually you can actually uh, dodge the whole attack if you'd like. Smash. However, I will also point out: Am I incorrect? Do you have armor of psychic damage resistance? Oh, I do! I got a fucking cloak. Wow. So that's going to be uh, armor of psychic oh, yeah. resistance. Uh, I have resistance to psychic damage. 
I need to remember that shit. Thank you, Brennan. You <laughs> got it. Uh, hey, I'm gonna kill you guys. I'm gonna be fair the whole time. You know. Oh, um, yeah, you so that's actually that. 17 plus 16. Yes. Which is 32. Okay. Uh, um, so, uh, oh, sorry. So yeah, you took 17 plus 6. Yes, yeah, 17 plus 16 is 32. So if you want to uncanny dodge I to will, have that, half of that yeah. you can tell that was on a nat 20. This guy runs up, uh, gets one across the chest. You like spring back with your wings out uh, to just make it a glancing blow instead of a truly mortal no. wound. Okay, I took 16 points of damage. Um, uh, the, uh, you see these spell guard are totally like, how to put it, they, they are, they don't appear to have any infernal runes on them. They look like Lycretia look. These, these look like your companions. One of them is Findress. You recognize one of the protectors of the city who is running up, n no words of recognition, just attacking. Um, would you consider an Eldritch Knight, just for just for context, a spellcaster? Yes. Okay, uh, the guy you are attacking, I'll say, uh, no role even necessary. You have seen enough people run with haste on them before. Both yeah. of these guys are hasted right now. Okay. Um, Damn. Uh, and an the second one is going up okay. for Loquacious. Ah. Uh, gonna take three attacks. Three? Yep. I don't like that. Okay. Is Loquacious within 10 feet of me? Um, because I was hovering above the up. front line. Yeah, I would say if you want if you want to have angled yourself to be there, you can be. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, we can position you yeah. closer back so over here. Hovering above the front line, at least the back yeah. line. Yeah. You can get everybody. You guys were in a tight clump. Um, tight clump. Eight, twelve. Ideal D and D formation. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Loquacious, you were hit twice for twenty damage on the first hit. No. No. Arcane Ward. Ooh, what's that mean? I am going to use my reaction to push my Arcane Ward onto Loquacious. It takes all of the damage away. Oh. It does it take all twenty? Oh. All twenty's gone. Okay. Another attack is incoming. Nice yeah, exactly. Jesus, that's an impossibly good roll. Um, uh, it's going to be. Uh, 39 damage incoming. Uh, my turn. I'm gonna use my reaction to use my guardian's aura, <laughs> and uh, I, you just see this like bright burst of light just jump out of uh, Xerxes, and in front of you, you see for a second this like image of him with the shield up, absorbing the damage I take it instead. You take the, you take all that damage. I can take it. Oh, ah, I love it. it. So, oh, like, I was trying to have a romantic moment. You just to upstage me. Oh, there's two oh, romantic well. moments. That's beautiful. Um, well, thank you, Xerxes. <laughs> <laughs> you saved oh, me. Oh, I did. Oh no. Oh. oh. I just lay down and cry in the street. Um, you can thank me later. I'll thank you publicly on television. Uh, so, uh, Sarah, you're going to be up to act. Both of these spell guard of the city have rushed out with some incredibly powerful blows. You see that they are, their swords are ringing with a reverberating psychic energy. Just the touch of them is enough to like burst capillaries in your nose and head as they strike you. Um, uh, it is your turn. Uh, I'm still on the ground, so I, have, I haven't successfully kicked up into the air yet, correct? That is correct, yes. Okay, so is is just one of these uh, spell slingers, ringers, hit, uh, is it on me, or are two in melee with me? Uh, at this moment, one is in melee with you, another is in melee with Loquacious, farther than five feet away. Do I wanna fuck around? Yeah, I think I kinda do. Um, <laughs> oh, he's all hasted and shit, though. Yeah, I'm going to use my uh, bonus action to use insightful fighting, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take one attack. Uh, so it's my insight check against uh, their deception check. Hell yeah. Uh, and if I succeed, my next attack will get sneak attack. Uh, that is uh, 19. Nineteen. Uh, the the spell guard fighting you. Actually, no. I'm sorry. That's a twenty twenty three. Twenty three. I can't roll lower uh, than ten. Can't roll lower than a ten. Um, the guy you are fighting has uh, received lots of training in how to efficiently kill other warriors. Um, has received no training in how to fight the eyes of Avalir. You've got this guy wherever you want him. You have the drop on him. Yeah. Dope. Uh, I'll take uh, one swipe with my hawk uh, to hit. Oh, swipe. Uh, that's a 25 to hit. That is definitely going to hit. Let's go. And this will have sneak attack, which is how many 70s and 76? I think it sure is. Thanks. Woogoosh. And this guy. Uh, that, all right. 12. 
17. 24. Uh, 24 points of slashing damage. 24 points of slashing damage? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Um, you see the dude you're fighting takes 24 points like a champ. Um, however, that is a big concentration check for him. He's got to beat a 12 on a constitution saving throw. Uh, you know what? Again, we'll keep it fair. I'll roll in front of the board. This guy needs. This guy needs. Uh, I have a tray back. You know what? I'll get my little tray out there. This guy needs a six or higher. Four. Share it as you you pop up with your wings and you hit this guy on either side of his head, rattle him, drop an axe into his shoulder, right in a nerve that you know nine times out of ten will make a mage drop concentration. Uh, haste, when you lose haste, yes. you lose your whole next round. Oh. Yes. Um, uh, I uh, also forgot to roll a d6 plus six, so, oh no, I'm sorry, it's a d6 plus seven, so that's, oh, six plus seven, 13 extra points of damage. Wow, okay. This man nice. slays mages. I got all my d6s lined up now, kid, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Um, you watch uh, uh, as he drops concentration. He collapses into a magical lethargy that you saw uh, Laren have earlier at the Ivy table when she <laughs> dropped her, her <laughs> cut through the party haste. Nice. Um, incredible, uh, uh, huge moves. Um, Sarah, any movement from you? No, not at this. Not not right now. Not right now. I will say because you so effectively dropped this dude's concentration. He will not get a tax of opportunity on you if you move. Bye, I'm out. <laughs> Boosh, straight yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Gone. 60 feet straight up. And 60 feet straight up? And ha well, and having seen those uh, four individuals that were visible turn invisible, I will just clock the one that is danger closest to us, and I will head in the direction of the corner of the building mm -hmm. closest to um, our tax over there. Hell yeah. Um, uh, cool. So you're headed for the corner with this this no good Nick over here. Uh -huh. Copy that. Um, uh, yeah. Only 50 feet fly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You drop your dude, and 50 feet is definitely enough. You can be you can be up on the corner if you want to. I'll gargoyle it. Let's go. Let's go. Gargoyle. Yes. Done deal. Um, incredible. Um, loquacious, you're up. Doing the blink. And there's a guy right in front of me. Is this, what did you say his name was? Fin, Finnis or what? Findris. And this is him? This is him. The guy fighting you is uh, uh, the, I'll let you know exactly who he is, uh, Findris Lightbreaker, Spell Sword of the Tribunal. What the uh, he, fuck? This is a guy who's, who's, he's almost like a bailiff. Like his job is to apprehend yeah. magical criminals and things like that. Uh, but you know that's, not what he's doing here right now. Are their it, eyes their out. own? <laughs> <laughs> are their eyes their own, or are they wearing you know colored contacts or anything? Have they been yeah. at a rave? What's what's going yeah. on with their faces? Yeah. yeah, they got those red eyes so that you know it's the bad guy. Um, I would say, I would say you're you're trained to look for that kind of stuff like domination. You think this guy's as rotten as Lycretia? You think he, you think he's just no, as rotten as Lycretia? Underneath deep. my feet. <laughs> uh, so, look, Chris, you are looking. You are looking at like a fellow functionary of the city. Um, you see, Fendris looks at you. Who, um, you know, th this guy is is very much in a different world than you are. You know, this is this is not. This guy doesn't do public facing things. Um, but you see, as he slashes at you, and all of that damage is is saved, right? Um, you see, uh, looking at someone that he thought for sure he was about to drop, standing in front of them, he goes, I hope you know, Mr. Seely, it's not personal. I remain a huge fan. <laughs> So way worse. Way worse. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> um, I will. So I'll get out my mean. quill to sign an autograph. Um, but oh. it, but instead of signing an autograph, I will. Um, I'll wave it in front of him hyp hypnotically, mm -hmm. and for a moment, maybe my uh, my my face sort of just uh, dances in appearance and changes into that of. Uh, uh, of uh, what's her name? Uh, like Hollow, Grisha? yeah, Dean Hollow, Dean yeah. Hollow, yeah. Uh, and I'll just say to him, uh, uh, I'll, I'll command him, uh, uh, go take care of the devil, please. And I'll, I'll cast dominate person on him. Yeah. Ooh, yes. hell yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, what is the saving throw on dominate person? Eighteen wisdom. Eighteen wisdom. Here we go. Um, Eighteen wisdom. He just rolled a fifteen. 
plus six. Oh, this um, bastard. Uh, yeah. um, he powers through the spell, sneering at you, and he goes, no, no, no. My mind is my own, Mr. Seely. Um, bonus actions and movement. I don't like your villain. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of cool, but really awful. Yeah, yeah. Fun to watch. Fun to watch. So awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, am I allowed to use Misty Step as a bonus action because I've already cast a spell? spell. Um, okay. uh, you've already thing. cast a spell, so unfortunately, no. Yeah. Um, if you have any cantrips that are bonus actions or a way to make them bonus actions, you can do that. Um, uh, but and you also, I think, have some bar some bonus actions like bardic inspiration. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to get away from this guy. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, so I will, seeing that that failed, <laughs> I will, um, I will just uh, rock around him to the other side without leaving his melee cool. to his back, and then I will point up at Xerxes and say, um, now, "Excuse me, I missed. Could you take care of this for me?" <laughs> And I will uh, inspire you with a with a D10. Oh hell yeah! A D10. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Which one do I want to be my inspiration? Incredible. Cut? Okay. Um, reappearing. Oh no. She was here. Oh, no. she... Boom. Uh, Lycrisia appears slightly in front of where she was before. She did this for all of us. Um. Magical distance on our friend Lycretia and our old pal. Um, How far is she from me? From you, she is only about 40 feet. Okay. This map is clean, yeah. This is dope. This is really cool. great. This is super cool. I want to go to here. <laughs> I wish to but go not to here. right now. But yes, no. exactly. But like, you know, when it's there's still like I bet the food, like the food in this area is delicious. Oh, oh incredible. I bet you get a like great like, rock you know? Yeah, some good street meat. Oh, yeah. some great, it's like, it, but it's that, it's got that like polish, you uh -huh. know? Uh -huh. That kind of gentrified polish of like, oh, yeah. yeah, this is street meat, but like organic. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, the vendors here sell Beyond Meat for sure, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Beyond Broadworth. Every... <laughs> and they look down on Impossible. <laughs> Are we fighting in Solvang right now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see on the corner, Sear Steakhouse. They do a great tomahawk, you know? They really do. Uh, <laughs> You're paying for paying bone. For uh, I don't want to play for <laughs> Hell yeah. You're paying for um, bone. <laughs> Important question. Um, Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, you see that Lycretia reappears um, and is trying to look for Pesha and can't see you through the swarm of the devil and dragon fighting, looks up at you, Nidus, and says, get out of my way. And a, a pure hand of bone, a giant's hand erupts out of the ground, oh, appears in front of you, uh, and is going to come uh, right for you. Is it? Is uh, it like a thing? It's like a its own thing? It's like its own thing. It's like hanging in There's space. A big red okay, it's, it's, I'm gonna need. An, I'm going to need an athletics check. Uh, the DC you are trying to beat is a 24. With that right. fresh vertebrae that you just popped. Yes. What? This isn't an attack. It's not making an attack on me. Nope. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want an athletics check? Uh, uh, athletics. Yes. What do you want me to hit? Yeah. 24 on an athletics. It's near impossible. Mm. Nothing's. A I got as close as I ever could have come. Oh. Uh, that's gonna be a 21. Oh. Um, incredible. Uh, uh, all of you watch, <laughs> Nidus is taken off of the dragon's back, <gasps> uh, and the uh, massive bony hand floating in space begins to crush you. Oh! Uh, so, uh, that is, uh, and after that, uh, Lycretia is going to uh, move forward. Um, let's see here. Move forward to right about here. Um, range of something. <laughs> uh, get right about there. I'm gonna roll in front of the board for her again. She wants an 11 or higher. Oh, she baby. didn't get it. Oh baby. Uh, uh, so like Krisha just uh, just steps forward. However, as she steps forward, you see flickering around her multiple versions of her beginning Shit. to step out. Um, so 
Yeah. I'll play it for keeps, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm using all the rules. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, that is Lycretia's turn. Sir Xerxes Ilarez, that's God you. Damn it. Okay, so Nidus is getting crushed. I think I have a way out. Uh, great. Death? Ah, <laughs> yeah, there's a way out, yes. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Peace. <laughs> and everyone else is still down here. Of these two spell guard down here, uh, uh, Findris has not been hit yet, has he? No. No. But the other one has. The other one has, and the other one is fully out of it, like gone, gone. Like uh, uh, that one's going to lose his next turn right. because the haste got dropped. Love it. Okay, so um, I'm going to swoop down, even though I'm just like kind of. Oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of right above. So what happens is Tempest just kind of pivots and kind of uh, 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 sort of goes, turns on his side a little bit, just enough for me to swipe down at uh, Thindris. I'm gonna attack him. Do Hell it. Well, yes. Uh, and I am a mounted combatant, so I Ooh. get to attack at advantage on that motherfucker. Woo! Oh, Natty 20, baby. Oh, come on, bro! Fuck. Is he a fiend or is he undead? Or is he's there... not a just fiend or undead or anything like that. Okay. Just a he's guy. just a regular just a guy. guy. All right, no. so then I don't get that, but I do get my weapon and I double that. And I get my improved Divine Smite, and I double that. I'm going to burn um, a second level spell. Okay, I got to do math for a second. Second level spell slot. So yeah. that's two, three, one, two. I'm already running out of D8s. Yeah. Uh, people uh, people need to be D8, baby. You can't go for it. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, I'm going to need all that. All right, so that's. That's weapon, that's my automatic divine smite, and then that's a second level, so that's these. I'm rolling this twice. Great. Whoa! Wow! I'd love to see it. Natty 20. Wow. Ooh! With a paladin plus. Let me see what my plus is going to be. A oh. million. Yeah, it's a lot. Okay. So, take your time. Four, eight, Save that's it. 12. 15. <laughs> 15 plus 16. 15 plus 16 31. is 31. Thanks. Oh, you're gonna help me a lot. 31 so far. That's only half. Um, 41. Uh, 50. Oh, wait. I'll do that later. 51. <laughs> 51 plus 12. 13. 51 plus 13 is 64. Yep. Plus. 12, 64 Whoa. plus 12 is 76. Whoa. 76 points of almost all radiant damage, but I don't think he's damn, gonna be bothered by that. Oh. So you see, you see one swipe, but then you start to see these after images of like these sort of uh, 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 ephemeral uh, uh, cosmic dust and divine light just do the same exact repetition of it, like echoes of that strike. <laughs> 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 How much was that again? 76 points. 76. Um, all of you, like everyone here is good at their job, right? But we don't have lots of, we don't, you, as, a, as a ring, you guys don't have all the opportunities to see Xerxes do his job. You're seeing the job get done right now. Uh, just, you descend your ribbon. Wow. <laughs> um, this guy goes from one of the most fearsome warriors in the city to uh, bloodied and haggard and wild-eyed oh. in a single hit. Let's he is go. still up, but you have put him uh, from at peak fighting form into real danger with a single strike of your sword. The ring of brass just turns around, we're all like. What's going on? What's going on? Eyes widening. Widening. I hit him again. <laughs> Incredible. Same go attack. for it. Oh. Uh, uh, 29 versus AC. Yeah, 29 is going to get the job done. Okay. So I should point out, you also have a strength of 29. You are as strong as oh a storm god. giant. Oh my god. This is the, this is the guy. Strength yeah. strength is 29? 29. Yeah. How do you I have an item that gives me Like that, that flat what? number? You, the number it is, is 29. The number is 29. So plus nine. Plus seven. Well, I think it's a plus nine. It's a plus nine to strength. Yes, it is. That's yes. terrifying. Terrifying. So one. Think about how good of a warrior one, you have eight. to be to have any status in a city of wizards. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair. Yeah. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this you is yours. Yeah. Well, this is a godlike spell. This guy can punch through a wall. It's kind of like a spell, you know. My spell is hitting. Damn. It's a great spell. Attack. My improved divine smite, and then I'm doing one. Yes. Okay. So here we go. 
Uh, this is 10 plus 14, 24 plus 12, 36 points of damage. Jeez. You did over a hundy on this turn? Yeah. Let's go! Oh, hundy. <laughs> oh, hundy. Um, uh, uh, fully at death's door, still standing. Um, uh, I will also say that this dude did shield, and it truly doesn't matter because both of your attacks <laughs> have just, you just see a little like, <laughs> no! <laughs> and a little shield goes up and boom! Um, on death's door, I know that you have more you can do. Uh, my griffin can attack, yes? Yes, absolutely. Oh okay, God. so Ooh. Tempest is gonna hopefully try to finish him off. Mm -hmm. um, so it's come here <laughs> to <laughs> hit oh, yeah. I start taking it down. Oh, yeah. I was there first. <laughs> uh, 20 to hit. 20 does not hit. And his second attack. Dang. Nope, six. Can he use the inspiration on Tempest? No, he can't. Uh, I will say no. Yeah, yeah there, we're different creatures. I will say no. Um, but we're all the same right. on the inside. We're all the wow. same. Yeah. Wow. So We're really saying uh, something this season. <laughs> we're the are running. I, I, I just turn and look, like, a Tempest set, uh, uh, straightens himself, and I'm hovering right above him, and I just look down at him and I say, Neil, traitor! <laughs> Uh, incredible. Yeah. Uh, I, kneel, I kneel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! No! He could be talking to any of us. Um, uh, incredible. Um, uh, so, um, with that, uh, you shout, kneel at him. Give me an intimidate check. You just did so much damage to right. this guy. And I can use this on that if I need to. If right? you want to. Yeah, you can also save it for later. For, you know, other juicier things. Like important things. Ah, uh, sixteen. Um, he, this guy is a, is a, is as devout as they come. Um, he's gonna he's gonna die here in front of you before he kneels. All right. Um, uh, he's made his choice. The only other thing I'll do is I'll just reposition myself I'll to make sure that as many of my allies are within ten feet of me. <laughs> um, uh, amazing. Um, uh, you can do that pretty easily. Um, uh, but I will say you probably have to like. You can only get about five feet up before you trigger an attack of opportunity from this guy. Yeah. So, um, do you want to you want to be like five feet in the air, or I just want to be right above but before triggering the attack of opportunity? I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll cool. So you it. kick it there and extend your aura. At least the, the only people you can really get here, it looks like, are Laren and Loquacious. That's good. Cool. Yeah. Um, who are like the most exposed still in the right. street? So it down, makes sense. Down on the ground. Uh, incredible. Uh, we are going to go from Xerxes. Um, uh, uh, we go from Xerxes. Uh, you see Lycretia, who is still standing here, although now mirrored. Uh, she calls up to the sky. Um, and you see she yells out, uh, 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 who here speaks infernal? No one here speaks infernal, right? Um, give me a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. Uh, is this a spell or a magical effect? No, it's not. Okay. He's trying to make you understand it because you bonded with a god. Yeah. A wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. Yeah. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Wisdom. I just rolled another 20. Ooh. Oh, that's disadvantage though, two, two, two. two. Oh. Oh, that's not advantage, it's disadvantage, so 12. Ooh, heartbreaking. Uh, oh, heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Uh, as you injure uh, uh, Findris, Boom. He looks up at you and die, like on the verge of death. He, he's lost a, like 120 hit points this turn or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, he looks up and goes, so then. And uh, the word he says, you understand to mean brother. Why? Uh, oh. What? And you realize the word you heard before uh, that Lycretia said echoes in your mind again. Glauthi runes up. And uh, you don't understand what it means. You only understand the literal words. Um, uh, as that happens, uh, Lycretia calls out an infernal again. Um, everyone hears the first word clearly, uh, but doesn't understand the rest of what she says, uh, except for Xerxes. Um, she calls out and says, Zwartaza, the blood of the chosen, and points out. Um, and no, more no. stuff. There's no, more? no, there's more. We, you guys are doing great, aren't you? We are. Um, give us all the things, Brennan. Put them on let's the map. Go. The let's blood go. of the chosen. 
Who's the chosen? Is he the, is chosen? He the chosen? They're gonna eat me. <laughs> um, oh, an it. armored, a beautiful armored woman with a porcelain face and oh, ruby red shit. lips, a horned helm, and bright red wings. Uh, a light, uh, having been crouched like a spider behind that tower, surges oh. forward. Whoa! Uh, and is coming right for you. Uh, okay. uh, um, coming right for you. Uh, and she is going to make a bunch of attacks, okay. and she's going to make all of them with disadvantage. Because I have protection from good and evil. I know. Oh. I was thinking the same thing. I was I'm like, like I was like, I'm gonna burn a few I third level I spells. Don't know, I know. I'm like, we're gonna have a good time. <laughs> Xerxes is gonna do a shit ton of damage. Loquacious is gonna hide. We're gonna have a great time. <laughs> I don't know, do I blow my load here? Exactly. I, I know. I was like, oh, okay, we're trying to steal people. Um, uh, you see, um, she rushes up, and all of you watch her take three incredible swings. As she goes to hit, you see each one before it even connects with Xerxes' armor, sparks as though from steel, striking steel, <laughs> bright red erupt as she hits some kind of aura. Um, and you see he goes, kish, kish, kish. the street is illuminated in red. Before it is illuminated, <gasps> boom, 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 in silver, green, blue, it's the finale of oh, the fireworks stop. extravaganza! Oh, oh, fireworks. Oh, no one's ever liked fireworks! Where is the Sinisiris? You're crushing me! And you think this is the time to do bits? Let me out of the fucking hand! I can't even see it! Get me out of the hand! You see, those sparks come from something else. You guys see that her sword hit something, um, and she looks at you as she fails three times in a row, and you see her face goes like this, and she speaks again in a language none of you can hear as the battle rages on and goes, it is beautiful. Oh. You! What, 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 what? Uh, <laughs> I made the wrong choices. <laughs> <laughs> I massaged the right guys, and now, I mean, yeah. who's got a force field? I don't know if I mean, I do, wrong. yeah, mm -hmm. but, you know. Um, okay. And I'm only you out. can understand it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Save Xerxes, yeah, she's everyone, angry. Everyone is just like, flirting with Xerxes. <laughs> yeah. um, everyone is uh, just a beast. So, <laughs> North of uh, the next thing that happens is gonna be pretty complicated. Oh. Uh, uh, even more? Even more. Cool. Um, so, uh, Lycretia once again barks out, um, uh, and you see she points up at you, Sarah, and goes, the Inquisitor! Um, uh, now! Uh, and you see a couple things happen. So this, now no one else can see this, you can see it just fine, um, because you see those two grains of sand in the night sky. Uh -huh. um, uh, that invisible mage alights to the rampart, flings himself off, uh, begins to fall, Boom, and Misty steps here. Oh, um, oh fucking clean. Um, cool. That is so um, cool. Um, and that you see so cool. uh, the other invisible mage right in front of you. I am going to need. I have blind set. It sends anything within 10 feet I can see. Anything uh, that I can hear. Oh, you see both of them plain as day. You know exactly where these guys are. Um, I'm going to need Sorry, from you. Woohoo, don't be. Woohoo, don't be. What's that? Is this, is this great? They're invisible. Uh, this, Rules are my lane of being better at this. <laughs> I'm nervous. Um, you actually, it is greater invisibility. Yeah, never mind. Um, but. Oh, that negates what you were going to do. Uh, Not at all. <laughs> they both drop out of invisibility right they're in front of you. Making attacks. Uh, they are doing yeah, some uh, crazy stuff. Um, um, I am going to need from. Mm. This is the same round still. Too. This is the same round. I'm going to need from oh. you. Uh, Wait, you haven't gone yet. I know it's so bad, and I haven't one. done anything. Yet. One to get. I'm going to need a wisdom saving throw from you. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to need it with disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, but I got so many other pretty things. Not wisdom. Wow. <laughs> 13. Mm. <laughs> 13. Um, 
Cool. Um, you see this mage right here, you recognize as like a working guild's craft mage. This mage could hit you with probably some third level spells, really make your life challenging. Mm -hmm. um, is is the one casting this? I think they're both casting. Are either of them within five feet of me? I would get yes, one advantage. Of, yes. So uh, one of them is casting a spell right in front of you. Okay. Um, uh, which means that you, with Mage Slayer, you could use your reaction if you. But want. I've already used my reaction for Uncanny Dodge. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good call. Um, so they're both crap rolls. Even the higher one was only a uh, fourteen, so it would be seventeen. You see one of these mages do something that seems truly strange to you. One of these, this powerful mage right here on the rampart. All he is doing is funneling ether to his friend to give you disadvantage on the spell that comes next. The one right in front of you um, looks up. These guys don't look as bad as that puppet did before, but you see their eyes are sunken and sleepless. These guys have been tampering with some bad magic. Um, he looks at you, reaches forward as he comes out of invisibility, grabs your face. Oh puts his forehead to your forehead and goes, the tools of Vespin Chloris, And you feel a detect thoughts shoot into your head. Oh. And you immediately unbidden think of Orwin, the chamber, the report, what you told him to do with this. Oh, oh, no. oh, fuck. Damn. Detect thoughts, uh, uh, it, 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 you know, second level spell, but he goes through and you can see him grabbing onto that. Yeah, dude. Oh, no. So um, he just mind. Wow. He's he zoomed in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and macaroni and cheese, because that's what I had for lunch that day. What's the uh, fuck? What's the significance of the mac and cheese? <laughs> um, okay. Um, and you see um, oh, this dude do that. Uh, turn, rush, and fling himself off the wall. Oh, God. Um, and you Damn. you. Uh, uh, you hear like a thud as he hits the ground on the on the other side, um, boom, uh, and like a grunt of pain. Um, uh, uh, and then the hammer I think he broke his laugh. leg, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go around the corner. He'll just still be there, <laughs> nursing a swollen <laughs> ankle. <laughs> ah, I should have climbed down. <laughs> uh, incredible. <laughs> Got too excited. <laughs> Um, oh, amazing. Like so, moment. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's either hush, gosh, for gosh, or do hush. <laughs> I love the turtle. It's a hell yeah. In the deep speech. <laughs> life setting. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. I want to throw up so much. <laughs> I want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Um, I am going to need. Um, uh, you see, I'm gonna need two dexterity saving throws from Xerxes, Tempest, um, Laren, and Loquacious. You all make two? You all, make two? You all are going to make two. Is this a spell or a magical effect? This is a spell. Then everybody in my aura has advantage on this saving throw. Okay. Ooh. And everyone within 10, so yeah, 10 feet, Dope and you us. also get a plus five to your saving throw. What? Okay. Amazing. Well, were we rolling okay. at disadvantage? No, we, we're, we, just we were twice. just rolling twice. We were just rolling twice, no. so you're gonna roll them both with advantage. Both of them with advantage and both of them with a plus five. Then I have to go make sure. 25 and 18. Twenty-five and eighteen. Those are quite good rolls, Architect uh -huh. Arcane. Uh, uh -huh. Hell yeah. Thanks, Arcane. Yeah, where'd go? I don't know what to do. I know. There's just too many. There's so, so many bad things. I got and then twenty-two and twenty-four. Let's go. Twenty-two and twenty-four. All right. How are we doing, Xerxes? I'm gonna do mine, and then I gotta do Tempest. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Damn, Dex. My first one is damn a uh, 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 a thirteen. For thirteen. The first one. For the first one. Okay. For the second one, uh, better. Uh, Twenty-two. You do have. Oh yes, yeah. I'm going to use my bardic inspiration on that first one. Go for it. That was a thirteen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It mm -hmm. is now a seventeen. Okay, better slightly. Yes. Seventeen. Seventeen and twenty-two. And for Tempest. Uh, fuck. Tempest, where are you, Dex? Save. Mmm, a nine. And a 
and a that's kind of cocked. Is that a fourteen or is that cocked? Let's say it's a fourteen. All right, and yeah. uh, and a oh no 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 the nine is a fourteen because Tempest is in my aura, and then this is a twenty-one. Fourteen and twenty-one for Tempest. Fourteen and twenty-one for Tempest. All of you make all of these saving throws. What? Uh, which uh, means from the from the mages over here, you see streaking fireballs <laughs> uh, that race towards you. Looks like I'm gonna get some, some uh, points. <laughs> Collection of fireballs. Um, uh, thirty-four have to seventeen, and thirty-five have to seventeen. You see, they kill Findris. He's dead right in front of you. Wow. Uh, um, they look. They look at how injured he is and have no compunction and don't seem to have any. Uh, how they are fighting is not how soldiers fight; it's how fanatics fight. There's wow. there is no no compunction about ending Fingers' life there in front of you. Um, wow. Uh, so, um, uh, so everyone took so you took 17 fire and 17 fire from those attacks. Um, how's Tempest looking? Having taken that Tempest, damage? so because I have the mountain combatant combatant mm -hmm. feat. Yeah. If he makes a dexterity saving throw, mm -hmm. he doesn't take any damage. Ooh! Oh, nice. Tempest spreads his starry wings and is unharmed. Amazing. Yes. So 34 total for mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Oh. oh. Uh, I lose the rest of my arcane ward. Oh, oh. Copy that. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, Aaron, what are you doing in this fight? Do oh, something! Really? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's only been 11 no, no, seconds, no, no, okay? No, 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 yeah. We're at the last of the 11 seconds. Laren still got a chance. Late as always. Oh my god. Wow. Yes. <laughs> we all um, take part of it. That's like. That's Incredible. Reverse inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is still the first round, isn't it? This is yeah. still, we're still in round one. Uh, and I. A lot has happened. And we're about to go back to the. Uh, we're about to get to the bottom of the round, but of course we got minis? them. We got them called out, so the Canalfi arrive. What? Oh, what? the who? The who? What? The oh who? my God! Who are these Look people? Look at those fucking minis, dude. Uh, they but he didn't. sent us like the the flow chart of how of all the different factions of the city. I thought he was just trying to confuse us. Do they it, was a, it was a menu. Yeah. <laughs> Do they walk out of hiding or are they like of, of, of all these people that want to um, kill? All of them or, emerge. In the back. Uh, Wait, hold on. Get yes. Belly. Sorry, uh, I have resistance spell damage. Do I get to have that again? You get to have it again. Let's fucking go. Come on. You get to have it again. Um, honestly, oh, with, with, yeah. with those fire, with both those fire balls. Wait, is your abjuration the word still up or no? Uh, come on, come on. Wait, so it dropped to thirty-four, dropped to and it would be seventeen total. No, ward is down. It would actually not be seventeen total. It would be seventeen halved to eight twice. So it would be sixteen total. Okay, sixteen yeah. total. It still takes the last thirteen off of okay. it. But okay, that's fine. But I don't take any damage. Mm -hmm. Um, he put one back here, by the way. <laughs> he put one, but there's one back here. No, he didn't. Uh, yeah, he did. He put one all the way back here. <laughs> now, this is, now this is narc energy. Um, uh, <laughs> Take half of these minis off the board. <laughs> this entire battle set is narc energy. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Why are you hiding people over the court? Right. There's a bunch over here. Exactly. Let's Ooh. go. Um, people can't see this one. Can you see this, people? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, Okay. My heart. Um, <laughs> so, um, we see. What is this shit? So much there's do. just a what lot. What is this lot, shit? Going on. Uh, this is. Uh, these are spiritual weapons. You see the canal sure. come out. No. Why? Uh, cool. Evil clerics. Cool. Evil clerics. Um, tight, tight. Um, right. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 Just all the AOEs. Yeah. All the. Yeah. All the lightning. There's nobody up in the middle of the street surrounded by. If, oh. if we had an Age of Arcanum fight that was any less goofy than I this. I thought we were all going to move forward, yeah, and now it's right. just a full division <laughs> of. Uh, yeah. uh, another spiritual weapon. It's um, you against the platoon of evil. <laughs> and I'm inside of a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how bad it is yet. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell no, uh, I'm being oh crushed! Gosh, Wait, did, yeah. those, did those fireballs also mm -hmm. kill the um, the other Eldritch Knight guy who was recovering from haste? Give me that one more time. Did those fireballs also kill the guy who was recovering from haste? No, he's miraculously still on his feet, but he's still gonna lose his turn. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, looking, looking incredibly injured. Um, okay. Um, 
One, two, three. Um, uh, the Canalthi rush forward. Again, uh, this is that is. Real, uh, we real. learned that word last time. I mean, you are in a burrito <laughs> of trouble. It's bad to be on the ground. I'm in a true burrito of trouble. I, will, I, mean, I want to come in and help you, but that's a breakfast bowl. Okay. Okay. Uh, your dragon's armor problem. class, if you would be so kind. I mean. Uh, uh, the, they are going to. Mock his memory. Mock his memory. <laughs> Should we just take a picture? I don't know if I've ever. I don't think I've yeah, ever played a game where somebody's been like, more. Yeah, you fucked. have me surrounded. <laughs> yeah. Like more like, surrounded. Okay, okay. Everything in that picture it's is true. an enemy except for one. It's true. Uh, your dragon is going to take. Um, is going to take twelve points of damage from one of the spiritual weapons. Okay. Um, your armor class is still 22 currently. 22, uh, but if people are swinging on me, I might shield. So people yeah. are swinging on you. Definitely swinging on you. Then a brother's gonna shield. <laughs> <laughs> uh, muffled under this thing, okay. you whoom, surround yourself with golden energy. The scales of the dragon protect you. Eight, These guys. 27. 27? God Dang. damn! They are. Now. I'm still not as strong. Not <laughs> still not even uh, Xerxes' strength. But okay, you take no 11 points of damage from one of these knives only due to a natural 20. Um, uh, and I save uh, concentration. Uh, all of you watch rushing from the sh shadows as the Canalthi emerge, much like the person you saw dead earlier. Uh, you see their lips have been carved off their face. Oh. They've carved their eyelids off their face oh. so that they cannot oh. blink. Uh, they rush forward. <laughs> Uh, and rush and attempt to, uh, you watch as their shadows leave behind them and rise up into fangs and claws. Their spiritual weapons are like the barbs of the devil himself. I mean, that's cool. Uh, and, uh, uh, I'll give them that. That's kind of tight. That's kind of dope. There's so much bad stuff there. <sighs> yes. That does not hit. Um, uh, the the Canalthi rush forward, uh, chittering and screaming. Um, you also see as they rush, uh, all of them up near their elbow, like right here on the, on the sort of outside of their forearm. All of them have a large infernal rune and a very fresh wound, as if a dagger was dragged over it. Uh, and when the, when the Canalthi came out, did they like emerge from hiding? Or did they apparate? They did not apparate. Okay. They emerged from hiding. Got you it. saw the, the, these guys were told to fan out prior to your advance, cool. but all of them, you could hear doors and stuff open. These guys were like hiding in buildings, waiting for the noise of like battle to emerge. Maybe we don't want that bra worse. <laughs> Uh, Laren Cora Marcelli, it is your turn. Come on. Oh. It's okay, so. Come on, girl. It's bad. Um, it's bad to see, and I don't enjoy it. Um, <laughs> it's bad. To see. I need to get away from mages that can see me because I'm trying to hide to cast a spell. Can I get into like that little room? Do you want to join Patia underneath that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I would love to join Patia. No one's in That's melee with you. You may absolutely rush in to join Patia. Um, Architect Arcane, you rush into one of the buildings of Avalier, side by side with the Keeper of Scrolls. It's bad out here. Uh, yeah. It's bad, we're running. Just, <laughs> <laughs> this uh, feels personal, right? Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, anyone that can fly is going to need to. I'm going to reverse gravity <laughs> in the center. There's too much bullshit there and I need it up. Okay, amazing. There's no I'm here ceiling. For, I'm here yeah. for it. I'm here 100 for it. 100 feet up, We're in a floating 100 city. foot yeah. diameter. Okay, uh, give me the exact oh, uh, uh, area of it. Yeah. Spell reverse is grabbed in a 50 Diamond. foot radius, so 100 it? feet across, 100 foot high More cylinder, shit. centered yeah. on a point with the range. I'm yeah. centering it on homegirl. <laughs> yes. I hope she can fly. Uh, uh, all creatures and objects that aren't somehow anchored to the ground have to make a dex save, uh, DC is 20. Uh, or go, or go like 
That's <laughs> ground now. That's called changing the game. Uh-huh. Yeah. Game changer. We got enough people in the air, and if it catches a couple of the homies, we've got flyers to Truly grab them. people yep, yep. are just stabbing knives into a big red hand, and now <laughs> and I'm feeling us lose gravity. Uh-huh. Uh, incredible. Your dragon flies, right? <laughs> He's got wings. My dragon can fly. I will be okay. First off, I'm going to need to see if anybody can do anything about this, which I don't think anyone can. Um, no, you're. That is, you are just out of range there. I counterspell it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working with it all along. I, knew it. I, knew it. I don't think anything would actually hurt me more. Like I think I'd actually yeah. be like upset. I would, I would be like, <laughs> like it would be fun Sam Regal really hurt late. my feelings. <laughs> this is um, not the time well, to reveal you're get, the enemy. Let's get dexterity checks from the dragon and okay. actually from from uh, Nidus. Me inside that hand. You inside that hand. DC Dex twenty. Come on in. Uh, uh, Dex twenty or de- what's the what's the DC? Yeah, it's twenty. It's 20. Dex twenty. Uh, Nidus. How is that DC so high? Oh, good stuff. <laughs> I'm good at being a wizard, Brennan. Only incredible. 17. Twenty is quite yeah. prodigious. Uh, incredible. Um, okay. Um, and then the dragon. Go ahead and roll for the dragon. Uh, the dragon. Uh. I think only gets a 19. I think we both <laughs> fail. Dragon sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I say this to grab something to stay on the ground. Oh like, Why they're no longer in here? Yeah. yeah plus There's two. a reason. There's going to be a spa about you someday, Shaka Khan. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say it's pretty close to Shaka Khan. I think I might just be calling him Shock yeah. from now on. Okay. Brandon, you know I want the ones over there too. Which ones? Uh, this, this, it's a hundred feet across. Yeah, I me. want to catch. It's a fifty foot radius. Is it centered on Lycretia? Uh, yeah. So if it's centered on her, then it probably wouldn't hit them. Cool. Dang it! It's all good. All good. All my, oh man! You're right getting, on the edge. Right yeah, on the edge. I could have been, been cuter. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> no, it's yeah, fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think you're doing okay though. Yeah, you're we're good. We're good. Yeah, you're about to get pretty much everybody, except for two yeah. people maybe, and the ones on the other side. Let's see. Thank you. Gee, oh my what does lord. Reverse gravity do? Are we just exactly what It you makes think ground it is. that way, okay. and then if someone knocks this off of me, they're coming back down. It's pure fuck, right? Oh, oh so people are just going to start flying yes. into the sky? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's it's as awful as it's it to it is, but it's also but, one know, of those fun things. I'm like, I hope like, you hit me right and now. I drop concentration. Uh-huh. It they, makes the spell good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Or they just it's keep just, going that way. Yeah. Um. Uh. So, um, Laren. Um. Uh. Uh. You. Sorry. Yes. Quick last cheeky question. Yes. Go for it. Um. Does a does a reaction reset at the top of the round? Top or of your turn. Top of my turn. Top of your turn. Okay. Uh. How did How did Dean Hollow do? You look forward, uh, and this is your city. You are the Architect Arcane. Lycretia looks at you uh, at P- and Patia underneath that tower and says, running away, I wouldn't do it! Uh, and goes <laughs> straight up, uh, uh, straight up, all of the canal feet, uh, ass over tea kettle, just leaving we keep calling him Milas' friend, definitely not his name. Uh, Milas is just so heavy that he's like, nope, and squats down. Uh, uh, but you see that uh, the all five of the Kanalthi and Lycretia go up 50 feet in the air. Um, and are just sort of oscillating up there, seemingly without an ability to move. Okay, okay. Huh? It's 100 feet. 100 feet? So they're like here. Bye-bye. Fantastic. Just am I there as well? Bye-bye. Uh, oh, yes, you are there as well. Am, am, did the hand go? Am I still in the hand? You're still in the hand. The hand fell with you. So you all <laughs> pop fell. up. Fell. 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 And, and with the you. dragon, too. Yeah. And the dragon. So literally everyone leaves Mila's friend. Mila's is all alone on the ground. <laughs> I'm going to need the audience at home to just, I'm not getting risers for no. all this. Yeah. Um, so vroom, up 100 feet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unbelievable. Wow. Um, Just holding wow. my hand up and looking over at Peisha. It's bad here. This is fucked. <sighs> hey, when I have to drop this, do you want to slap me? Hmm. <laughs> Talk to me in 60 seconds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nidus, that is going to be your turn. Okay. So I'm yeah. trapped in the hand. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and, yeah. and floating in the air. This mm-hmm. is insane. Uh, okay. Quicken spell, 
uh, I think freedom of movement. Um, will that free me? That will free me from this restraint. Correct? Absolutely, freedom Great. of movement will free you from this restraint. Great. Oh, uh, <laughs> I am going to <laughs> fucking cast freedom of movement. Fucking slide out. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight out of this fucking thing. Uh, grab on to Shaq. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And then I am wondering if you will allow me to use one of, or both of Shaq's uh, grab, uh, attacks to grapple Lycretia. I will. Hey, that is absolutely rules as written. You can use an you can replace a melee weapon attack or replace a melee attack with a we, uh, athletics check. We, I'm intending to bring her down and with us over oh, here. That's Whatever you want. Great. Great. We're gonna do that. Uh, so uh, first, uh, I guess I'll just. Uh, what is what is this? What's this man's stats? What is this man's stats? Um, uh, first one's a nat one. Okay, she overcomes that. Yes. Second one is going to be to add proficiency bonus or not? Yes, definitely add the proficiency bonus oh, to this. Okay. Uh, uh, but what I would say too here that's important. Tell me what's important. I'll tell you what's tell important. Tell me what's important. I'll tell you what's important. Uh, um, you are making grapple checks, but you are still contending with a mirror image spell. Okay. Um, so I need you to roll a d20. Okay. Um, uh, and I think here, hold on one second. Yeah. You, uh, or actually she's gonna roll, but I'll roll in front of the board to keep it, uh, to keep it safe. You want a one through a five on this die right here. Give it to me. Give, Give me it. the one through the one five. One through five is what you want. No! <laughs> so, unbelievably, uh, and what did you roll on that athletic check? 25! Let it go! Um, you bubbling on the top, you see literally all of the stones. Um, I think when you cast that spell, you guys see Laren's arcane mark appear on every cobblestone as the city is summoned to your command, and all of them just go boom with little veins of broomstone and whoo, push everyone up 100 feet. As you tumble out with your old, again, piratical dexterity, <laughs> shoom, out of the hand, you grab the, your summoned dragon. Your dragon looks at four blinking images of Lycretia, who says, you fool, you are no wizard, and your dragon, <laughs> and grabs the exact right oh, one. Yes. Your dragon has grappled yes. like Krisha Hala. No! Uh, yeah. Here. Is bringing is bringing her close to people bad because she can counter spell? I don't. We're just gonna we're gonna fuck her up. Uh, I'm uh -huh. a, we're gonna. Uh -huh. I'd like to use. Uh, so he has sixty feet of fly. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'd like to start to bring her down and toward. Uh, I'd like to get as close to Zerxis. the ground as possible. Exactly. Cool. Moving so you're diagonally her towards, towards you, uh, all of us. Great. Yes, Great. amazing. Is that is, they're at, they start a hundred feet up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you're about forty feet off the ground when when can all I use, is said. Can we done. use my movement for the for us because I'm mounted? Will you allow that or do we stop? No, I will. I will make you stick to the dragon's movement. Like you could dismount if you wanted to bust a move, but um, that is. Oh, and as we fly away, I think I'll uh, I'll use the dragon's breath weapon on uh, on the floating uh, canal uh, on the floating canal. Yeah, yeah go for it, baby. Yeah. Uh, how many? Uh, what do they need to roll? Uh, DC eighteen. Dexterity saving throw. DC eighteen dexterity saving throw. Jesus. Uh huh. Uh -huh. If they fail, <laughs> they take two damage. If oh. they succeed, they take one damage. Woo! The okay. dragon was focused on other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Listen, the dragon pulled off good, something man. pretty fucking cool. Okay. Yes. Um, here we go. Um, so we're gonna get you and your dragon here. Um, bada boom. Um, I've, I've never, I've never used cool. this much blue tack in my life. And it's okay. Just, <laughs> it just takes everything to a whole new level. level. Okay. So, um, bada boom. Uh, 
as so, yeah, quick breath weapon goes out. Here's the thing, though. They are going to have to make concentrate. They take damage, so they have to make concentration. We'll take it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, any below? OK. Um, uh, you see that one of the spiritual weapons vanishes as one loses concentration. Um, and let's get Lycretia out here as well. There's so much going on. It's a complicated it's combat. Uh, it's almost like the fog. So, um, Nidus, that is your turn. Oh, you, you... I, I still have oh, stuff. Go for it. That's yeah, all yeah. dragon. That's all yeah, uh, dragon. I mean, I guess I. Dragon! 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 Uh, is like Kreisha still able to? Like Kreisha still able to do like semantic? It. Uh, she can do. She can still do stuff, right? I guess I'll just stab her a bunch while she's grappled. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Let's just get nasty. I'm gonna stab. I've grappled this woman, and now I'm gonna stab her a bunch. Um, I love it. Okay. Um, uh, do I have? Oh, that's a net twenty. Oh my uh, god. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, incredible. Go ahead and roll. Net twenty absolutely hits. Go ahead. Great. And uh, uh, do I have advantage on these? Uh, hold on one second. Um, the oh, grapple to speed. Uh, grapple to no. You do not have advantage. Great. Uh, go ahead and roll damage for me. Great. Oh, damage first. Yeah, uh, let's do. Or, or you can roll your second attack if you want to. Uh, I'll roll just. I will roll the second attack just in case we double crit. Mm -hmm. We love it. We didn't double crit, but twenty four hits. Okay. 24 hits. Great. Uh, uh, you roll both your attacks. Great. Um, I'm going to... So this is a very interesting thing. I'm going to have to make a little home rule here. I'm going to have to make a little bit of a home rule here. Um, mirror image, you normally have to chew through, but you know exactly where this lady is. She's the one in the claw. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to make you. I'm going to. I'm going to roll for mirror image, but I'm going to roll with disadvantage. Okay. Cool. So that's how we're going to. That's oh, how we're going to cool. adjudicate that, right? Still yeah. one through five. Still one through five means you hit the actual person. Okay. Uh, but you got a better chance to do it. So there's two. That's a five. That's oh two my fives. God, two so the nat five. twenty. The nat twenty hits. But remember, you're not chewing through mirror images because you're hitting the real person. So you still got the spell up at full effect. Effect. And the next one is a four. You get her both times. Oh, uh, what was that second attack, by the way? Uh, 24. 24? Uh, yeah, she throws up a shield and it doesn't matter. You hit both times. Nice. Right. <laughs> I just imagine I'm holding onto the claws and just, just, just out, like, <laughs> uh, like the leg and just jamming in between his claws. Let's go. Um, first one is gonna be oh, oh. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd they all go? I I completely forgot which dice I rolled. I'm gonna do that again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, first one is gonna be a. Uh, let's say four, ten, eleven, plus nine. So twenty points of damage on the first attack. Dang, uh, dang. And my AC is now twenty-four. Uh, second attack uh, is going to be just another ten, so thirty points of damage total. Um, uh, all of you uh, watch as the gravity boom reverses. Uh, Nidus swings out, grabs the dragon, taking her down. You see, there's a swirl of her mirror images, and both times, just your eyes gleam golden. Ha! Ha! Uh, she looks badly injured as you descend to the ground, okay. uh, screaming out. Her eyes go jet black, black ichor. Ah! She screams in necromantic rage. Uh, that is, I believe that's your full turn, correct? That is they're, my full they're coming turn. coming back down to Earth? Yeah, the dragon grabbed her and is bringing her back dragon down to, to like the ground. Are you staying in Where are they now? Are you? 40 feet up, they're exactly that high. I would say we are, with our, with his 60 feet of movement, we are out of the gravity well. Cool, yes, you are out of the gravity well, correct. And, and only we, the fiend okay. is on the ground, everybody else is 100 feet up in the air. Yeah, correct. Well, yeah, in that cluster. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. got some people over here. So yeah, if you're out of the gravity well, then that actually makes sense. You had to move, so like you're all you're actually 50 feet up because Great. you had to go a little bit more horizontal to get out of the gravity. Great, well. cool. It's like a riptide. You have to like swim. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like Don't a, swim like against it. Swim to the side. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shock. Shock. Patient, that's you. I think there's like a weird golden. <sighs> okay. Yeah. A lot has changed very quickly. Um, 
<laughs> I'm just gonna look at Lairin yeah. and be like, I think I'd prefer the knight to break a sweat. And snap, and I'm gonna cast haste. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> on oh, on Xerxes. No. Hell yeah. Now we're having um, fun. He likes sweating. Big concentration spell, so I'm just gonna kind of camp the in the tower. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna hold on here. Yeah, you two have just kind of like found the shade. Yeah, we are. Like, <laughs> Uh, Get a little my time. Uh, like, yes, well, exactly. I why wizards have a tower. It's safe here, it's so and we can safe. do our magic. It's so comforting. This is nice. Um, incredible. Actually. I believe you are both holding concentrations, uh, concentration are. spells right now, right? Yes, we are. Uh, unbelievable. Um, so, uh, haste on you, um, uh, Patient. You extend your hand, and once again, uh, you see like, a stream of runes of the library, uh, which is your domain reach out from your hand to the first night of Avalir. This, con again, the entire street is lit up all around you with runes and light. Uh, a battle of the flying city of Avalir in the age of Arcanum. Uh, uh, you, uh, Xerxes, as you feel that haste come to you, um, uh, both you, uh, both, it's only, so this is, this is like the first, this is now our second round. Uh, Xerxes and Laren, each of you for different reasons. Your belt, something on your belt gleams. Oh. And you hear a voice on a sending stone. Um, this is coming from Sashara Drake, who's the captain of the Chancellor's Guard. Uh -huh. uh, she calls out and says, First night, we have an issue. Uh, around you, you hear boom, 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 of the fireworks finale. And you hear a firework go off, and at a little bit of a delay, the ground underneath you, boom! Something deep underground. Something happening at the same time as this finale. No! Uh, you uh, also, Laren, see on your bracelet, Callum Staff writes, masked. Uh, Sashara Drake uh, over the Sending Stone says, first night, there's an attack in the labyrinth. They're attacking the, they're attacking the elder. Uh, it was a distraction. This was. Uh, Fuck. Get out of here? Yes. Uh, Should we kill yes. these people? Or just go? Um, uh, but you see, yeah, Callum yeah. is calling to you right now. Yeah. Uh, you I open can. it up. Yeah. Um, you see uh, uh, Callum, you, his face appears. The lighting on his face is strange as it moves in the illusion. It's like some lights have gone out somewhere. You see he looks at you and says, uh, he says, Architect, I, 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 I beg your apologies, but there is a... Uh, the, the, something is wrong. We're losing power from some of the outer Eldritch batteries, and uh, the, the, or at least it's being disrupted. The, the calyx, the arboreal calyx, it's asking to requisition 30% of the no! city. No! I can see, there are stop gaps when an engine requests that much energy. Do you want me to kill that? Kill it. All right. <laughs> and his transmission ends as he kills that. Uh, the calyx does not receive 30% of the city's energy. Um, uh, that is just do. Yes. What's what? happening? We're making big game uh, time decisions. <laughs> big game time decisions. As you say that, and he kills that, and his transmission ends, you see Milas Fren uh -huh. and the Aaron Yees next to you. Yes. The one that just looked at you and called you beautiful. She looks and goes. <coughs> and vomits blood, and you've seen something just like that before. What the? Fuck. Oh. What is happening? I thought we were doing good and now it feels bad. Again. You're doing good? <laughs> Wait, I think that's good. Yeah. I think it's good that they vomit blood. <laughs> I think they're I think they're see, uh, like slushing power off of the the calyx. So I think if we give is it a thirty percent. No, 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 you no. Put that the bow in the, is in the Lyrite. The Lyrite. Um We are going to contest you watch that and you see Myla's friend yes. down down below. Take a moment. And clutch his stomach. No. Fuck. Um, you. You watch as uh, Pesha, you cast haste. Um, uh, oh, fuck. Um, Milas is going to fly up. Um, and uh, as he does so, um, yeah, he's going to. Um, what's our play? What are we doing? Uh, we're trying to kill these guys? Or uh, what's your dragon's play? armor class? 19. Where? Go where? 
I mean, it's either the engine or That's like the septariat, right? Yeah. Like if the city's under attack. That's a nat 20. Wait, is, he, is someone getting attacked right now? Yes. It's in my dragon. Uh, we are rolling today. Uh, s- that's gonna be 16 damage on the first attack to the dragon. Mm-hmm. That's going to be... Uh, what kind of damage? Dragon Piercing. Damage. Uh, that's, he has resistance to that. Incredible. Wow. Um, what did I say, 16? So that's half to eight. Uh, and that's going to be uh, 20, half to 10. Okay, let me, oh, I got to make sure we got that resistance. We may not have that resistance. To piercing? I have no idea what's No, it's doing. just, it's I, Because I don't know who's the threat, and I don't know what our objective is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to the calamity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going like to try and see if that dude that, like, had but okay, knowledge mind. out of I don't of think it has resistance. <laughs> hmm? It doesn't it's have resistance. Still 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 around. Around. So, uh, 20, oh, so 16, then 20. 16 and then 20. Okay. Uh, and then the final attack comes in, which is going to be... Uh, 14 points of piercing. I'm gonna need a constitution saving throw from your dragon. The dragon is dead. Oh! On that last one, Milas, uh, uh, the dragon vanishes. Um, as it uh, uh, as it does so, um, you see that Lycretia is released from the grapple and Milas grabs her with his offhand. Um, uh, I will allow you a dexterity saving throw if you would like. That's if you want to grab onto Myla's friend. I'd love to grab onto Myla's friend. <laughs> dexterity saving throw? Dexterity saving throw. We'll call it DC 14. You got that? That is a 19. Woo! Hell yes. Uh, so as your dragon vanishes back into the coin, you, you grab Myla's friend and you see Myla's who's down and says, No, you wish to entreat with me? I do! (laughs) Uh, Incredible. Let's get all these dudes up here in this flying fight. What the fuck is going on? Uh, uh, Okay. Um, However, that's three mighty blows taken towards a summon rather than any of you or your companions. Um, uh, My heart is pounding. the, uh, the the spell knight loses, that's still amazingly up, the spell guard that's still up loses his action due to haste. Feels like a lifetime ago. Sarah, that is your turn. Oh, it's my, it's my turn. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna try and get eyes on the guy that uh, head-butted my, my earlier day uh, out of my brain. Um, and I'm gonna try, is the uh, the gentleman up on the uh, balcony with me, is he within melee or 10 feet away? He's 10 feet, you can close with him if you want to. I'm gonna try and go over him. Hell yeah. I wanna try and get eyes on the guy that went <laughs> on the... <laughs> yeah, you have enough movement to absolutely get up and over to get eyes on him, Yeah, I'd sure. like to do that. I don't know if I'll use all of the 50 feet, but just to see if, if he's like there or if he's just gone. He's not gone. You look over and see that that Avalirian mage landed, did break his leg. He did not have anything that was protecting him from doing that, but there are two Kanalfi at the bottom that have grabbed him, and you see that they are ministering some kind of magical aid to him. The behind. Huh? There's, there's three people right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, God. Uh, but that, so that's where you are. Um, uh, so you've used about, let's see. Uh, you've used about 30 feet of your movement. About 20 feet left. God, there's three people over there. I'm not a tank. Okay. Uh, <laughs> boy, this is it's tough. It's a good day to learn. I know. This is this is tough. Uh, I don't, he's got really valuable information. I can't let him get away, right? I don't think so, but I don't know what else to do at this point. Yeah, I mean, I know. <laughs> I know. it feels like they already had. Like I don't. They're already atta- They're already headed for the labyrinth, which means they know. Something. I will say this. You are the champions of this city, but you are not its only defenders. You guys are not fools. The Eldritch, the, the Meridian Labyrinth is under attack, but you know, like the person that contacted you, Sashara Drake, right. is the captain kind of the Chancellor's Guard. There are warriors, there are spells, there are glyphs, there are all kinds of defenses around the city. So the question is, will they hold? That's the question, right? Will the defenses that are not you hold in your absence? I, ha- I have to assume, I have to, this is fucking orchestrated, so I have to assume yes. that the second they got he got down there, he either told the other two the information it. or spread it. Like Absolutely. it's gone. It's not with him. Yeah. yeah. He okay. It. So where? So they have that information. Yeah. So there's no point in going down there. I'll, I'll just come back and bang on this guy. Hell yeah. Go for uh, it. And I'll use my um, 
Yeah, I'll use my bonus action again to use uh, to do uh, uh, insightful fighting. Um, hell yeah, go for it. Um, he makes a deception check against a twenty-three. He rolled an eighteen on the die. And that's why you want to invest in charisma instead of spending your whole life in a library. He has no ability to deceive you. Uh, you get the drop on him. Amazing. Okay. Uh, one one swipe with the hawk. I think we have to subdue them enough. Just throw them in. Uh, that's a dirty, dirty twenty. With the shield, he throws up. Um, oh, sorry. With the sh so he throws up a shield, which you have the ability to react to as he throws it up. Yeah. And the dirty twenty exactly hits. Ooh, right on the AC. Yes, right on the AC. Goddamn. Okay. Goddamn. Somebody get these. Shake them up. We tried having one of those on there. Yeah, you distracted me. You did. Balls three. Already one. Twenty-one. Twenty-one and twenty. Uh, Sixteen. Six plus seven. A thirty. 33 points of slashing damage. On, the, on that first attack? Uh, it's on the only attack. On yeah, the only attack. One swing. So, 33, uh, he goes from uninjured to death's door. He's got a, a handful of hit points Let's left. Go. You, and when he casts shield, he is within five feet of you, so he would trigger a reaction for you to Mage Slayer hit him. Oh, amazing. Amazing. So, that's an extra swing. It's an extra swing, yeah. But I have to roll to attack, which is. Uh, that's a dirty 20 again. Wow! You exactly wow. hit his armor class two <laughs> times. <laughs> uh, so, that's. Six plus seven. Uh, that's twelve points of slashing damage. Uh, uh, you also get your sneak attack on this hit. Oh, I do. Yes. Well, I mean, if you insist. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying you're very good at killing yeah. wizards. That's oh, what I'm trying to say. Kill that wizard. That's okay. That's one of those things where you're like, I'm proud of my friend, but also a little disgusted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Twenty. Twenty-six. Don't piss off Sarah. Yeah. Uh, 30, 35. 35 points of slashing get me. Uh, incredible. Uh, you take off, look down, see it, and go, the information's already out. Yeah. Uh, the mage that thought for a moment he was gonna be able to whip around and hit you with something, looks up, and the last thing he sees is a pair of gleaming slitted eyes. <laughs> Everyone- Bowels, like across the midsection. Oh, Blood. splash. <laughs> uh, all of you hear a dull, wet thud behind Ugh. the corner of the building over here. Oh. Bam, as this mage hits the- It was his guts hitting the pavement and then he fell. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thud. Amazing. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, and I'll use that 20 feet to close on him and just come back to the corner, so as much as I can come back to where I, I was. Hell yeah. Danger. Danger! Uh, okay, you rush back to the corner. That's your movement and turn. Um, amazing. That's it. Uh, we move from uh, Loquacious. That's going to be you. I still don't know what I'm doing. How is the devil looking? Is he. Uh... I, I don't think the devil's been hit. Or, or... There are two. Devils that you can see here. There's Milas' friend up here who looks un, relatively uninjured. It was just uh, uh, he, I mean, he's a little bit hurt. And then thank you. Uh, uh, and <laughs> a little bit hurt. And then there is the Aranese here, but who is fully uninjured. This was a distraction. You have to go. They're, they've got lots of hit points. Yeah. But but. We can we can let the soldiers do their thing, yeah. and we run. We have to go. We get to the core. I can't. I don't have dimension door. I you can come with me. Yeah. Do you have dimension door? Yes. I, but I'm abandoning go. all of my friends. Get the fuck go. Out. We'll, we'll be right behind bitch. you. Yep. <laughs> he's, got he's got a griffin, and he's a dragon man. Yeah. <laughs> he's That's got a griffin true. too. In a couple yeah. seconds. Yeah. Now, I will ask here. You were told that the Eldritch batteries were being attacked. That's what that's what Callum confirmed with you. Yeah. So there's 12 of those all throughout the city. Those are kind of like different the ancillary, different power stations around the city. So it's not the heart of Avalier. Mm -hmm. So the question is this: if all if they are under attack, which of them are you going to? Oh, there's 12 places. Are, how is the city configured? Like around the edges or period? There, there is one. Honestly, a dimension door would get you to the nearest one, mm. okay. right? But that's so just there, one of 12. There's one in yeah. Dawn's Ledge. Uh, effectively, here's the thing. And I'll, I'll say, Larry, no role necessary. What, any of these going down is very bad. 
But that doesn't mean it's a wash and they should just all go down. So like any one you can save is great, but it's like, to, to put it another way, leaving this battle is absolutely a choice. You may be able to save one. Maybe you'll be able to save two of them if they are under attack, right? But it is a matter of like, Preventing something from it's preventing something from being marginally worse than it otherwise would have been, right? There's a certain amount of this which is like, like really even if you save two of them, the other ten, it's got to be up to the people who are there. Yeah. I communicate that via the telepathic bond. <laughs> um, like just quickly as we're trying to quickly brainstorm, Laren, is there some sort of like override? Is there something that we can do? I think. A little bit above. We haven't even gone in the helm yet, right? We need to no, get they are they are this. heavy here, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, like yeah. I, I know they're attacking everywhere else, but they were heavy yeah, here. here. I'm trying to predict where they're going next. Yeah. I don't care where they're attacking now. They're clearly this is an orchestrated plan that has been going on under our noses for God knows how long. So yes. what's their next move? There's nothing in the helm that we can fix at this point. No steer, no nothing. I mean, yeah. We haven't even gone in there. Yeah. You haven't even gone in there yet. You don't know. I mean, is there anything in there that but matters? Where did, where did we hear your girl die? In here. In here. Right in there, yeah. We oh, just haven't this, even gotten yeah, there Yeah, we yet. never got to her. We've never gotten to and, her. And uh, a like big beefy boy came out. First. She's done. Yeah, no, she's so I'm dead. happy to say that she's probably dead. She's very dead. <sighs> and the, uh, uh, so we, the information that we both got uh, was basically telling us that the same place was being under attack, right? Uh, uh, it wasn't. You weren't given a different location than I was given. It was the no, same. No, it was basically two reports. It's like it's like, hey, they're breaking our shit. Let's tell the people who. Let's tell the person who stops bad things from happening. Let's tell the person who shit it is. Yeah. Got do it. We, so we know. Do we know it's simultaneous attacks on all twelve batteries? You not only know it's simultaneous attacks on all twelve batteries. You also know that it had to have been timed with the end of the fireworks. And because we're with the architect Arcane, like if if that has been sabotaged, do do we know would she be able to do anything? Like if it's just wrecked, you would know what to do with the lay rudder, but you're it's like you're a mechanic, you know engines, and that's the steering wheel, and the navigators are really proprietary about that stuff. You could do something about it, yeah. but it's like they specifically are like, okay, yes, you take care of the engine, but. <laughs> This is our job. Fuck. This is our job. Tell you about it. Yeah. We're out of a job. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, um, share, people. Do I have an understanding of what that thirty percent draw would correspond to specifically with the batteries? No idea. It's the calyx. Oh, no idea. Calyx. <laughs> um, uh, uh, but what I will say here too is this, because as you're asking, because it's Loquacious's turn right now. Mm -hmm. So what I will say here is this, right? Looking at the state of play in front of you. You have a lot of questions. Yes. Of people here with answers? Uh-huh. It's a, it's a small list. It's not the Canalthy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Of people with answers, it's a short, it's a small list. And on top of that, I mean, anyone who wants to give me an insight check. Yeah, I think you Yeah, go for it. Yeah. 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 I also might, I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Come on, come on. 18 on the 2 people I'm stabbing. Yeah. 30. Two. 32. Over the telepathic bond, Sarah, um, uh, the fear that this is a distraction, you I think you would rule that out in the 32. It's not a distraction. It's just part other the shit play. they want to do. Yeah. It's part of the play. Not a distraction. I can meet All that said, I guess I'm just going to pick a target and shoot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I will I will look up at the at the at Miles's friend, mm -hmm. and uh, and I will ca uh, I will uh, in fact no I won't even look at him I will look away from him dramatically and just say Miles friend <laughs> because the spell works even if I just utter their name, um, <laughs> but I'll also do it while looking at them in case that's not his real name. It's uh, it's psychic lance. And I, I, I will uh, throw throw an what invisible lance of uh, brain pain up at them. Ooh, yes. Brain pain. Brain. Intelligence 18 to save. Oh my god. Intelligence 18? Mm -hmm. I'll be friendly. Uh, this devil has advantage against magical effects. 
However, <laughs> intelligence is one of the only saves he's not proficient in. <laughs> uh, so the AC, the DC is 18. He needs a 17 or higher on one of these two no dice. Way. Come on, baby. 16 oh! and 11. Go for it. Full damage. Roll it up. Oh Here we go. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Yes. On the edge. Do you need more sixes? Oh, uh, yeah, how many that's fine. No, it's, okay. it's not crazy. I'm just Seven. hard. Seven is good. Yeah, this is six. I'm going to roll one twice. Uh, oh, very good. Ten, Thanks. 20. <laughs> 25, Way to go, Titus. <laughs> Those are my boys. 28. 28 Those are my boys. Uh, of psychic damage and. One. Mm hmm. 28? 28 yeah, points of psychic damage. Amazing. Amazing. Rolled an extra one. I did. And it becomes incapacitated. Oh, my goodness. Until the start of my next turn. Let's go. Nice. Um, uh, oh my god. Yeah, he falls. He's, he absolutely is, falls. Is gravity uh, off? Is gravity yeah, on? No, they flew out of the, they flew out of the well. Um, uh, so I'm gonna say, so uh, not only does he take that titanic amount of damage, um, Loquacious, you look up, hold up your hand, in your mind, this like psychic spell, uh, all of you watch Loquacious's face momentarily become the front of a ring of faces all around, a halo of faces. Uh, and you send a spiraling ring of faces. And this uh, fiend up in the air goes, and you see his face, his face, twist to the side and you hear like a crack as his oh. neck, like a muscle spasm in his neck. He is fully incapacitated. His eyes roll back into his head. He falls. Go ahead and roll me 5d6 <laughs> falling yeah. damage. Oh, let's I, go! Are we coming all the way down? You're coming all the way down, baby. Let's go. Write him down. Give me, give me a dex save. Oh my god. Oh. So uh, many dex oh, saves. Oh wow. Four sixes and a three. Oh my wow. god. Um, that's 27 points. Uh, four, uh, 27? I'm falling, right? yes. Featherfall. Yeah. Oh, yes. thank God. Four times six is 24. Because I rolled a four. Yeah. Featherfall, yeah. incredible. Um, Tasha, you, uh, Nidus, you begin, uh, uh, you uh, uh, take off. Um, uh, Lycretia makes her save, but you watch as this massive devil cool, falls. Uh, now, normally it would take uh, only half damage, but Avalir is incredibly enchanted. Uh, bypasses the resistance, the uh -huh. streets themselves are magic in the Age of Arcanum, and this devil takes a walloping amount of damage. Uh, hell yes, Herald of Avalir. Literally. Oh. Um, okay. Um, any bonus actions? Uh, Boy, I'm running. I'm running low on inspiration, but we're 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 doing stuff. Yeah. <sighs> we're doing okay. We're good. I'll save. I'll save inspiration. Just bonus action. I'll just say, this is loquacious. <laughs> see you later. Saying, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't have disengage because I'm not a rogue, uh, and I can't bonus action misty step because I've also already done a spell. So. I've still got two dudes in front of me, right? Uh, yes, one guy is coming out of the haste lethargy. So you've got a very injured guy right in front of you. But is... And then who's this purple guy? Is the purple oh, guy... Oh, that's a Knalfi who's like charging at you. Has he reached melee range yet, or can I run away? He has not reached melee range. You can run away. Okay, I will run away the, uh, towards the girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> incredible. Oh, what have I done? Um, uh, amazing. Okay, Nidus is feather falling. Um, actually, I think you just probably land safely on the ground. I would like, yeah, I'd like to oh, land yeah. on him. Cool, <laughs> hell yeah. Um, amazing. Oh, wait. Do you have something? Nope, nothing. <laughs> uh, incredible, uh, incredible act of magic from the Herald of Avalir. Um, uh, and next, it's going to be like Kresha Hollow. Um, Towards the girls. I don't know how much yeah. thirty feet. You, you played D&D before, but it doesn't have the, you don't have boxes. You can yes. Uh, Loquacious, you rush thirty feet towards the girls, uh, uh, and Patia. What? I'm going to need a Constitution saving throw from you. No. What's happening? I just used my reaction to save guys. What's happening, Brennan? Oh, uh, uh, what, our friend. Hold on one second. 
Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, she's got to get within 60 feet, which uh, she is. Um, she's firing off a powerful necromantic spell. No, she's not counter spell. Yeah! What? You got to give me the level. Uh, level three. I'll roll for it. Okay. Counter spells, abjuration. I get to add my proficiency back on top of the ability check when I roll for this. Copy that. Love this is see my city. It. Now she's going for your counter spell. You're, and give me the level you're casting it at again one more time. Three. Let, third level counter spell. Um, so she's coming for you. Uh, DC is 13. It's a third level spell. And she is adding plus four. So on a nine or higher, your counter spell gets counter spelled by her. Okay. Wait, so we want a nine or higher or we don't want a nine? We want an eight or low. Okay. That's big odds. Die roll low, please. Can you counter spell? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Four! 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 That's what we like to see! Um, that's the deuce! Put that in the damn oh, engine! Seven. Like Crecia Hollow, no. like Crecia Hollow throws a seventh level finger of death your way. Oh, no. Holy shit. Uh, that was, that was uh, Which would have, uh, yeah, that would have been quite bad. Uh, uh, Laren, what does it look like when uh, instead of that spell happening, something else happens instead? Uh, I think another one of her like sigils just appears under her feet as she's just marking this place. It's her city. And she just reaches up and grabs and like a little dome of gold that's her magic lights up as her, as her eyes flare and she just grabs the finger of death. And I think it feels like a squeeze and she goes, not in my city. <laughs> uh, the finger of death in the palm of your mighty hand <laughs> turns into raw ether and goes into a little battery on your belt. Oh! Um, come on. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Uh, Tisha's just sweating because she's like, she's dual fisting it, like uh, speeding up Xerxes and slowing down Midas at the same time. And so I just yeah. say, you're my best fucking friend. <laughs> Once again, she wants an 11 or higher here. Please no, please no, please no. 11. She vanishes. <sighs> Wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. what, what was what was that? Spell. Spell. Can um, I silvery barbs that? Can you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Uh, when you see her succeed. That is the triggering event. Uh, Hack roll, ability check, or saving throw. It is not none, of, none of those things. None of those okay. things. Okay. Um, can that be counterspelled? Unfortunately not, because it is an effect of a spell that has already been cast. Mm. Uh, yeah, something that's going uh, off at the end of each of her turns. Yes. Yeah. Blink or uh, yeah. there's another one. Uh, Xerxes, that's you. Yeah. Okay. Damn. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, so uh, I got this guy here, I got that guy there, and I got that guy prone over there, and he is big and bad and next to my friend. So Also prone. Smash his face, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So, hurt, please. Uh, I turn, back. so from what I recall, this this like uh, flying uh, fiend that's right in front of me tried to attack me, but then they said something to me. The one that's right next to me. Yeah, the Arrhenius. What yes. did she say? Beautiful. She said it's beautiful. Oh. Watching, <laughs> watching her. Uh, He's like, oh, well. oh my god. Say it again. <laughs> <You're> like, <"Hey." laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Was it? Did you say it it's lower with a deeper? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I turned. I turned to her. I'm hasted. I turn. I turn to her. I'm. I. She didn't do shit. So I turn to her and I look her in the eyes and I say, "This is not the deal. You tell your lord to stand down. The people here were not to be harmed." And I zip right past her. I'll take an opportunity attack if she wants to try. Uh, give me, give me a persuasion check. We'll have it be a straight roll. This was not the deal out loud, <laughs> friend. The deal. <laughs> All over our headpieces, we're like, what uh, the fuck? Fourteen. Oh wait, no. I, oh, I did use it. Mm -hmm. Did use it. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, you tell. Oh, you, no, no, I'm sorry. Nineteen. Nineteen. Um, on a nineteen, you look at you. She responds to you again in Infernal, which you somehow can understand. Um, and you see, uh, she looks at you and says, "Bring him, and we will honor this agreement." 
He's not asking you to do this. He's not. He's mm. coming back for you in a second. And I just. <laughs> Are they flirting? I'm flying What's down. Happening? Hell yeah. Uh, is she saying that in common, him. Or is she saying that in Infernal? That infernal. In infernal. Was he I think, speaking Infernal? I think if you did not pick a language, you were also speaking Infernal. I think everyone here saw Xerxes speak a language that you have never heard him speak that before. Changed. Then, yeah. to me, I'm, I mean... But it's it's yeah. still... I mean, if he's going, gosh, 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 gosh <laughs> like it's, you know, it's, like, it's not the same as going, like, this was not the deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. Unless, yeah. unless yeah. Right. I, Luis, I'll leave yeah. it up to you. Do you think you were speaking common, or do you think you would have been responding in the language that they've been speaking to you? I think I would have... I think I would have thought I was speaking in common, but then would have been completely unaware of the fact that I spoke in Infernal. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also so. not good. Also, <gasps> yeah, yeah, but less so revealing. Like, <laughs> also not great. <laughs> not like that. So. He just oh, mumbled, why is he mumbling at Did he just call himself Legion? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm attacking um, Miles' friend? Yes, right. attacking Miles' friend. Add, uh, with advantage. Did she Did she take attack of opportunities on me? No, she didn't. Mm, oh my God, she likes, she likes you. you. Uh, 29 to hit. 20, yeah, 29 will do it, yeah, for sure. Okay, so weapon, smite, and this is a fiend? Yes, this is a fiend. So I get extra that. Uh, oh, my uh, uh, my holy uh, uh, avenger just crackles with divine energy. Yo, you got a just, holy avenger. And it almost, oh, yes, I do. And it, and it like, as, as I swing it and it makes contact with him, the sword automatically bursts into like a, a, a three times its size. Mm -hmm. oh. um, so, Woo, that is, <laughs> so that's just that. Oh my! One, oh my. Yeah. Again, the rest of our clothes yeah. fall off. Exactly. Uh, just whatever, just, was, whatever was hanging on before. Oh I'm burning a, a, a level one spell slot, so that's one, two, three, four, and it's a fiend. Wait, so if it's a fiend, Dog does it automatically oh take God. double damage of my? No, no, it's just my improved divine smite. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what he gets. Uh, so that's um, my weapon damage. Uh, my weapon damage, just the regular, so not radiant, mm -hmm. is going to be uh, 18. So that is just the normal weapon. Hell yeah. What is slashing? What is radiant is 15. Jeez. Uh, 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 19, Jeez 21, 25. Jeez, Louis. Oh, 25, 30 <laughs> radiant. 30 radiant, incredible. Yeah. Um, uh, badly injured as you, uh, again, on this incapacitated foe, bam! Uh, that's your first attack. That's my first attack, I'm gonna do it again. Go for it. I'm hasted. Yeah, so I'm gonna get four like, attacks. Get two attacks. Yeah. Well, I think no. Haste is just, an, an, just one additional. So it's two from extra attack, and then a third. Is it? A, is it an action? Uh, you, action? It is a normal action, but, but it specifies a single weapon attack. Yeah. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay. You so you're right. advantage on these hits, right? All of them. Okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, that's another hit. I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna burn another spell slot. So this is gonna be weapon. Uh, uh, improved Divine Smite and Holy Weapon. So this is going to be uh, 19 slashing damage. Okay. And then 9, 10, 18 Radiant. That's <sighs> He is still the up. Oh my god. You have one more attack. You have one more attack. Let's see it. Finish it. Come on. Come on. How do you do these? Uh, hits. <laughs> and I'm going to burn one level one. Let's go. So, <laughs> so much stuff. Uh, all right. So, this is weapon improved. Mm. And, okay. So for the weapon, I know. Mm -hmm. For the weapon, it's 14 slashing. Mm -hmm. For the radiant damage, it is 15, oh, 20, uh, uh, 28, uh, 34 radiant damage. You know, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> hey, Luis. Yes. How do you want to do this? Yeah! 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 So, Tempest is just like swooping, almost like a like a bird that's just like swooping down and down, uh, uh, up and around. Wow, this is so much adrenaline. Uh, 
<laughs> and uh, I, and I, I swing once, and you see this burst of this uh, a sword just like cut through him, and then again cutting through him again. And then the last one, I just swing it around, and you see Xerxes uh, uh, twirl that sword and then bring it right down, right into his chest, <laughs> as this like divine energy uh, just pulses into him, and then just. <laughs> Surging out of his body into a blast out into the ground. Yeah. Amazing! Eyes light up and turn into stars as he just Ooh. screams in pain. Uh, all of you watch Xerxes, the edge, the, the sort of corona of this aura around him, these red, hellish sparks, but in the center of it, it is exactly as Luis described, stars. It's something deep from beyond, some powerful divinity. Xerxes, you feel a part of you go out farther than you've ever felt before, and you, for a moment, feel a breath. Oh, Xerxes. And it fades. Okay. I do an inside check on that breath. Do an inside check. I want to know if it was breath check. Disappointed yeah. or mm -hmm. like relieved or proud. proud. Yes, any of that. Come on, baby, real good. No, I mean I'm so shocked at that. It's a, just a twelve. It's a voice the noise, everything around, you could swear. You were so deep in that moment, in that rage, in smiting this thing. It's ringing in your head, but it's it's the horrifying feeling of something on the tip of your tongue. And before you can, it's like trying to remember a dream upon waking if you don't have a journal next to your bed. It is the moment of, it, for a moment you have it and it's gone, but it sounded proud. Oh. Mm. Um, uh, I am. I still have movement. Yeah, go for it. So with that, uh, uh, not even not even taking a moment to 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 relish in what I just did, I immediately go right back up to her mm -hmm. and stare her down. Amazing. You rise back up uh, uh, to face the Aranius above you. Uh, following your turn, it is going to be the Aranius, and she's going to go for it again. Here we go. Are her clothes on as well still? I mean, <laughs> nah. I feel like we all just. Nah, nah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. I'm going to need a. Uh, I'm going to need a constitution saving throw from you. Okay. And this is not a spell or a magical effect. Nope. Uh, con save. Uh, that is a 24. Uh, 24 Ooh, wait, succeeds. I'm sorry. I don't get advantage on that. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, I don't. Fuck. Let me roll it again. For sure. Sorry. All good. Advantage against it. I mean, this, everything was advantage that last turn. I don't blame him. Even better. Even better. Yeah. So, um, 26. Damn. Um, incredible. Um, 16, 20. You take. 28 points of damage. Okay. Even with that disadvantage, you see her going, hah, hah, and finally Ooh. she hunkers down. Again, all of you are watching him on this starlight griffin. I think at this point, Xerxes, your eyes are full void reflecting starlight. Oh. Your eyes are the pool you saw in your dream this morning. The pool that your son was fishing in. Um, that was this morning. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> um, and she, uh, she looks down and says, says, we must deliver to have our agreements honored. And for, tw again, 28 points of damage, mm -hmm. she comes through and just goes under the pauldron of your armor. Uh, pulls back out and uh, looks at the blood here oh, on it. And all the guys had cuts. And she, uh, and she flies straight up. She goes uh, uh, 60 feet, you get an opportunity attack. Come on, come on. Uh, 
Oh, and she is not large, right? Nope, medium. Okay, so I still get advantage on her. Damn it. Uh, that sh- hopefully That's is cocked. A this is cocked. The jury says it's cocked. I get to re-roll it. Yeah, 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 re Yeah, you're good. I do what Sam yeah. says. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a 20, uh, uh, it's a 34 to hit. That's oh. gonna hit, for sure. Whoo! <sighs> Have it have like the sentinel feet or yeah, anything. No. <laughs> I'm a defense. Keep, uh, keep her here. Mm-hmm. Now. Chop off one of her uh, yeah. wings. Yeah. Right. yeah. I don't want she just you spins to be in oh, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, spell slots. I'm gonna burn a. S- you know what? I'm, I'm not. She's, cause she's getting away. I'm not gonna be able to keep her here. So I'm not just taking this away. <laughs> I know, right? So here's my normal. Uh, and she's a fiend, mm-hmm. so I get this weapon, improved, divine, smite. Dang. I've been rolling real good until this. So the weapon attack is 13 slashing. Okay. And then the uh, 4, 10, 11 radiant damage. 11 radiant. Um, you slash. Uh, she screams out in pain and exultation, uh, oh. feeling honored by the strike. Oh. Oh. She what? turns to look at you and says, remember my name, Zartaza. Uh, she says, it will be an honor to serve you. Oh. Uh, and she flies away. No. Uh, in Infernal, right? In Infernal. Beans. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I believe that's your turn, right? Yes. Ah. Yep. Um, yeah, because that was her turn. That was her turn. Yeah, she got, you got the swing on her. She left, yeah. and now she's sixty feet up, straight up into the air. Um, uh, okay. Um, Avalirian mages, you hear the noise behind you of a dimension door opening and closing. Um, uh, and uh, of those Kanalthi behind you, you can hear them running away. Um, from there, uh, you, uh, boom. Uh, these two are in down. Um, are they up in the air? Hmm? These guys? Yeah. Oh, yes, they are up in the air. So you see that this guy's actually going to um, misty step uh, uh, out of the way. He's gonna, yeah, he's, he's 100 feet up, though. Let me see what these guys yeah, can do. How far can you miss these guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, 30? both of these, yeah. those guys up there are going to drop their greater invisibility and are going to go fly. So, ah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, you, some more mages are going to rock up, um, fly. This fight? Are, they, are they running or are they flying? This, this is still the first round. Uh, oh. This is still the first <laughs> round. Uh, and are going to rush down um, uh, right. Yeah, they're going to, I'm going to have them come down right here. Um, boom, boom. Um, okay. Uh, that is now, uh, the Kanauthi are up in the air and can't do shit. Uh, uh, this guy's going to rush forward for Loquacious. Um, thirsty. Thirsty. <laughs> uh, and, uh, misses with an attack roll. Um, his, uh, spiritual weapon. I, I hits on a nat 20. Oh, uh, I'll have him re-roll that. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> Silvery barbs. And he misses! Yay! There you go. Uh, advantage oh, you, I get to send advantage to somebody each. else? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I turn to my ex-wife <laughs> and send it to yeah. you. <laughs> correct. There, that is your turn. Yeah, perfect. Oh, man, I love it's it. Uh, it's advantage on like the next yeah. roll, yeah. essentially, perfect. right? <laughs> Amazing. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. On the next attack roll, ability check, or saving, th- or saving throw, or saving within throw. the next minute. Yeah, Laren, that is your turn. Nice. Um, but you're still you're running in our direction, yeah. I am. Uh, Laren looks up. Is it is it a free action to drop my concentration? Absolutely. Cool. Yes. Down. And I drop uh, the gravity well, so they can start to go into free fall. And I'm going to close the distance to you. Oh hi! You come uh, with me? Yeah. Where uh, Where are we going? Yes. We have to protect my life's work. Oh, okay. Please. And I would grab his hand and cast Dimension Door. <laughs> you vanish. Um, Laren and Loquacious are gone. Could you roll 10d6 damage for Wait, me? Yay! <laughs> as as oh, the Dimension Door is fading. 
just in case I put a I put a sock on the doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> you have utterly <laughs> misread the moment. Uh, My good bitch. Just eat the blackness. <laughs> 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 Oh, this could have been better. Ooh, that's nice. a lot of ones. It's a lot of ones. It's a lot but of not ones. terrible. Oh, that's 20. You know that. You understand that. 30. 40 points. Uh, five Kanalfi hit the ground dead. Boom. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, boom. Yes. Gone. Um, uh, uh, the architect Arcane with that is out. Um, Nidus, it is your turn once more. Okay, we are on our way out of here. Mm -hmm. Down. Um, I send it across the bond. I'm headed towards the like a battery. Great. Uh, I, as we leave, then uh, can I make an insight check? Who do I feel like is the most involved-looking person left here? You, I, you're proficient in Arcana. Um, yes. It's like Risha, and she's not gone. She's blinking. You know exactly what she's doing. But she, I, she's not. Is, could I cast a spell on her? But she's not playing her here. I know it's La Lucretia, who's that I can see currently. You can see. I mean, there's these two sort of mage lieutenants here. This spell guard is at very low hit points, but has yet to act. Uh, there is one Kanalthi left, there's and the fiend is destroyed. There. There's a Kanalthi over there. One spell guard, and these two mages that have just flown down here from the top of the. Um, uh, can I make an insight check for who I think would have known the most? Probably one of the mages. Okay, great. I think I'm going to quicken spell. My hope is to quicken spell, detect thoughts, use my action to probe deeper, mm -hmm. to understand what there, what is currently happening. Nice. What is their, as as far as this person understands, their, uh, their mission. plans. Yeah. Yes. Um, give me a... They're gonna make, oh, it's yeah. their DC 18 wisdom saving throw. That is a failure. Um, yeah, I think Nida sees that we are leaving here uh, and is desperate, It's uh, somewhat scared, and, mm -hmm. but desperate to feel like w uh, we have any idea what we are up against. Yeah. I'm going to say that you just probe into his mind, Great. download as much as you can, and then come back to battle consciousness with basically like a a gleaming like thread of memories in your mind for you to visit, not when you were in the middle of a life or death situation. Just, then I just yeah. uh, reach my hand up, uh, ready and ready movement uh, to join. Uh, what I um, what I <laughs> I'm going to assume that Tempest is going to come and get me. Amazing. Um, you reach your hand up. Um, that is Nidus' turn. Patia, that's you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, <laughs> shit it's me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, where is Lucretia? Huh? Where's Lucretia? Lucretia uh, blinked out again. Boom. She's, okay, so I still can't see this bitch. And winged demon chicks out, right? Well, she's 60 feet yeah. above me. Oh, oh, she's high, high up. Mm -hmm. Oh, cause she, but she took off. She's mm -hmm. exiting. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I can catch her. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, I want like Kratia. Um yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I'll hold my, I'll hold a spell. How about that? I'm just yelling. Okay. Battery. Yeah, you can ready to action. <laughs> is fine. You can ready an. What, what kind of what uh, spell do you want to ready? Odalux Resilient Sphere. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. Love it. Okay. Love it. Um, and I'm gonna kind of because I'm not sure where she is, where she's gonna be, so I'm gonna very calmly, still looking fabulous. Yes. Just walk to the center of the battlefield, <gasps> completely yes. vulnerable, and Fuck I just yes. wait. Okay. You kind of see my my orb around me pulsing as it as I'm holding this spell. Incredible. Okay. Uh, you ready your action. That is Pesha's turn. Um. This spell guard is going to rush towards Nidus. Um, no! And he's going to. Uh, what are you doing, Nidus? Great. I've never been hit. Or I've never lost more than. Uh, Attempt. Exactly. Beautiful. Where is, Where is she? Where is she? Um, she is going to cast. Uh, uh, 
Uh, he is going to cast haste again on himself and somehow still make two attacks. You see, he like leaps forward. <laughs> uh, is going to make two attacks against you. What's your current armor class? 24, right? Uh, no, we, we were back down to 18. Um, I'll sh- no, I'm not going to shield. We're good, 18. Um, he rushes towards you, and you guys see Nidus has been, you know, f- fighting dragons and demons. A guy with a fucking sword. King, 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 king! Um, you uh, <laughs> bat the sword out of his hand, drop him on his shield. Uh, he gets nowhere close to hitting you. Nice. Oh, wow. Um, that is going to be. Uh, Sarah, that's you. Uh, so, enemies that are on the board, the spell. Your situation has rapidly improved, right? A lot, all, a lot of big threats went down in the last round. One Kanalthi, two mages, one spell guard, and a blinked out Lycretia Hollow. That's five combatants left in this fight. The Aranya is flying away up above you. God, I want to know what's going on in the helm. Uh, we got to take care of these guys, though, right? Um, I'm not 100 feet from the helm entrance, am I? 100 feet from the helm entrance? Yeah. You are. I am? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I'm. I'm just gonna uh, wings out and double dash uh, straight towards the helm. I want to get inside and see what the fuck happened. <sighs> Faster than the wind, boom! Um, you look in the helm. Uh, you immediately see no no perception necessary. Um, does uh, he just? Does he see? Is he able to see glass, or does he just like not? <laughs> 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 You can see the grains of sand that are a mage's eyes, but windows are fucking You nuts. see a pile of seeds in the middle of the oh, room. No. <laughs> uh, oh no. Uh, Akami Ro, the helmswoman of Avalir, is on the ground, her throat slit in a pool of blood. You see above her the apparatus of the helm itself, where the city is flown from. Um, uh, the stone is sundered. The the helm is shattered. The magical apparatus of the helm is shattered. Got it. I relay that. Uh, that is your that is your movement and Aren't bonus action. You still have an action left if you want it. Yeah, I'm all the way over here. You know what though? I have a crossbow, and I'm going to take a shot at uh, one of the remaining uh, spell. This spell guard that's tangling with Nidus right now? Yeah, let's do that. Go for it, give me an attack roll. Oh, uh, that's not a sneak attack because he's in league or he's in melee with Nidus, right? I think that has a 30 foot range on that. That's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, that'll be a 21 to hit. 21 hits, go ahead and roll damage. Speak. <laughs> yeah, you take nine points of damage. Got him. No way. <laughs> Got him. No. Hey, Travis, how do you want to do this? Ah! Age of Arcanum. Yeah. Age of Arcanum. so disappointed at the destruction of this helm, he looks over and says, sometimes they just line up for you. <laughs> right uh, in through the helm. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Oh. What? I got, I got my eye. My what? eye on you. Boom, 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 boom. That was really cool. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, shit. It's too loud for Noir. are explosions! I, I, I can't project in this voice. Um, we will come to Loquacious's turn where you have traveled to Lita. We'll resolve this first. Um, uh, Lycretia reappears. She reappears, Patia, right in front of you. Boom! Kicks her in the head. Kicks her in the head. Right in front of me. Right in front of you. How, 10 feet with blink. <laughs> I've always hated you. Uh, and oh! Incredible, <laughs> resilient sphere. A uh, sphere of shimmering force encloses a creature. Uh, an only creature must make a dexterity saving throw. Uh-huh. On a failed save, um, I love you so much. My heart is pounding, my heart yeah. is pounding. Yeah, when she comes yeah. right up in your face. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my god. She wants to kill you so bad, she is going to drop a counter spell in this moment. I'm not gonna tell you the level she's dropping it at, but she is dropping it nonetheless. Um, uh, uh, so so she's attempting to counter this resilient sphere. Can I counter a counter spell? In the unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, you are holding an action, uh, right? Yeah. So yeah. you're using There's your reaction to come in and hit her here. Um, How far away is she from me? I'm so sorry. No, What's that? It's all good. Um, she is, so she is going to upcast this counter spell. Boom! Uh, the resilient sphere poof, is knocked out of your hand uh, uh, as she Ouch. does so. She's not 60 feet. Uh, Mm -hmm. She's not 60 feet within me, right, Brennan? Is she? is she within 60 feet of you? Of me. She is within 60 feet of you, yes. Would I be aware of what's happening? My focus is completely up. You have eyes on everything. You're, 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 you are battle yeah, aware. First night. Yeah. First night. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, yes, you're within, a you're within oh 60 feet, yeah. yeah. Thank you. My eyes are straight up, Yeah. and Wait, I just kind of sense you. what's yeah. happening below, and yeah. I look down and I counterspell that counterspell. Come on, Ooh, come on. Ooh, baby, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, go thing. ahead. You're, you burn the spell slot, you cast counter spell. Um, you're, you're, this is going to come down to a roll. I can let you know right now. What's your what's your charisma? My charisma? What's your spell casting ability modifier? My, uh, <laughs> uh, is, oh, where'd you go get back here? My my spell attack is plus 10, my charisma, my, my modifier is plus five. Charisma's plus five. So counter spell is just the ability, right? Mm -hmm. It's, uh, uh, so. My modifier is five. Uh, okay. Uh, 20 to the charisma. So. Your modifier to Christmas plus five. Uh -huh. uh, you need to roll an 11 or higher in the d20. It's a total coin flip. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. It's a total coin flip, and it's going to be quite, okay, it's going to okay, be okay, okay, okay. bad. You got this? You got this? I don't know. There you go. I don't need the stress in my life. 15! Oh! 15! <laughs> uh, uh, so, she, she threw a sixth level counter spell. <laughs> she did not want this to work, and instead, whew, Boom! From up above. You see this other, like, again, you just see this, like, radiant image of Xerxes just pop up in a shield <laughs> and yeah. bust that out of her hand. Pesha, like, as she tries to dispel it, Pesha, quickly reactionary, yanks back her arms and almost catches the force bubble and oh, pushes it back. Yeah! Yeah. Um, Pesha, you encircle her in this sphere. I'm gonna ask, actually, for some homebrew stuff here. Okay. As you're capturing her in this sphere, this is so yeah. cool. It's not Olin's resilient sphere, it's Porco's impenetrable uh, bubble. Glow. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Two I'm gonna make... Um, I'm trying to think of another oh, no. um, I am going to... Um, uh, I am going to... Poobble. Hold on one second. You mean to say bubble? No, it's poobble. Balloon. 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 impenetrable poobble. We were still working out the lexicons, you know. Um, so I will also say this: both of the mages to either side throw counter spells that both fail. They oh, only wow. had they only had third level. This is a fourth level spell, so yes, they needed is. they needed to beat it, and they could not. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> with. <laughs> Um, I am going to. I'm going to ask. Uh, uh, there's a, the spell that Lycretia was casting is, I think, in my mind, works so insane with that you've perfectly chosen the spell to counter it. So I want an opposed Arcana roll here to see how well you can oppose her with this spell. Force shit. Force power. Um, she is going. She so she is adding a plus seven to this roll for her arcana, and I'm going to roll in front of the board and see what she gets. It's a seventeen. So you need to be. If you can beat a seventeen arcana, something is going to happen. Okay, my arcana is a plus ten, and I have an advantage thanks From to silvery silver barbs. barbs. Yeah. Um, uh, it was all meant to be. So I need realistically an eight plus on one of these. A oh. natural 19! Oh. Yes! The spell. Was that, it like a disintegrate or something? No. Okay. It's, this, is, this is why Resilient Sphere is such a perfect choice. The spell that was coming your way, and Nidus' way, and Xerxes' way, just, was, like, was Circle of Death. Oh! oh a 60 it? foot radius sphere of oh. necromantic energy, 8d6 oh. necrotic damage to everybody within that. She was about to. Even her own, it would have killed both of her mages. It would have killed all of her, her followers here. Now, I, in my mind, something that deals 8d6 ne uh, necrotic damage, if it goes out for 60 feet, how much what damage would it deal? <laughs> uh, so she goes. That black cloud interwrapped uh, in the bubble. So she goes, I've always hated you. And you, scintillating blue energy, the blue of 
brimstone. Yes. <laughs> uh, withering her own skin. <laughs> the spell escapes and recurses and recurses and recurses. And she drops oh to the floor. And I will say this, Patia. I leave it up to you because on a 19 plus 10 is a 29 arcana check. Do you want her dead or incapacitated? Let's go. Oh, she just. You just dutch her oven with her own dutch oven. My original intent was to keep her alive so we could get information from her, but this is pretty fabulous. <laughs> And I've got some stuff. Like, you have some, some stuff? I've got some stuff. Like, Download I some, complete. I pulled some mems. <laughs> some mems. <laughs> okay. Do it That's like right, you did your detect that shit. Yeah, then you know what? She did it to her own damn self. <laughs> and um, uh-huh. Pesha, as she like crushes in and you see the, the runic glow of the broomstone that mirrors and the, the broomstone around her necklace flashes as she crushes in, she just goes, Oh, I didn't get a chance to tell her that I have always hated her too. That's it. A withered skeleton collapses into dust on the ground. I just kind of um, bounce the ball a little bit, <laughs> letting her, letting her <laughs> skeleton <laughs> rattle around inside. Uh, the Sounds last, like the yeah. last of the Knauth, or this this final Knauth. Uh, begins to flee, it, it is trivial for you to uh, prevent him from doing that. Both of the mages to either side kneel and surrender. I walk up and stab them both in the heart. Oh! <laughs> 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 uh, traitors to Avalir. Uh-huh. Uh, hey, uh, uh, mutiny has only one punishment. Oh, uh, and with that, we're gonna take our break. Oh! <laughs> Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role shop. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. I mean, the Traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. The cuteness, it's overpowering. This is seriously magical. Roll an investigation if you want. It's basically perfect. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. Critters, it's me, Marisha Ray. I had exactly a minute and a half of free time today, so I thought I'd make a little unboxing video for y'all, unpacking everything you get with a Twitch subscription to Critical Role. Okay. Safety third. (laughs) What the fuck was that? Oh! So the first thing we've got here is our live and professionally moderated chat. Uh, Twitch is the only place that you can actually get this. You know, it's a little strange to hold because it's an amorphous concept, but um, 
Honestly, you can't deny this craftsmanship. It's really well made and, oh, oh, you can post links in this too. That's really cool. So yeah, put that in your chat and click it. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is the ability to watch all of Critical Role's VODs immediately after the live broadcast ends and before they're uploaded to YouTube. Oh, it smells like ranch? Oh wait, oh no, that's, that's me. <laughs> I had ranch on my salad earlier. Yeah, this smells like nothing. Oh, oh, here we have <laughs> gift subscriptions, which you can uh, either give to a fellow critter by name or at random using a fancy Twitch algorithm. You can give away a lot of subs with this, which um, I guess it's why it's so heavy for something that's technically non-tangible with a value that's deeply subjective to the consumer. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'm so excited to show you all this part. With the Twitch subscription to Critical Role, you can use all of our incredible custom emotes in chat. We have so many emotes in here. Let's see, we have, uh, Oh, Art Dad, super cool. Yeah, we got Ashley Hype, fun one. Well, look at Trinket here, he's so like, oh, oh God, oh God. Uh, 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 Broom, Broom, hang on, I can fix this. I can fix this, I'm fixing it, Jerry! Oh God, okay, I'm sorry Trinket. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> I need more glue, this is not gonna be enough. Don't tell Rachel, okay? Okay, please, nobody. Ah, uh, Shakira, will you cut this, this all this out?
If you think that anything other than Dutch Oven and Wesley Snipes got said moments before rolling, then you're not correct. Who said it? And you'll never know. <laughs> you'll never know. Um, we return to the heart of Avalir, the center of the Meridian Labyrinth. Massive crystal engine, boom. The center of the levitational corona, equidistant from all of the major spell engines, uh, Laren and Loquacious, boom. You appear here having teleported from combat. And correct me if I'm wrong, you were going straight to the heart, correct? Or were you going to one of the Eldritch batteries? Uh, battery. Okay. Um, both of you arrive at this nearby Eldritch battery. Um, I will say that your mere presence here, having just come from pitched combat, um, you arrive, uh, each of you may feel free to mark down a spell slot somewhere in the middle of your spell slot range and absolutely take care of the pack of Kanalthi viciously attacking the Eldritch Battery here. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Um, you arrive and are able to fully defend this Eldritch Battery here. We do not need to run it. These, these attacks you can see do not pack the same power as the one you were just facing above in Dawn's Ledge. Your, your mere presence here in this pending of a spell slot. Uh, I just beat them with fairy fire, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Fairy fired them and their heads exploded. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Um, What's in that glitter? <laughs> uh, that good glitter. Uh, that you have uh, you have permanently saved this one here with that time. We are going to roll for the other Eldritch batteries. See how many we get. See how many you get. I like it. Uh, don't, you your, my, don't you kill my batteries? The city has twelve. You've just protected one, so one of yours is going to be an automatic success. Um, I want to go around and have everybody roll. The difficulty of the roll is 20, but you are adding uh, your highest, uh, you're, you are adding basically a plus 14 to the roll. So on a six or higher, you successfully save the battery. The bad thing is if we have two batteries go in a row. That's the that's the bad situation. So you're putting this on us? Like we each are rolling for a battery, and if two of us mess up, then they're the bad people. But it's only a, you know it's got to be a six or lower, which is six. should be easy. We should all be able to roll a six. Let me be very clear. If you break one of my batteries, I huh. Abria will slap you. I'm We're at just, a table. I can reach. You. I'm just farming out some dice rolling. Otherwise, I'm going to roll twelve times in a row behind the screen. That's all. Or eleven times in a row. No. I should say. Then you get uh, that. So we each roll uh, twice. Uh, everybody rolls twice. We'll go around and announce oh, them. Boy. Uh, Lou, do you want to roll twice for me? You just need a six or higher on both. Okay. Thanks. I'm scared. Come on. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> don't you, don't you dare fuck this up for me. Two fifteens. Woo! Wow. Great. Both mine at the same time. Both mm. my red, my red dice. A seventeen and a five. Five. Uh. five is one below. One Eldritch battery is taken down. Mm. Risha, did Marisha. you understand the assignment? You Marisha Ray ruined a battery. Mm. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's okay. That's my it's turn. It's not you. Not it is your turn. turn. It's just scooch a little bit from. Eleven and fourteen. Okay. okay. Maybe Great. you're broken. Okay. That's I don't know what I want. Sam, if you'd be kind of to roll two for me. That's a natural 20. Yes. Natural 20. Whoa! Oh! Give us something! Does that, does that make up oh, for that? Let that fix Marisha for that! Let that fix Marisha! I will I will give you guys, with those two natural 20s, I will give one person remaining a re-roll on one of their dice. Okay. If they don't use it, can it go back? <laughs> I just roll once. Uh, you just roll once. What has been rolled yes. cannot be. 19. Incredible. Travis, would you go ahead and roll two dice? Well, we only, yeah. That's an eight. Okay. And a 16. Woo! Amazing! 
Um, wow. So, statistically <laughs> unlikely. Just, um, Quite unlikely. Yes, yeah. if you want to. I'll, uh, I'll excuse myself. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for your... Thank you. Wow. For my, yeah. See yourself. Uh, it's because you only have jewelry on the one hand. Symmetric. Gotta roll with this one. Symmetric. Yeah, yeah that's true. Magic. Um, so, uh, one of the Eldritch batteries uh, has been attacked uh, and successfully overtaken, but later repelled. Uh, so as you are looking at your gear, your equipment, you can see that one of the 12 has gone offline. Okay. It's not as bad as it could be. There's still, we're still at 11 of 12. So we can still land? Is that what we're worried about here, or are you worried about your thing? I'm worried about the whole thing, the whole, this, this is my life's work. Again, your life's work is landing the city or this other thing that you've done? This battery? Oh. Do you have questions about the lay, right? What, Just, what is the plan here? You've been working on this thing for years? Yeah. To do what? To send the whole city elsewhere? To be able to travel interplanar with the same ease that we were able to move across Exandria. But who will, you would have to have everyone in, in the city agree to this. I wouldn't do it without letting people know. I just want it to be an option. I thought you would be excited. You could go back to the Fey Realm. We could go anywhere. I, I like it here. We have everything we need here. It's, it's prosperous and safe and, well, it was till today. It just seems so single-minded and, I don't know. They'll know that you've been working on this for years, in secret. How will your, you maintain your reputation? You'll be vilified and pilloried for this. <laughs> you've been using city resources for this for years. <laughs> improve the city to do something that no other flying city will even be able to approach doing in 120 years. I think it's amazing, but I don't think the 300-year-old people who run this city will be very kind to someone who went behind their back. They'll understand. I don't think they will. I I've covered stories and stories about wizards who took one step in the wrong direction and were ostracized or worse. And I've done everything I can to make sure that none of us ever get caught in that sort of crossfire. This is a big exposure for you, although now who knows if it even matters. It matters, we can, we can fix this, we can, still land and replenish, and we have hours left before the apogee is over. We can fix this. It's going to be okay. And I, I know, I don't sleep. I meditate for a couple hours a day. So when I say this is all I've thought about for ye a decade of my life. I, I know that that is true. It's all that you ever thought about. It's why you, it's why you missed events. It's why you missed the Maggies, the Avalier Mage Awards that I was, oh, I was given one for my work on, uh, on, expo on exposing. Uh, and I'm proud of you for Yeah, that. well you didn't show up to watch me give my speech, did you? You were just hard at work. And then when I, when you eventually did come home, you were like, what is this thing in the kitchen? And I was like, that's my award, okay. It just didn't. I don't do this for acclaim. You like the attention. I sit under the ground, never seeing daylight for days at a time, keeping the city afloat. And you're really gonna blame me for not caring about the dumb, things we do to appease the idiots that walk across the city that can't think about what could be. 
just what is. I'm sorry for the ways in which I failed you specifically. I have never wanted to hurt you in any of this, but I don't regret what I've done. But if you think I'm a bad person. I don't think you're a bad person. I just, I don't want you to get hurt. And I feel like you've put yourself in a position where even I can't protect you. I don't need protecting. I am the protector of the heart of Avalir and of the city, and that's gonna be fine. We just have to get through a couple more hours. Thank you for coming with me. Thanks for bringing me. I guess we won't probably be alone for a while, so. You look really nice today. Thanks. Uh, I'd like an Arcana check from you if I can get it. 29. As you say, um, you see, you see reports coming in from Callum. He's at the downed Eldritch Battery, the one battery that was, uh, the, it was in a neighborhood called Okun, which has like a little bit less protection in it because it's an older neighborhood. It, there were a lot of like temples and stuff there. The Lost Cathedral is there, and places like that. It just got overwhelmed and taken down. He reports that, in addition to. He, you know, actually, I'll just say, uh, Callum's mask lights up at this moment, um, and he says, uh, uh, "Architect Arcane, I am sorry if I am." Go ahead. <clears throat> um, the city's defenses, uh, the Chancellor's Guard, the uh, the uh, uh, various automata and spell glyphs were able to repel um, most of this. Assault. Um, Chancellor's Guard has been alerted right now. We know that there are um, malcontents within the city's perimeter, but we've lost one of 12. The rest are defended. Um, that accounts for a little over 8% of the city's energy that we've lost. Um, the, it, the, the battery was also defaced. The, the people who attacked these horrifying, mutilated men, they... Um, there's some writing here that I'm, I'm unable to read. Can you show me what it, what does it look like? Um, he he sort of gives you something. Um, uh, what languages do you speak? Uh, let's look, because I don't know. Uh, Draconic, Elvish, and Marquesian. <laughs> you know it's not any of those? Yeah. Um, there are some names, I think, on this high arcana check, you recognize the script as primordial, um, which is, you know, you these are infernal, rune-covered people, so that's a bit of a, 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 a confusing thing. You see, Callum says, "If you wish, I, I, I have, I have ritually prepared a, a deciphering of scripts. I can try to." Please do. Thank uh, you. I'll send you the message as soon as I have the chance to um, decipher it. Okay. Um, you do the math in your head real quick. You lost 8% of the city's energy earlier tonight with the test for the lay right. Yeah. You lost another 8% right now. 25% of the city's en energy is necessary for the Drashari tithe. 50% is necessary for you know what, for what you wanted to accomplish. Another 20% is spoken for, which was going to, at the beginning of this morning, leave 5% of the city's energy behind for the replenishment. Says, 
my lady, I, I will do as I am ordered, but does the septarian or if this goes badly, you were just following my orders. Uh, no, no chief artificer has ever under-delivered on the... Very well, we've lost 16%, and that can be made up uh, by, by shorting the, the tithe. Thank you, my lady. You're shorting the tithe. You know how I feel about the Drashari. But they'll certainly find out about this. And what will they do? I don't know! A bunch of leave addled mystics on the ground don't understand. It will be fine. How? How will it be fine? What are you hoping to accomplish with this? I'm... You won't live to see this happen again. So I'm going to get it right, this apogee. I need 50% of the energy that we've stored in the last seven years. At least do this smartly. Say that it was someone else. Find someone to blame. I can put out a report that your underling went rogue and, and did this on his own. I can't be them. Why not? This is my choice. History will remember me. Ah, history is... <laughs> history is not true, all right? History is whatever people decide to put out into the public. They might never know that you exist unless someone like me tells them. And I can't if you're going against everything that the city stands for. They don't know it yet, but this is what the city stands for. We took the top of a mountain into the clouds. It was always about reaching. And we're just reaching a little farther, and it's scary, and we have to break rules to do it. But if it works, it will be worth it. It has to be worth it. always wanted this? I've always wanted to do as much as I can and to leave my mark on the world. Even if it's a, a mark of, of shame? It won't be. If it works, it won't be. When will others find out about this? When we land, everything that goes into the replenishment fires. We just need to land, and all will be well. It's going to work. All right. I'll make sure no one reports on anything until we land. You're gonna to need to start talking to people right away. Mm -hmm. These batteries were attacked all over the city, and if this needs to be quiet for 12 hours, you have people to speak to. Sure. I'll just go about starting to reach out and sending little pneumatic tubes with messages all over the place. Uh, I want you to give me an insight check and a deception check. Uh, insight 19. Deception a million. <laughs> so, 
I was asking you to roll an insight and a deception into yourself. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh the poetry. Oh, oh. <laughs> fuck. Oh, <laughs> That's bad. I want to unravel that. <laughs> uh, you are much better at. You are a man of many faces, oh. and I'd love to know how loquacious hides from how deep his love is for this person as these messages make their way across the city because. You and I both know it's not the first time that you have protected the person for whom you care. I... Yeah, I'm... Uh, in everyone that I speak to, I don't mention uh, Lairon's name. Um, and... I <sighs> Who do we know? Who's a good scapegoat? <laughs> uh I'll say that uh uh that Dean Hollow has uh has caused a disturbance but but we can't report on it yet because we have to run it up through proper channels, which have been disrupted by various closures of prophecy and various vacancies of positions, and we just need time to formulate things. But I don't, I don't mention the architect arcane at all. And uh, I also instruct any, any of my underlings who know where I am or who I am with uh, to keep it hush-hush. Uh, or they will be immediately terminated. A lang the language of command, of bending powerful institutions to your will. Many masks cover the inner truth of what you are trying to do in this moment. There are a lot of stories in Exandria of mortals who stumbled their way into the Feywild and fell in love with an enchanting fairy that they met there. But there's one story of a fairy who stumbled into this world and fell in love. <laughs> I'm also going to, if I can, if, I, if, if there's time or if I have the equipment needed, <clears throat> Or if I can get somewhere, I'd like to record a message. Oh. Yeah. Like a, a message to be played upon my disappearance or death or something. Mm -hmm. Where I uh, I talk about a great evil that show that reared its head on the day of our uh, landing and the powerful forces that tried to keep it quiet, but one voice, one voice was strong enough to see through and, uh, and tell the truth and expose the lies, and, uh, and that was Lairon. And I stood in her way and wouldn't let the truth come out because I was afraid that it would worry the citizens too much and submit my resignation as the the, the Herald of Avalier. But I, I don't release that. It's just, uh, it's on a crystal somewhere. Uh, Avalier's greatest reporter, who dedicated his life in the service of the truth, knows the importance of a good lie. And you preserve this story that is very dear to you in crystal. We are going to move back to Dawn's Ledge. Um, and I definitely die. <laughs> uh, it feels good, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> oof. <laughs> uh, <no>. My legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Um, oh. We return. Um, in the moments following that combat, uh, the mages lie dead. Um, Xerxes, yes. as you turn your attention back to the ground to counter that spell, mm -hmm. by the time you look back, the Arrhenius, uh, who had had wounded you, Zartaza, uh, she is uh, shadow on the wind. She's gone. Yeah. Um, uh, you are here, and the fireworks subside. Um, in a, a few moments after that, as you as you stand, you, you know, survey the perimeter. Uh, once again, on your sending stone, mm -hmm. um, Captain uh, Sashara Drake comes over and says, uh, uh, first night, um, we have secured all but one of the batteries. Um, I'm getting reports in that everything appears to be safe for the moment. We do not know these individuals. Uh, there were s uh, some fiends with them, but the, the, the guard was able to repel them. We had stores of silver weaponry um, uh, in case, and who, do you know who these men were? Who the, the, the mutilated, the, the... We're still gathering evidence. Uh, I need you to do your part to make sure that you have your people on those sites gathering any evidence that they can, any 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 notes. I want them to be able to recall anything that any of these individuals have said. Most likely it's going to be in a language they may not understand, so we need to really rely on their anything that they can to, re to recall this. We'll copy it script perfect and get whatever we can to you if it's in a language you don't recognize. They did come with, with artificer's tools. Perfect. Uh, just keep me posted on the status. We'll do first night. Uh, swooping back down from with Tempest back to the party that's still here. Um, you arrive, Nidus. Hmm. You are sitting on a swirling vortex of memories that you lanced out of the mind of this mage before killing him. Uh, let me. Ask. Also, this is your this is your first time upon reconvening uh, uh, from oh. from the trip to the Herald's Tome, uh, to the Hall of Prophecy, and to the Magisterium. Um, so you are all gathered. At least one of you who was on each of those missions is here. Right. Um, you land. You have these memories. You are holding on to. There are you were able to glean a tremendous amount, but you're holding it in your mind, right? Yeah. Um, what do you do as you gather here on the street? Telepathic bond is still on. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna immediately check in with the two that have left just to make sure that they're okay. I just need to hear your voice to make sure you're fine. <laughs> yes, we, did you die when we left? Or are everyone okay? Well, everyone's okay on this end. We'll come back together. We're trying to sort out the aftermath. Uh, we'll keep you in the loop. <laughs> Real quick, mm -hmm. can I see the stars? You look up and can see the stars as the fireworks fade. Uh, great. Uh, Nidus is just going to be, um, I've extracted memories from one of the um, assailants. Um, there is a lot, um, and I think it will take me a minute once I start to process them. Is there anything we need to discuss? Do you mind if I store these and record your memories? Of course. All right. I pull around my orb and kind of expands, almost looking a little bit like a silver screen, like a projector. Uh, this is, this is... Just trying to pull his memories and hold uh, it on the screen. I'm going to say Pesha and Nidus, you pull a reel of memories into this orb. This is your entire specialization, the minds of the people of Avalir. And you pull all those memories in there. Um, it's, it's the memories of a very troubled sleep, at like, like insomnia-addled mage. But your orb is powerful enough that you may be able to spot things in this person's memory that even he was not. But it will be sort of up to the dice, essentially. Kind of just do a little bit of like, um like some cantrip shit, um, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to spend a slot. Um, but um, you know, kind of using almost like a calm emotion type of thing to just try and get him to just think purely and calmly. You are re much like the psychometric chamber earlier. You're essentially recreating the mind of a now dead man in your orb. Um, 
powerful magics of the Age of Arcanum. Uh, it's going to take you guys a minute to go through all this, all right. and you. I think as the orb begins to glow, you begin to see much. You begin to see much. While that's happening, Serret and Xerxes, is there anything you guys are doing that you'd be able to do immediately, because this is going to take a minute? Those were fiends. They were. A demon. You spoke their language. What do you mean? <laughs> you, when they were gathering on you, you spoke the same guttural, incomprehensible language. I don't recall that at all. I told them to stand down. How is that possible? How could you speak a language you don't know? Insight. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Uh, 24. Okay. Your ring is not glowing. Oh, shit. No, no, it seems pretty honest. Were we there? Did we hear it as well? Yeah, you all heard it. Whatever you may say, Xerxes, we heard you speak their language. Would I know that, it, like, even if I don't speak infernal, after having the runes and kind of, would I know that that's infernal when you were speaking? The language, yeah, you recognize it by sound. The Hall of Prophecy, did you learn anything? Yes. That's yeah. what happened. Um, the oracles there, who of course aim to touch the divine, have been going mad. Their heads filled with false prophecy and lies. Who, false prophecies d determined Ramblings, by who? Uh, by of, the chief uh, diviner. False as in? Babble, nonsense. So they think. Things that cannot be true. <laughs> Insight check. Thank you. Insight check on neither. Ooh! Deception versus insight. Deception. Not people anymore? What is happening here? I don't know. We can't turn against I'll get two eyes. guys. <laughs> uh, 22. 20. 22 and 20. Because um, he, saw, he, he saw what the prophet saw, right? You are... Or the oracle saw. You're, you're a man who studies the delineation between when someone is being honest and when someone is telling a lie. And you've been doing this for a long time. There are areas off of that scale that are always the most alarming to you. Because sometimes people say something that they know is not true, and sometimes they say something that they believe is. Mm -hmm. But there are things that people say that they don't relate to as being true or false. Right. They relate to as being something deeper. And on a 22, you see Nidus saying it's gibberish, and it's not a statement, it's a plea. Got it. False prophecy. Uh, Loquacious and I went to the Herald Stone. Mm. We found files on Vespin Chloris. Many of these people were involved in speaking about the tree having, what was it? The city of crows bears the name of trees. They knew about the battery. The arboreal calyx? Yes. Very same. Uh, I want you to give me an insight check and I want you to give me a deception. <laughs> what? <laughs> 19. 20. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Nidus, um, however you are holding on to what you heard in the Hall of Prophecy, um, I think you see Ferret see into you, and however that leaves you feeling, you are seen in this moment by him. Uh, I think the fact that he doesn't press me on it, uh, and that he allows me to continue to hold onto my plea, uh, makes me want to, uh, makes honestly emboldens me uh, to to hold on to it tighter. The stars are still in the sky. The stars are still in the sky. Yeah, there's a respect between these stations. They have not left us yet. 
There is one other thing. Hmm. When Loquacious was in the Herald's Tome and pulling these files, these crystals, there was a section, forgive me, on Evandrin hmm. that was entirely empty. What does that mean? I don't know. Somebody tried to erase, is trying to erase. There's so much that we don't understand and pieces that are not fitting together. There is. You said you saw him in your dream. I did. I saw him in my dream. He approached the tree that was growing out of the hand of the betrayer god. The tree's blossoms uh, blew on a breeze towards him in that caused him to vomit and retch in a way that I think I just saw these fiends do in the middle of our confrontation just now, and I I know, we know everything is related, but we just do not have all the missing pieces yet. I would ask Laren if she was here, but she's not. But she's here. I'll ask Laren, it anyway. Not now. <laughs> do you know if Evandrin ever had access to the battery? To the tree. Do I know that? Do you know? I don't. He never spoke about it, never mused about it, never no. wondered, said anything, anything you would recall. I didn't know that that tree was there. I know that he had business to take care of as the, as the first knight. He has tasks and missions that I was not always aware of, but I, I, I don't know anything about an encounter that he may have had with that tree. I believe you. You said there, like his name was stricken, like it was stolen or erased. His name was stricken? Um, it was in a, the name of the reporter was Elena Tuveras. That's right. The woman that uh, Loquacia said he fired. Um, Elena Tiveris was her name, and she had a, f a name in her file of crystals, Evandrin Altera. Now, lots of reporters would have a file for Evandrin Altera. He was the first knight for two sure. and a half years. Having something in a file with a name on it, in Sarah's mind, there, it's, it's the thing that's unusual about it, is it would be like seeing a grocery list that said milk, eggs, bread, nothing else. Yeah. Somebody's hiding something. Clearly. We have so little time to figure out what is happening. We're Sarxis. What if he's not dead? What if he's something else? What would that possibly be? You asked to not remember, and I obliged. What are you talking about? <laughs> We've been friends for decades. Around for a long time, and I don't know if I've ever seen a desperation quite like yours when you came to me. You remember coming to me? I do, I remember coming to you, but I remember that we agreed not to talk about that. Do you want to talk about it? Is it relevant now? I was desperate for help. Vandrin was dying, so I, I came to ask for help to see if there was a cure. I was convinced that I'm this place had a cure. I'm only bringing it up because it seems relevant. I. I didn't know who else to go to. He was slipping away from me, and I knew that somewhere in the scrolls and the, the, the information that you had, there had to have been something that you had access to that could have helped him, but we found nothing. No, we found something. But it's old, it was old magic. 
ancient uh, druidic primordial. The barriers between life and death with the old god. We knew it was a gamble with the ascension of the Matron of Ravens and I gave no guarantee it would work. I told you it didn't work, that we found nothing, that it was impossible. I apologize. But I must ask, what exactly did you attempt? It is my duty and my purview to keep what knowledge is exposed and spread throughout into Exandria and what knowledge is not and I hold that title very dear and sacred. But I hold that title. I am the one who holds the key. So, I found a ritual that is considered forbidden by those who make rules. But, Death has a new owner over the past century or so. It was a risk. But it didn't fail in a way that was anticipated. It didn't fail in a way that felt like the snuff of Arcanum when you're blowing out a candle. It was as if the candle suddenly ex it never existed. Is this in the group chat? What? I came to you and I asked you for help and then we decided to do this. And you're saying, anything like that before. I didn't know what to expect and I still don't know what exactly happened. But it worked. I don't know. Patient. Yes. You've never locked anything away without keeping a hold of the key in case you needed it again. If you wish to return Xerxes' memory to him, you may. Oh my god. Is this at the group chat? Oh no, is this in the group chat? <sighs> are our microphones on? We're off. Did we mute our Zoom? We're off, just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Aren't you guys having like a cute divorce Shut moment? Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing Friday night? Oh my god. <laughs> There's a lot of truths that need to be revealed and a lot of people holding secrets, and I think that we all need to be together and just put everything on the table. We have to do it quickly. The illumination is your choice, but. I want to know. I, I want to know why I don't know. Was it your decision? It was yours. Oh, shit. Oof. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Now is the time. The city is under attack. The city is under attack. And this whole time, I'm also still like holding <laughs> my globe, siphoning, like. <laughs> doing it. Uh, we're at 98%. Yeah. <laughs> multi tap. Yeah. <laughs> multi <-tap. Do> it. <laughs> if you wish to be together, Laren has just as much of a right to this knowledge as you, as you oh. do. I'm going to get into the group chat. Laren, we need. To come together immediately. There's some information about Evandrin that is about to be shared that I wasn't aware of that I think you should probably hear. 
it's all going to help us understand what our next move is. It's another part of the connective tissue about all of this. We all have to come together immediately. Can I make an insight check? Does he know? No. Give me an insight check. No, everybody out here. <laughs> does he know? Clearly, he does uh, not. A dirty 20. He doesn't know. Okay. Uh, and I want to go and grab. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna say you guys reconvene. Do you want to reconvene back in the street corner? Do you go back to to so Gallimore? Um, Should we go down towards the core? Uh, yeah, you can come down here. Okay. That's fine. We'll go head there. underground. You head underground into the Meridian Labyrinth. Does you go down. Sit there. Captain Captain Drake. <laughs> yeah. Captain Drake has taken all of her guards. She's fanning out over the city. Okay. Like right now, it's being kept quiet. There's still revelers. You can still hear the music coming from Excelsior Plaza, but some people know. That, is, that battery went down. That neighborhood is losing power. It's in the bottle for a second, but maybe maybe the time is coming fast. You gather in the Meridian Labyrinth. You're in a long hallway. It is a triangular hallway, like a flat floor, and then sides that come in, wounds all along, <laughs> coursing electricity, ether going through cables of copper and glass. <laughs> You convene. For the road, can I try it one? Can I pitch you on something very cheeky and stupid? Yeah, do it. Uh, you mentioned the little battery on my hip that grabbed that ether yeah. when I successfully counterspelled. Can I try to give that to Quay when he's not looking and give him a spell slot back? Yeah, you can do that. That spell slot, I will say, you could also put into the etheric net itself if every drop counts, unless you want Quay to have it. Looks like that. None of this matters if he doesn't make it. You slip it into his pocket. Um, before they arrive, Callum gets back to you. Um, my lady, we had a difficulty deciphering the words until we realized that they were not words. <laughs> um, the writing in Primordial uh, was uh, our names. I don't know of what, but they're proper nouns. Um, uh, Raushan and Kamort. Raushan and Kamort. Okay, those don't mean anything to me, but uh, thank you. Um, uh, you all convene. <laughs> um, as you convene together, um, the orb is ready but there is this to contend with as well. Um, you have the ability, as you reconvene in this hall, this sort of antechamber. Oh, Fly. Um, Pesha, you may return this memory whenever you wish. Are you ready? I'm not ready because it isn't just about this memory, it's about a number of things that we need to all put on the table. I want us all to speak the truth plainly. We are the Ring of Brass, and they use that name to mock us, but we know what that really means, and I believe some of them actually do as well. The time is not for secrets anymore. I cast Zone of Truth. Ooh. And Anyone I, who wishes may resist, or you may. I choose to fail. Please, friends. You choose to fail. Oh, you I choose to fail my own Zone of Truth. It's not yeah. the time. Or the natural 20. Will you people resist. know if you fail? Or yes. if you attempt to fight it? They will, you will know if, 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 know if they fail. You'll know if they fail. <laughs> see, what's the DC? Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, what's the DC? Yeah, the DC is? I believe 18? It's 18. Charisma, 18. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? <laughs> Charisma? Yes. Look, I just want to say saving throw. Mm. 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 <laughs> That's poetic. Natural one. Natural Ooh. one. A little shook. Pesha fails. Son of truth, son of truth. You failed. Success. What, what did Nidus get? Nidus will fail. Nidus will fail. I rolled a 30. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, do I know who 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 resisted and who chose to fail? Well, if you know who failed, it seems like you would know who didn't. Yes, I would know who didn't. Uh, uh, so let me just double check here. Um, I'm just curious if I know. You know who what? Resisted. Yeah, you know whether each creature succeeds or fails. So you know that they have succeeded, uh-huh. which is information in and of itself because you know people can submit to the spell. I know. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the zone persists. Mm-hmm. What are you hiding? I do not like being compelled. I'm not. Be- you're not being compelled. You're being. No, that's Xerxes. What spell is. The city is under attack. I, d- I understand your desire for clarity, but we need to be working together. And if people would like to withhold certain personal information, that should be all right. I apologize that this is not a moment in which we can all be forthright, but there is business that needs to be done. And I apologize that it cannot be handled in a, in a, in a matter that you enjoy. Xerxes stops and looks at Nidus. You're my oldest friend. And you are mine. And I owe you a great deal, and I don't think I ever recall you speaking to me in this tone. No. If it means that much to you for me to let this go, then I will. And let's move forward then together. We are here. We are here. Do whatever you need to do. You move forward, the zone standing. Your friend's words cut, but I think carry more value than gold because you know that your friend speaks, and I will say without having to roll that you know that your friend's failure was intentional and he wished you to know that he spoke the truth. Pesha, that's enough for me. Okay. Another experiment was happening. All of these years. One of my own. If the Matron of Ravens can do it, so can't we all. And I snap, and you see a little string of white wisp come from my orb. It wraps around Pesha's finger. She delivers it back, and you can see it go into Xerxes's temple. Reflected in Pesha's orb, such that all can see but for Xerxes, you see in your mind where this memory first came. A night of desperation. You didn't go to Pesha when the time was there only to save Vandran, when he finally vanished, when his body disappeared. Would you have stopped at death? No. <laughs> I wouldn't have ever stopped. And you didn't. You didn't stop after death. You went to Pesha and asked for magic that could bring someone back. That night, you offered everything you had. You offered whatever it would take to bring him back. You know that Pesha did every step of that ritual perfectly. Candles in a dark sanctum, a spell of true resurrection, powerful enough that not even a fraction of the body would be needed. The name alone would carry from death to life. The candles did not even flutter. The words were spoken and nothing happened. And you had to admit 
that you had done everything you could, and that was too much for you to bear. Because I failed. You didn't fail. It was one of the few moments that the Ring of Brass could not determine our own fate. And I do not accept that. Patia. Normally, I would ask for some kind of roll, an arcana check, something of that nature. I don't ask for it when players stone cold guess. What's the simplest explanation for why a resurrection would fail? They're somewhere else. Because they're not dead. The voice you heard speaking to you with pride, it was a Vandrin. Just as the matron's name has been stricken throughout all of recorded history, if you're saying the same holds true for a Vandrin, perhaps we didn't fail. It worked. Where is he then? No, but we might be able to find him. Can't you see? Right. When I drove it, I did everything right. Don't tell, don't say. No, I say don't say. tell them. Please, please. I don't know what happened. Lairin, Lairin, give me a chance. Please. Sorry. Uh, he agreed to it, and he's a friend, and the first night, she agreed to go when we were trying to jump. I did everything perfectly. I was perfect and it worked. And then he came back. But something went wrong. I don't know what happened. You sent Evandrin. I had to try. Where did you send him? You sent him to where you want us to go? I wanted us to be able to go anywhere. I started with the celestial plane. That's where he is? No, he came back. He came back and he was fine until he wasn't. You anchored his soul. I don't know. There are very few things in this world I don't know. Sarah? I just, Sickness on the mortal form, it doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't your fault. It was an accident, right? Yeah. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? We, what do you mean it doesn't matter? He's not mortal, or I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not. We separated his consciousness, his pure essence, his being. You did that. I didn't do that. You did that and you now recognize that that's why what we tried didn't work. That's exactly what I think. It's the tree. The tree of names. If, if that vision you saw was true. I think it is. Then the calyx is the reason it didn't work and the calyx is the reason it's pulling power. Those druids are keeping this magic from happening, from being perfected. It was perfect, it was supposed to work. They're interfering. And they're trying to draw magic away. To keep us. To stop us. You think he's in the tree? I want to go to this tree. I want to go to that calyx. Perhaps we'll have a choice, and at this point, 
I once again throw my sphere and it kind of poof, pops up in an even bigger little projector screen in front of all of us. And I start playing back Nidus' memories that he still had. Uh, all of you watch <laughs> the orb alight and a stream comes from Nidus' <laughs> mind as Pasha holds it aloft. <laughs> uh, this is no. Uh, you begin to go into the memories of this mage. You are in a maze of this man's mind, recreated from Nidus's memory of it in this orb. Uh, I will ask you to command what knowledge you seek to rest from this. It will not simply play out. You must investigate. You must you must look for what you need to find. I will say, I think the the memories I was hoping to pull were specifically ones in which this mage was hearing information from uh, Loris. Is it Loris? Mm -hmm. Loris or uh, the Dean, Dean Hollow. Lycretia, yeah. Lycretia. Any information where they were speaking to them or being told things by them, any reference to Vespin Chloris, um, and any um, and any sort of uh, any sort of uh, any location, or that they were. To be, I, I think those three. That's enough. Uh, off the top of like Vespin Chloris, and then uh, oh, and anything about the replenishment or what needed, what orders being given. But I think those would come from Dean Hollow and uh, uh, Laura. So that's those are those are the two big ones. Amazing. Um, give me. You can do Arcana or Investigation, uh, and, and we'll do it one question at a time. Give me the first thing you want to look for. Assist you can absolutely get the help action here. Right. Okay. I was like scrubbing through mm -hmm. the timeline. Discussions they had with uh, uh, Dean Hall. Give me a roll. Hall. Arcana. Mm -hmm. uh, natural 17 mm. for 28. Mm. Boom. You begin to go through uh, bits and pieces. You see, like, it's mostly like Krisha talking. You don't see much of. Of Loris in here, uh, but perhaps this guy is so far down the chain that you know. Um, you see, uh, Lycretia interacting with Micah Cormorant, the uh, deceased magister. You see that having defeated him, that appears to be the way that all the Canalthi were brought into the city. So that means that, despite how much danger you are all in, at least one thing has been there, that the the means of bringing more Canalthi into the city has been eradicated. Magister Cormorant is dead. Uh, you see that he, he exposed the old Porter's Guildmaster to ensure that there wouldn't be an active Guildmaster of the Porter's Guild during this time period. Oh, oh um, my god. Uh, and that he's been ferrying Canalthi into the city for, for more than a week. Um, wow. Uh, wow. Uh, you see him speaking. Uh, you see Lycretia speaking about uh, Pervon Sewell and saying something along the lines of like, uh, invite, uh, of inviting him to this thing and saying he must be prevented from aiding in what is to come in Vasselheim. Um, in Vasselheim. In Vasselheim. Um, uh, you see, you see him speaking like it's another thing. She's in another room. All of this is fragments. Some of it's not even conversations he's having with like Kreisha. It's just things he's present in the room for. Yeah. Um, the uh, the the cultist that was disguised as one of like Kreisha's Hadmadads was supposed to get the blood that the Arrhenius got. That was supposed to happen earlier, and they had to improvise and figure something else out. Um, you see uh, both. Uh, uh, the Arrhenius and uh, the Horned Devil, both of the devils that you fought, uh, vomiting bile upon their son, the Canalthi summon them and, and vomiting bile again, and you see blossoms floating past them. Um, you, uh, um, you see them uh, uh, arriving, uh, there, this guy like went searching in the Meridian Labyrinth, for artifacts headed to the arcane furnace to be melted down and got there too late after they'd already been pulled by the eyes of Avalir. You see that this guy was one of the people that was sent to go try to find them before that happened, uh, which is why they needed to 
get that. There's something about about needing those tools of Vespins. Um, you see, whew, this is just lots of. Sorry. No, it's great. <laughs> I, I feel like worried. I'm making you do like the third act moment where they're like, wait, it was him. Yes. Oh, 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 um, he was there. Um, Kaiser Sose. <laughs> uh, um, you see that that there uh, that there's a converse, a short conversation that he has in it, that like Creech is not even talking. It's one of the Kanauthi talking about that their brethren are also supposed to attack the giant slumber, which is the headquarters of the Gaudrashari. So there's also an attack that's supposed to happen tonight <gasps> uh, in, down in Kathmoira. Kath yeah. My question. Yeah. Um, just be us. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, in Vassal Yeah. Um, well, yeah, and that's another thing too. I think Sarah, as you're watching this play out, it's like Lord of Hells, Lord of Hells, Lord of Hells, Lord of Hells, and you see every once in a while, like Krisha will mention something happening somewhere else in Exandria. You don't think the Lord of the Hells is the only betrayer God working somewhere on the world right now? Uh, you. Uh, so there's an attack going on right now. In Kathmoira, presumably. Um, there are two big things left. Give me give me an insight check with advantage. I won't lie, my iPad has died. So what I these are all I know this is twelve. Yeah, this we is got plus chargers. 12. Plus 12, yeah. We got chargers. This is this is, this is, this is, this is uh, Can we fly in a charger? Fly in a charger. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. twenty seven. Um, here's another iPad. It's not big. Thanks. <laughs> iPads on iPads on iPads. So. Um, we are generic yeah. tablet devices. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Great, glad to have um, yeah. um, you see a conversation from long, longer ago, earlier this year. Um, this guy doesn't look as haggard in this memory, doesn't feel as haggard. Like his, his memory is of him having more energy and more life force. Um, he is watching the end of a conversation between Patia and Lycretia Hollow. Uh, Lycretia is a member of the Ring of Silver and the Keeper of Scrolls works within the umbrella of the Octothurge, within the umbrella of the academic structure. Mm. Uh, a short, very polite conversation concludes between Patia and Lycretia Hollow. In the memory of this mage, you hear him say, my lady, I can't help but notice your rather obvious disdain for the Keeper of Scrolls. And you hear Lycretia Hollow um, say, oh, am I that obvious in my disdain? I must say, she's more of a merchant than the guild master of the Golden Scythe is. I mean, she doesn't trade in gold, but rather her grandfather's name. Oh, ooh, oh, double shade, double shade. Uh, you see, you see, uh, he says, uh, you see that the mage speaking says, um, uh, the mage speaking says, says, uh, well, certainly the, I, says, I think the guild master would rather take offense at that, uh, at that comparison, there's nothing wrong with trade after all, my lady. And he is, as I understand it, rather close with the lady Porco. And you see she turns to him and says, if he knew what I knew about the Archmage Porco. <gasps> <laughs> um, you see, and Patia, you are watching Nidus watch this memory. Uh -huh. You are all watching this in the room together. I'm not hiding him. Um, you see, uh, you see, the, this mage says, I beg your pardon? Lycretia says, the orrery? The sorcerer's university? She's got him wrapped around her finger. You see that that, uh, the mage shrugs. Uh, he says, how do you mean? And she says, let's just say that the Septarian gets what it wants. And uh, that memory concludes. Uh, you. Your Eminence. Uh, 
patient failed the zone of truth. Mm -hmm. uh, your eminence, what is it that the Septariat wants? Nidus, I have always been transparent. Yes. With Avalir's quest for knowledge, talent, prodigies. I went to the Septarium. I begged them to fund the Sorcerer's School and tried to convince them to place locations in various cities across Exandria. I could not get that approval, but... When I framed it in a way to convince them that it would only benefit Avalir and our future to bring these talented minds, the most gifted from across all of Exandria to Avalir, it would only enhance and benefit our society. That's what got them to approve the project. That I understand. Uh, of course, I, in our conversations, I understood it could not simply be charity, but, um... Yes. All right. I did genuinely try to speak from an honorable position, and this was the compromise, and I apologize if it comes across as deceitful or arrogant. Problem. Oh, sorry. Uh, Frame anything for the good of Avalir, and you might be able to get it. Pesha, there's a memory you could share in this moment as we are diving deep into this, if you wished, of a conversation where you were as valiant as you could be speaking to Loras of the Weaver's Mask. If you wished to share it, you could. Ask Nidus if you wish to see it not through my perspective, but as it was, without any skewed, mistaken memory, I can show it for you. But I also do not feel as if I had to have to defend myself to one of my closest friends, unless you wish to see it. Given all that is happening, that you offer is enough for me. Um, are there any other questions? Thank you. Are there any other questions we might seek to decipher from this, these memories? There's one final one, and I'm going to need either perception or investigation checks from everybody here. And the DC is going to be 25. Come through, everyone. 25. I can't give any any of that without nat 20, so. I'm looking at you. Look at you. Perception or investigation? Perception or investigation. Thirty. <laughs> okay. Woo! Okay. Um, you start moving through the last memory as you move through. Um, You see Lycretia speaking to this archmage, saying, remember, we go to the helm. We must destroy the helmswoman, Akami Ro. We must destroy her, because by the time they reach the Wild Mother's embrace, it will have been too late. We must prevent them at all costs from from reaching the embrace of the Wild Mother. And you remember Vespin saying that on a 30 investigation. Timing, timing, timing. It always comes back to that for you. Why, why did Akami Ro die moments after she started the protocol to descend the city? Why was it that close, that quick? If they wanted the city 
to stay in the air. If they, if they didn't want you guys to reach the ground, then why wouldn't they kill Akami Ro earlier, days ago? Why wouldn't they kill her? And you think about the fact that Vespin Chloris, when he launched himself from the mirror, what did he say to you? He, he said, you will never reach the Wild Mother's embrace in time. You took it as he said it, but who's that stupid? Why would he tell you exactly what you were supposed to try and do to thwart him? Why would he give you your finish line? You look up at that memory, something's wrong. Something's wrong with that memory in the recording. The one that we just saw. The one you just saw. Like Kreisha Hollow never said that, and you've never been more certain of anything in your life. Oh my god. What? Would I, with my ability to be able to tell if someone's memory has been altered? Uh, on a third investigation, when Sarah points that out, give me an arcana shot with advantage. <clears throat> Twenty-four. Um, the memory's been altered, and like Kreisha Hollow did it. Like Kreisha changed one of this mage's memories changed it to her saying something about the Wild Mother's embrace, but she said something else originally. It wasn't that. Can I modify the memory of a dead person? <laughs> Ooh, no. yeah, can we scrape off the... Scrape, like, yes. try, try to get deep? Yeah, can we Do happy? some fucking shit! Yeah, make it happen! Uh, 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 how is it... What's so weird yeah. to you? Like, why would, why would she die... If they're not supposed to get there in time, why would you kill them when you got just close enough? Yeah. Right. They, I think, it, it, they must need us. They must need us to, to, oh. in, engage, or, or the replenishment must need to happen. The the, the timing, yeah. if if what you say is true, it would suggest that these processes need to happen, and then once they have initiated, then they act. So it would seem, possibly, that they want us to land. They, they, or. or but then why would they why would they make such a point of the opposite? Arcane Architect, if the city is disabled above Kath Moira, what happens? If the city is disabled above Kath Moira such that it, it stops descending, so from the helm, the helm's been sundered, and it's a protocol. The city is on its way to landing. It's moving, right? It's yeah. moving. We're You're moving. slowly descending. Slowly, right? Slowly. There is a way, mm -hmm. theoretically, to stop this. What Sarah is driving at is this. If you killed, if you burned through all the energy you've got, or, or something like 40% of it, 60%, some, some huge percentage, you have to try it, you could kill the descent. You could. You could stop the city from touching down. What this would mean is that for the first time in 292 years, Avalier would not touch down for the replenishment. And there are an enormous amount of contracts you would immediately default on. There is no guarantee that the Septarian would even allow it, and if they discovered that it was happening, it could constitute treason. If you acted on your own and just killed the engines, it could be construed as treason, and you'd miss your shot. Can we unmodify the memory? Is that, Pesha, is that at all possible? Oh, yes. Greater restoration. I would just, no. Yes, it would be a combination of restoration and almost like a. Uh, we don't have curse. the body here, right? We just have the memory. We only have the memory, but. But it does. It might not even matter. We we know. What Memories are. Are. Tangible figments. They. It might they not exist. Even, but it might not even matter if we know that this memory was modified. We can just. Pretty much guess as to what it was modified from. We know they want us to land. Yes. They killed the Hemel's woman, so it's on autopilot. It will do that. And it if they them. don't want to, if they want to drain the batteries. They attacked the batteries, but maybe they didn't succeed. Is it all just a feint to suggest that, so that we. Speed us along? Yes, to make us go faster? Or 
to make us continue on the path that we're supposed to be on, the, the status something. quo. They want us to think that landing the city is the most important thing. It's the safest and quickest thing to do. Um, they want to bring back the betrayers. And that's a way to do it, whatever it is. It's through the replenishment, punishment, through that injection. We already know that there are attacks happening globally. If we don't land, I mean, we're all finished. But also, shouldn't we warn the rest of the world that this is happening? Yes. If they're not aware of it, if there are going to be attacks, we could save lives. We need we to warn them. Uh, broadcast it. I was considering check, scrying on my brother to see yes. he's the all called and would be your person of influence. Yes. Um, I. Uh, we're gonna do it. I'll born a fifth level spell slot. I'm gonna <laughs> scry on my brother. Um, you scry on your brother, uh, and you see that he is at a uh, dinner table uh, enjoying, uh, uh, or sorry, no, it's like, Pat, now it's like two o'clock, or it's like two or three in the morning now. Um, uh, you see uh, he's still up, um, sort of writing by candlelight. He's just gonna probably, he's, you know, it's the eve of the replenishment, he's probably gonna stay up all night just because, yeah. you know. Um, and you, s you don't see anything, you don't see chaos or anything like that. You know that the the sight of the druids' groves on the other side of the ring from the all cults home. So he's he's miles away. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's oh the giants thing is the a giant slumber is a sacred site within Cathamoyra, mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't look like anyone's alerted him. You don't see anything else happening like that. Oh, can anyone send a, a an ending spell to my? Can we watch him go check on the giants' grove? How it would take him too long to get there? You, honestly, you guys are so are, are progressing your descent enough. It'd be faster for you guys to get there flying. And just from a position yeah. perspective, are we still traveling down and to meet? No, no. You or moved we all the above? way, and no, are now descending going straight down. My, I ask my question again: <laughs> Is there anything that would cause the city to fall? from the sky. As it was doing are migrating. there defaults? Are there redundancies? We are now directly above the Wild Mother's embrace. Oh, you only lost one battery. We have enough to land. I need 50% of the power that we've gathered to attempt to finish the astral. Lay right. And that would transport the entire city elsewhere. It would Maybe. allow us to have a new ley line to other planes. But it wouldn't immediately take us somewhere? No, we have things to do on the ground. That's not a lie. <laughs> I just don't care about being on the ground. Give me an arcana check. So here's what you know. What Sarah said, can we stop the city? Can we stop the city in the air? Yeah, that's doable. That's doable. But you know the cost that comes at. Yeah. You have time. It's about, you know, in between two or three in the morning right now. This thing's not gonna land until 10 minutes before sunrise. You've learned more about the Arboreal Calyx in the past day than you've known in your entire career as the Architect Arcane. Maybe there's a solution. There might be something clever. There might be something you could do that would answer the energy problem. You think it might be worth figuring out or finding out, because you know it might be worth uncovering that memory more, if there's more information in there, if you can scrape that top layer off somehow. But on a Dirty 20 Arcana check, 
you know there's something that these entities still need. They're still grasping for something. Why did they grab those thoughts from Sarat in the fight? Why did they get this blood from Xerxes? They're still, they're, they're still scrambling too. I'm trying. How does your ring work? My ring lights up in the presence of deception or a lie. I'm lying to you. I know how to stop it. Oh. I just don't want to need it. Jumping this lay right. I'm gonna ask questions because I'm not an arcane user. So I'm I'm trying to play big leap with you guys now. Do we have to be docked to do it with Kath Moira? Yes. None of this works if we don't dock. Whatever replenishment needs to happen. Yes, was all I needed. Evandrin, mm -hmm. he went to this other place, came back, and was never the same again. Yes or no? Yes. And you want to send this entire city with our families to that place at that risk? Yes. I leave. Sarah leaves. Uh, Sarah, give me a perception check, and I'm going to let you know something as you're leaving. Ooh, that's a 31. Uh, 31. Um, uh, in, in Laren's effects, you see a scroll of birch bark. You see a birch bark scroll that you recognize as being druidic in nature. Oh, my. I'm gasping. <laughs> um, you don't know necessarily what it is. I, I don't. I uh, wait. I forget. Did you did you communicate that in the group chat? What that was, or uh, back in the magisterium? Maybe not. Would I have said it? No, we were running around. I don't think I had a time. I had time. You know about it. Oh, we, that's right. It's a thing. This is the one that we okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, right, right. And I copied it. Um, yeah, you copied it. You have that too. Oh, we're in this together. We're in this I together. Okay, yeah. okay. Come with me. Um, as, as I'm getting ready to leave, uh, I'll just call out what I see. You might want to check what's in her pocket. There have been some incredibly selfish actions amongst this group. I don't know if we'll survive the night, but I'm going to go take care of mine now. And I leave. <sighs> off of the Meridian Labyrinth. Um, uh, Sarah, you take off. Um, we'll come to you in a moment. You guys are very good at playing D&D. &D. Um, <laughs> very good at this game. Very good at this game. Um, for the rest of you gather here in, uh, uh, what comes next? There's the question of this memory. There's things that you are thinking about the arboreal calyx. Um, we can still fix this. We just have to get to the calyx. And there's no way to teleport without touching down. We can't do it in the sky. Do we want to try to scrape this memory a little bit more? Can you, do you have a restoration? Or... What's that? What did you say? Do you have greater restoration right I don't have oh, greater restoration. Either, oh, um, <sighs> I've got detect thoughts. So I, I can modify memory. Have. I'll dispel magic. If you want to throw a modify memory on there and you want to do another detect thoughts, we can yeah. scrape through this. Okay. What do you have there, Xerxes? I mean, I have. Because this is a spell that did this, but the person that was that it was done to was in here. But I have a cleansing touch, which I can use to end a spell. Mm. But this is very far removed. Yeah, I think. I actually think yeah, you can use your cleansing touch here, and that will help because this was some like infernal magic that happened here. I think you can, with those three things combined, you go back through the memory, and you see the thing that like Risha Hollow actually told her lackey. The city must land. It must land before sunrise. The apogee solstice, perfect time. The betrayers are coming. They are coming here. And when the city lands, glorious day. Uh, you see, she says, uh, the, you see that um, the mage speaks back to Lucretia saying, Mistress, what if 
What of the, the problem that we've discussed? You see, she looks and says, that's for Vespin to handle. Uh, you see, he says, the Archmage? And you see, she says, of course. Oh, you didn't think he was gone forever now, did you? And uh, that's where that memory fades. No. So the choice is we stop the city and ruin your plans, or we let it go. There's another way. There's always another way. I don't see one. No, no. We have time to, tre to we try to find one. Yeah. If we ruin her plans, we don't get a Vandrum back. Let's take a look at the arboreal calyx yes. and move from that place. Yes, yes. The Xerxes says we have time to tree. We have time to tree. We have time I, to tree. tree. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that quote is going to make it in the final <laughs> recap. <laughs> um. I mean, I think with that, I'm ready to, I'm just gonna head to wherever that. You head to the Calyx. I'm heading to the Calyx. I'd like to pull up alongside Xerxes as we yeah. walk to the Calyx. Mm -hmm. oh. I wanted to apologize for. There's no need. You're right, What's good is, what good is the truth if you force it out of somebody? But you are. Your forthrightness is important. And um, I just, what we saw in the whole of prophecy did not. You often interact with the, the divine, but I do not. Um, and what we saw there was deeply um, troubling. It was. Mm. I'm not. The others need to know. We need to know everything. Ah, <sighs> but let's see what this calyx yes. reveals and then we'll go from there. I think people have had enough of that sort of talk for now and we're all a little on edge. Yes, we'll have to reach out to Sarah, give him time to cool off. Speaking, you all move to the calyx. Can I send a quick sending to Quay specifically yeah. as we're like going? Um, and to me, are we together? Yeah, but okay. I want it to be private. Mm -hmm. uh, and just turn the mask and just say, my ambition is perhaps a flaw, but the biggest mistake I ever made was not trusting you with the whole truth. I'm sorry, and I love you, and I will fix this. Can I reply? Mm. Uh, I'll just say, uh, yeah, you've already saved me once. Maybe I can return the favor. I sprint for the kids. Uh, Patient is the last one remaining as everyone goes ahead. We'll follow in a moment. She pulls the orb in front of her face and she just starts playing back the memory of the things that just happens. And she gets to Sarah saying, there have been some incredibly selfish choices. And she plays it back. Incredibly selfish choices and plays it back. Incredibly selfish choices. Plays it back. After about half a dozen times, steals herself and follows forward. You enter the calyx. A massive stone chamber encompasses glowing with runes 
two mighty arcane engines, large bladed fins circling around glowing blue amethyst orbs crackling with light. You see stained glass windows showing light not from this plane of existence, but the stained glass shows the flying city of Avalir, runes protecting it. You've never opened the door to the Calyx before, but you know how. No corner of this city is beyond your reach. Massive wheel turns as you open into the chamber. Hovering in the center of the room, not translucent, but real, is a tree. The tree is beautiful. Dark wood, dark leaves, and blossoms. Sometimes Evandrin's sweat when he was at his worst would smell like these blossoms. The tree hovers. You see the engine surrounding it, placed here 119 years ago. As you enter this chamber, everyone here give me perception checks. Don't you wish it was here now? Mm-hmm. I got a natural 20. Natural 20? Um, <laughs> plus seven. Uh, loquacious, you smell blossoms. The Feywild, it's not far from here. Oh. And suddenly you feel like maybe nothing's very far from here. Whoa. Blossoms move, you look up into the tree uh, none of your human and elven friends can see it, but your fairy eyes look up and you see almost translucent, but there's a little blinking light up in the branches of the tree. It's partially invisible, but you could, it's possible with it's like some simple magic, you could, you could illuminate it or draw attention to it, but it is there in the tree. Sure, I'll I'll point it out and use prestidigitation to just sort of uh, put some electric blossoms around it. Laren, your toy. Oh, it's stuck in the branches of the tree, and it can't come back. I'm gonna try to use Mage Hand to grab it. It's like flickering. It's flickering. It's, trans- it's partially translucent. Quay, some Quay was able to see it, and and it's there. But you see it starts to become translucent, vanish, come in and out. You realize you sent it, but it can't come back. It was you sent this in the room with the lay right. You didn't send it in this room. Somehow, the trees grabbed it. It's it's like caught in the branches here. Fucking trees ruining my cool magic. <laughs> Cast blight on the uh, tree, but that's probably a bad idea. He's catching things that are going through this is not a true. planar portal. Okay, it's been I'm grabbing going I'm going to magic. step forward, mm-hmm. and I'm going to speak to the tree Okay. in oh, primordial. Okay. You speak primordial? I do. Mm, I also Monster. speak primordial, so I know what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I chose dwarvish. <laughs> <laughs> For the Herald Stone. It's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, um, what do you, you go up and speak to the tree? Uh, what is it that you say? I say. I say the word in primordial that is um, my sibling. Do you understand what I'm saying? Speak. 
if you may. No response comes to you. You cannot be certain if the tree cannot speak or if it simply does not deign to respond. Let's take another step. Mm -hmm. I can try to assist. Damn. Oh. What do you wish to do? I, it's not a creature, but I have, I have something called universal speech. understand language, it would understand us. I don't know if we can talk back, though. I believe this understands us. <laughs> what do you want? Petals fall, move through the air, twisting and fluttering and vanish. There is no response. I'm trying to think of what? What was Evandrin doing here? What did he seek here? This was, he didn't seek anything here. When we made, a, when I made a first attempt, this thing siphons magic. He was taken to this the same way my toy was stuck in the branches. You look up and still see it there. It can't quite make it back. Even with Mage Hand, it's still, the attempt to get it with Mage Hand, it, it pulls for a moment and then translucent, ephemeral, ethereal. Um, the memory, um, when the, um, when the fiends were summoned, there were blossoms, yes? Um, it's, it's something, it's this tree and passing through um, spaces, planes, they are connected in some way. Um, right. Even, even the, the, it seems things not from the celestial plane still interact with this tree in some way. It's sort of a gate. It's growing through the ley line. Oh. I'm gonna begin to cast blight. To cast what? Did you say blight? Blight. Uh, what? Oh uh, my god! We came for fam, let's go. Who's the people? Was this called a EXU a chill day in the uh, park? I no. wanna I wanna put my hand on uh Lairon's, uh uh wrist. Uh gra uh You cannot. You cannot. He was my friend too, and he's gone because of this. But he might not be gone, he might be stuck in there. Just like your toy. Then if we get rid of it, whatever's stuck in it will fall down. You cannot, the limbs of the tree, they cannot, they must remain. What? Do you know of this Why? tree? The false prophecies. Um, what I pray were lies um, that we heard. They spoke of uh, the limbs of a tree that can no longer scribe. The name of our deliverance will soon be broken, will soon be as broken as our promises. If this is that tree, we cannot be the ones who break it. Because of, because <gasps> why? I, I, I don't, I don't know. It's, 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 it's prophecy. I, I don't, I don't want to believe it. I, 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 I do not believe it to be true. But if there's even a chance that it, that it could be, we, we, we cannot. You cannot. You, you shared the prophecy with us. 
No. This is the first you are hearing it. He just said it was false, or wanted it to be. What did the prophecy say about the tree? <sighs> uh, I'll recite the prophecy. Go ahead and recite it for us. Yes. <laughs> the stars are leaving us. Our hands cannot reach, the limbs of the tree can no longer scribe the name of our deliverance. We will soon be as broken as our promises. Avalir shall fall. All shall fall. And from our folly will the hand that forged the world banish themselves from the broken thing that we have made. Mm-hmm. Made. Laren, you don't hear any of that. In the branches of the tree, you see the frightened face of the friend you sent away. <gasps> and gone. He's there. He's stuck, just like your toy. I can get him. I don't see that. I do not me. care about prophecy. If you do not want me to do this, you will have to stop and I try to pull away from his grasp. Uh, I'm gonna hold on. Uh, I am gonna need the people in this room to roll initiative. (gasps) It's always bad. (laughs) I'm assuming better. Yeah. So mediocre death. Uh, Did anyone roll above a 20? 22. Quay, you go first. You see Nidus holding hard onto Laren's wrist. Uh, Nidus will see my eyes flash red and my face turn devilish, and my voice drop an octave, and I say, Unhand her! And I will cast Fey Presence. Uh, Wisdom saving throw of 18, or else be frightened of me. That one goes fully off the table. That is a 21. Oh, oh, you hold on. Oh, it's oh, about four. 21. Uh, anyone roll initiative between a 15 and 20? 19. I cast Silvery Barbs. Silvery Barbs, to change that? Make re-roll? Roll again. Make him re-roll. <gasps> roll again. And I give myself advantage with the other half of that. Holy shit. <laughs> and I just turn and say at the same time, let me go. We have popcorn. <laughs> that is only going to be a six. Uh, it, what, so he will be frightened of me. Um, is he within 10 feet of me? Yes. Ooh, you can't good. be frightened. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the BDE is real strong right now. That, that was, uh, <laughs> um, incredible. Uh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, uh, patient, you're next to go. You watch these two sides quickly loquacious and Laren and Xerxes and Nidus. It is your turn next. Choose wisely. I. <laughs> <laughs> but choose. Ooh. Am currently not interested in these timely squabbles that will not matter in ten years, five years, maybe even a day's time. What I am interested in is what information this tree holds. And if it is the Tree of Names, Mm -hmm. I want to know what names it holds. And if there is some way to determine that if it, the erase, the the purging of Evandrin's name, of the Raven Queen's name, any other name, what information has been lost and is in this tree? So I'm going to approach it. Mm-hmm. Touch it? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna touch it, 
And then, and then, you're you're gonna destroy the spell. <laughs> you're not trying to touch the tree. You're looking at the tree in a really. Oh, that's my. This is a long ass <laughs> casting. Time. Yes, yes. This is a long ass casting time, but the it's cooks. the age of Arcanum. Oh yeah. Some sort of whatever would be, um, an appropriate way to do legend lore here. I want to extract Ooh. any type of legend or story that I have uh, any knowledge in the, from this tree yes. while the, they're distracted. In the chaos? In the chaos. I don't care about this shit. Uh, give me a wisdom saving throw disadvantage. <laughs> no, sorry. Charisma. Charisma saving throw disadvantage. Are you within 10 feet of me? Uh, no, she walks up to the tree. She walks up to the tree. She walks up to the tree. I had taken two steps forward, but I don't think I'm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that's bad. The disadvantage. Yeah. 12. It's only 12. Um, you walk up, touch the tree, ask it for names. <gasps> Emir Porco. <laughs> oh. Um, the oh. last person who touched this tree was your grandfather, and you see him reach out to touch it and hear a voice saying, Unland it! As a towering ursine form. The great leader of the Gaudrashari when this tree was first placed. Uh, you see the tree of names. Names. What has it been doing? The tree is a wall. The tree is a gate. The tree is a pen. Scribing blossoms through ley lines, writing, writing the names, the names. Petals falling all over Exandria. This was our bargain, Emir. You move back out. All of you watch uh, her touch the tree and see. Uh, you see Pesha's hair stretch out behind her. Her eyes consumed with fire. She is rooted to the tree as though it is trying to draw her in and falls back out. That is your turn. We move down in the initiative order. Who got in between a 10 and a 15? Anyone? I got a 10. 12. Um, that's going to be, uh, uh, you were going to go next, Nidus. Okay. Is, so Pesha hand still on Laren. All this, all of this, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Pesha shoots back. Is Pesha still attached to the tree, or is Pesha? On Pesha the is attached to the tree. You can see, uh, Pesha has asked for knowledge uh, from. Pesha has has put her mouth to <laughs> seek from the from the fountain of knowledge, and what has come forward from that is beyond oceans, faster than anything. Uh, you see her mind is reeling as she taps into a vein of something grander and older and more profound than time. Mm -hmm. We went the way, okay. way back. Wild. Uh, can I make an insight? <laughs> okay. <That's, laughs> sure. This we went back all, to I'm zero. Fighting, <laughs> I'm fighting. I'm watching. Two, I'm that's trying. Okay. I'm trying to fight two of my best friends right now <laughs> in front of a tree that's <laughs> <laughs> teaching my other friend <laughs> information on. we don't understand. Uh, can I make an insight check to see if Laren is still on? The pa uh, still <laughs> on her bullshit, uh, even given the reaction to Pesha's, uh, even seeing what Pesha has done. I mean, this tree you already hate appears to be eating your friend alive. <laughs> I, I think no. I, I mean, you hear, you hear the spell slot click up, like click. click, click. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> wow. Just wow. chambers, uh, chambers yeah. and a shotgun. Uh, I am keeping wow. my hand on Laren. Mm -hmm. I keep my sword seat. Uh, I do not understand what this is. We cannot meddle with these sorts of things. Um, and I'm going to cast a uh, 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 hold person at a third level. On? Uh, both of them. Oh! At third level. Love um, to see it. And... Advantage when I am targeted by a spell attack. Uh, uh, this is not a spell attack; it's a saving throw. Do you still have advantage? Yeah, yes, absolutely. Whenever I'm targeted by a thing. I oh, am yeah. going to spend three sorcery points uh, to cast a heightened spell. Okay. Uh, so you guys have disadvantage. Disadvantage on this. Okay. So or 
advantage and disadvantage cancels out. Straight roll. Straight roll. You have advantage also because of your silvery barb. But unfortunately, no matter how much advantage you pile up, yeah. one disadvantage. They, they. So I have disadvantage. She just has a straight roll. You have disadvantage. She has a straight and roll. And this is a what save? Uh, uh, wisdom eighteen. I'll also oh, and I'll also guess. point out, Laren, oh. yeah. that you know you have line of sight on him as he's casting a spell too. Oh! She already used would the reaction. Would my reaction? F- no, he's yeah. He's, Silver bar. That's right. Use yeah. your reaction. So it's a straight yeah, that's roll. That's it. Oh, wait. Ooh. Are they within ten feet of me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, they are. And you, you're 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 broadcasting your aura. So this is plus five on saves. Oh, that's fully cocked. Like, like his clones. Shit! Real oh. My ally right now. <laughs> like, Come on, Sam. We no. got this. It's real. I, I. Both of you? I don't want. Oh shit. Yeah, I got Them one and a five. Tree. Oh! Mm-hmm. Sorry, what happened, Louise? Doesn't matter. We it doesn't failed. matter. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do okay. I get the plus? How, what's the plus? The plus five. Still just short. <sighs> With a 16. Bro. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Um, Nidus, uh, it's hold person on both of them. Boom, you watch them both freeze. You s- reach deep uh, into something, Drake, con- something powerful inside of you. Boom, um, they are both held. Um, any bonus action from you? Uh, mm, um, you flex. I flex, no, I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shit. I. Uh, I like don't want to do offensive shit. It feels wrong. They're, they're, I mean, they're both. Both of them are are, yes. are taken care of. Right Which part now. feels wrong? You mean the tree that's trying to suck the other person in? Well, talking about the beginning of time. Just, it's all too much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which part so feels bad. wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't. I'm. Nidus is in attack mode, so I'm just gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to sack a second level spell slot and get three sorcery points back. Cool. Um, Ooh. Fuck. Uh, Hell yeah. And then, uh, 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 I'm not taking my eyes off the two of you. Yeah. Uh, no. I know better. Um, but yeah. Um, you got a 10, you got a 12? I got a 10. You got a 10, you got. I got a 10. 10. Okay, who has the higher dexterity? Here? Definitely not right. me. I mean. two. Yeah, you guys too. Uh, Laren, at the end of your turn, you may make another wisdom saving throw. How in what the fuck? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. It's gone forever. I Goodbye. love it. I truly love it. Um, okay, uh, Xerxes, it's you. I'm uh, getting a flash of what Sarah said about what was right. Didn't you tell us? That something was in somebody's pocket. Mm-hmm. The birch mm-hmm. bark's in her pocket. Yep. So. I'll let you guys do it that yeah, way. Grab I'm mm-hmm. grabbing it. <laughs> grab it. Uh, you grab it. Uh, I'm gonna say, just give me a flat like investigation, uh, just to read it as quickly as you Holy can. Shit. It's all good. Ten. Ten. Um, you begin to read, and just in the, t- in the you see something wrong is happening with Patia in the in the tension of the moment. Um, uh, uh, you look at it, and it's it's there's the, something the Drashari. They're saying something. They're saying something about about like we cannot tell you what it does. We do not trust what she would do. We cannot trust you. Um, that's all. That's all. You just see the word trust. You just see the word trust. Um, uh, uh, and they're talking about the calyx. They're talking about the tree. Uh-huh. Um, that's your turn. That's it's, it. Takes a while. You're yeah. in the middle of pitch combat. You're like trying to read yeah, this yeah, scroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we go back to the top. Loquacious, give me another wisdom saving throw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> go for your I, I fully thought I would be you in this campaign. <laughs> I love like you it. You give me one fucking prophecy. <laughs> I fucking love it. I love it. Uh, 17, unless I get to add his extra. I'm going to say in this moment, yes. I'm going to say you do. Yeah. I'm going to say you do. Um, wait, wait, wait. wait. Do I, can I gather that their intentions are to harm the tree? I mean, because I know that you're defending her, and, and do I gather that her intention is to harm the tree? Your magic. I don't. I'm going to. I'm going to. And, and people can yell at me on the internet if they want to. I'm going to ask you. Never. Your. Your. <laughs> Your your abilities do not stem from intellect. They are not. From, no, you're not an intelligence-based caster. Yeah. The, this is extended. From an inherent relationship the, to the. The wording, the rules as written, are it extends to your allies. That's what it says. It extends to your allies. Do you consider them to be your allies? I do. Yes. 
So there you go. Um, uh, so loquacious, that, that 17 becomes a 22, correct? <laughs> you, at the end of your turn, you are no longer held. Uh, Good Low move. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but I will fucking end you. <laughs> um, Patia, on a 19, you are looking to the tree. You see, um, oh, uh, Wow. You're looking in deeper and deeper, right? Um, uh, you see Emir, you see this this thing at the end. Uh, uh, you see your grandfather take his hand off and say, what, I'm not allowed to touch this most important engine of my city? And you see that this ursine form changes back into an earth genazi man who just looks and says, Emir, I beg of you. We have given as much as we can. This will be a boon, a boon to the world. Just, and you see Amir says, then tell me, then tell me. And you see this druid look. Uh, Pesha, what are you looking at in this moment? I already know my grandfather's intentions because his blood runs through my veins and I know mine. What does the druid know that we do not? We move from there. Uh, uh, as we move uh, from that moment, um, uh, we go down to the initiative order. Pesha, you push in farther. Um, we get down, I believe it is Nidus again, yes? Nidus, you go again. Uh, I am focused on holding Laren. Okay. Uh, I look to Loquacious uh, and I say, Loquacious, please, I, I live not for prophecy, but I live for Avalir. And if Avalia is in danger, if this tree, if its death, its damage could forsake our city, we cannot, we cannot touch it. Please. I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, and I'm, that is going to, I, my full focus, I'm not interested in harming Loquacious, I'm only interested in maintaining uh, the hold person on Laren. I've got oh, as many social points as I need to do the stuff I want to do. Oh. Um, I guess I guess I will I will ready. <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, hey, you ever been four hours and 45 minutes into an episode and then started doing PPP and then you were like, <laughs> I don't know. I I am, right. I'm not gonna ready an action. Go rest. My, my goal, my one goal is yeah. to hold, continue to hold person on Laren. Loquacious can live his life, whatever he needs to do. I am just making eye contact, pleading eye contact with Laren's Paralyzed body. Um, your full focus is on speaking to loquacious and hold and holding on hold person, right? So, as you are concentrating fully on that, give me perception with disadvantage. You heard Zerat, Zerat's voice cut it. How's it going, guys? <laughs> oh, hey. uh, guys I've been I really love about. to hear you. Yeah. I want to apologize. Yes. <laughs> Really feels really feel bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> guys. <laughs> ten. ten on a ten. As you hold this with all your might, trying as hard as you can, this is uh, exactly why you do not hear within the confines of the Meridian Labyrinth. No harmful spells will be cast upon the Architect Arcane. <gasps> Dweomer, walking into the room, uh, extends a hand um, and is going to, is going to do, uh, and is going to cast Disintegrate on you. Oh! Oh! Wait, turn on oh! And as a clockwork soul sorcerer, she is going to heighten spell. 
She walked in and saw a whole person, and she's got Detect Magic active. <laughs> oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Her yeah. Put your hands behind your head. Can I have advantage on this if I, if oh, I roll from God. down here? <laughs> oh, my God. The boatman waits, my friend. Are we doing this? You're rolling me a con save I'm with, with disadvantage. Okay. With disadvantage. Con save disadvantage, yeah. This is a no, spell. Is he within 10 feet of me? <laughs> 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 He's within 10 feet, yeah, what for sure. Is, He's got the plus five. Can we get Luis a t-shirt that says, are you with it? Is he with you? You have plus five? are just down. Everybody's always like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel good. I, I, need I need you to rule. I need you to make this decision because I can't because I'll cheat. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Is my sword drawn? I don't think so, no. I don't think so either. No, Damn it. <laughs> Okay, so what's happening? You're, You're rolling me a con five. save with disadvantage. Okay. And you have disadvantage, and you still get a plus five. So I have a plus five. My I have a plus one. five from you. Yes. I have a plus eight to con saves. Yep. Plus 13. Yep. I no problem. Do. Oh, she wants to say something. Ooh. Uh, 23. Ooh. Ooh. Or excuse me, 22. 22, okay, amazing. Um, a lot of dice. I'll do it. No, okay. it's happening. Yeah. Oh, it's happening. Yeah. I'm gonna counterspell it. Yeah, you said heighten all kinds of stuff, and and now I only have, have roll one on little itty bitty yeah. mm -hmm. counterspell. But I'm, a, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Listen. I can't. Oh, yeah. I want my girl to succeed. I Go hear find you. My die. I'm going. Thank you. Travis, no! All right, we are going to find a way to resolve this. Um, uh, <laughs> I am going to say, I'm going to say right now that we're going to burn all of our stuff on each other. First of all, give me just a detour. I want to make sure that you are because. I'm reading. Because she's casting this at the outside of her range. She cast it as soon as she could, yeah. which means that if you're on the wrong side of Nidus, yeah. she's out of your range. Yeah. So we're just going to make it an even coin flip. Okay. You, want an, you want an 11 or higher, just roll a d20. 19. Okay. So she's in range. Uh -huh. Go ahead and roll. You're just adding plus five to this check. Okay. You're not going to tell me what I need to get? You don't uh, tell me. Uh, I'll let you know what you need to get. 20. Counterspelled. Oh! Boom! You watch the disintegrate go off, uh, headed right for you. Um, Nidus, we move from your turn. Uh, oh, sorry, that's, that was Dweomer's turn. Now it's going to go back to Laren, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I hear her come in. I hear the beginning of the cast. And I'm a little grateful as I scream no in my own head. You can all hear it across the bond. Because I can't move or speak, but we're still telepathically connected, and I would never have wanted that for you. Uh, but I am gonna roll again to try to break out of this. Do I get advantage on my saving throw now, or are you burning stuff to negate that? No, you're no. flat. These are all flat. These are all flat. Am I still your ally? Yes, you are. Whole person's gone. And the whole person leaves. Um, we are just. I mean, we're just gonna keep moving through because we have to. Xerxes, that's you. What are you gonna do? I'm reading this thing. I mean, I know there. I I I, I want to know. Mm -hmm. I know there's a secret in here. I know there's something to this tree. Can I yell? Yeah. I saw him. He's in there. Xerxes, do you look to the tree or do you look to the scroll? Oh my God. Oh, yeah, she toys. just said that too. I'm gonna rule. Yeah, <laughs> do it. Do it. One through 10, yeah, I stay at the scroll. Die. 11 and above. Mm -hmm. I rolled a 20. This fucking die knows what matters to me. <laughs> I look up. We'll come back to you. But you look into the tree, and I'll describe what you see in a moment. We move from Xerxes back to the top of the order. Loquacious, that's you. What are we even doing now? You don't know. It's, it's all become too much. So she, oh, so I'm seeing, so Pesha's arm is like in the tree? Does she look like she's in pain? Is she? She looks like she's, well, she looks like something otherworldly unbelievable is happening to her for sure. But she doesn't look. She's not, she's not taking distress. on injuries. She's not taking on injuries. But the tree is like growing around her hand. It's like. Oh, it seems like we should get her out of there. Right? No one like the blight idea when I said it. Um, <laughs> I, I was. Just bitching you mm -hmm. on the group chat. Boy, I have not too many 
big spells left. Mm -hmm. So I will. Ay, ay, ay. I will just run over and grab her hand and pull, pull her, try to pull her back out. Cool. Are you okay? You grab her hand, try to pull her back out. Uh, uh, like her go, other hand, not the yeah. one that's in the tree. Uh, you go grab her. So you grab the hand that's not in the tree, yeah. and begin to pull. As you pull, boom, right. you begin to see what she is seeing. Yeah, um, my oh, God! You look back and you see a gate opens. You see the Feywild. Um, you look up and see the burning eyes, tall golden hair flaming. You see the leader of your court. Look up. Elmenor, the burning veil. Child, what have you, you done? Why, why are you looking at beyond this realm? Something moves upon the face of your world. Do not let her find the names. Uh, and... Her find the names? Um, okay. Uh, I think maybe it's you. I was hoping uh, uh, You move from there. Oh, look, Patience. We go down the order again. Patia, that's you. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, 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 you go, deep. you look for the, for the druid. I want to go like a primordial deep. How fucking deep does this shit go? Center of the universe, Big Bang, let's go. Big Bang, center of the universe. You see Kulm towering, the Emperor of Fire, Raushan of the Primordials, the Empress of the Earth, Kamort, the Dawn Father, the Wild Mother, Mount Igora, where they were sealed forever. Uh, we will come back to you in a moment. Okay. We move forward. Oh, uh, we move forward in initiative. Uh, Nidus, it is you once more. Uh, I can tell that Laren's out of the. You can tell that Laren's out of it. Uh, grapple. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh no. He rolled. It's a contested roll, right? It yes. Still be good. I'm a little baby. I rolled an You're 18 on the die. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, only a only a only a seven. My heart's not in it. Um, you leap at Laren. Um, uh, this this automaton has come into the room. Uh, you, you, you've said everything you said. You see Loquacious now. Pfft, his eyes are aflame as well. Xerxes, with the scroll who has been helping you by your side, suddenly looks up. We will get to what you see in a moment, but you look okay. to the tree. Um, <laughs> uh, Laren, uh, you dodge the grapple. Um, that is your action. Uh, Laren. Uh, Dweomer, uh, uh, Dweomer goes against seeing you no longer the spell. Dweomer looks at you, uh, uh, and and it, uh, wherever your eyes look, that's where Dweomer will look. I'm not looking at her, I'm looking at Quay. What does Quay look like in this moment? What does Quay look like in this moment? Uh, I I am uh, eyes wide, uh, and I'm trying to look back at you uh, with just a look of, of fear but not fear at what I'm seeing. Fear at, at what you're doing. <laughs> Stop. I let him grapple. You are grappled in this moment. You go. Your husband looks afraid. As you go deep, you see the tree lance out two branches, sharp as swords, lance into Patia and Loquacious at the same moment. It is still your turn. I cast Blight. <laughs> blight hits the tree. We are gonna resolve all this in a moment. I know that this is a chunky episode. So it's great, keep going. But we are going to move very quickly into um, uh, um, uh, 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 we are going to come back in a moment. Two most uh, honest people. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see the tree it, just in in defense as you attempt to plumb into its secrets. Uh, uh, Sarah. Uh, me. We go to you outside. I need to know what you're doing. What are you doing? <laughs> I need to know what you're doing. Yeah, no, I I, I left. I, I'm an immediate beeline uh, for the Cloudstone. 
Okay. Uh, I'm heading to the hawk's nest and I'm heading to my office. I'm going back to that room. I, I just want to see, has there been attack? Has there been attack? Is anyone The hawk's nest is mostly empty. It's the middle of the night. You know, people are either out on watch or doing whatever. You go, you fly to your room. Um, uh, there are no documents on your desk. Yeah, figures. Uh, I take the, the sending stone out of my pocket. Okay, you take it out. And I say, uh, Talon, Talon 2. Talon 2. Oh, Come God! In. Wingspan, Talon, Talon, oh, record again. Fuck no! <laughs> Talon 2, I, I need you to listen here. Listen to me very carefully. I need you to find your sister and meet me at home. Can you do that? Wingspan, who do you think you're ta even talking to? I I followed Egghead and, and Dad, remember, code names, code names. Sorry. I followed Egghead. She doesn't have any idea I'm here. She's talking to a girl at a party. She's got I think she's a Triton because she's got like blue hair and they're talent, talent too. Listen, this is they're very like, and they're, dr they're drinking stuff. They're drinking That's stuff. Very exciting. There's a big party. It's at the Sorcerer's University. It's uh, there's a bunch of kids. Everyone's talking about a fireworks extravaganza. I'm not sure if it was even permitted. Here, listen to me. Get Egghead and tell her it's an emergency. You know what we talked about before. This is important. Please get her and come home as fast as you can. Do you copy? I copy, Dad. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Remember, code names. Sorry, wingspan. Roger that. Mission and objective set. Gather egghead. And rendezvous at home base over it over and out. Out. I love you, Dad. I love you too. Where does Sarah go now? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way uh, to the Cloudstone, <laughs> and I'm going to gather. Uh, well, I, I, first of all, I approach the Cloudstone cautiously. I yes. expected ambush at every corner. I'm gathering things for Kier, things for Maya. I'm putting them in a small bundle and I'm, I'm waiting for them to get back. When I'm in the house and there's nothing to do but for, to wait for them to come back, mm -hmm. I'm gonna check in. You, sorry, so you go to Cloudstone, you look at everything you can, um, and then you're gonna go back to your house. That's the plan, right? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna get them out. While you are at the hawk's nest, you search your office, nothing there. You go to find, uh, you, it's right down the hall from you. You go into Orwin's office. Oh, yeah. It's quiet in here, door's locked. You open it, and you see two feet sticking out from behind the desk, prone. I unholster the hawks. Hey. I look around the room, 10 feet blind sight. Anyone in here but me and him or the feet? The blood's had had time to sink into the carpet. There's no one in here. He's my old partner. I'll walk around the side of the desk. You walk. You see, as he was bleeding out, the artifacts are gone. The things from the crime scene are gone. But you look, Orwin was a good eye of Avalier. And he looks up in death, and you can see from some of the drag marks here that he took a couple out with him. In his hands, you see that there are two magical items. They are a simple thing, you know what they are. The eyes need to use magical items like these because you guys aren't wizards and you have to make it make sense in this world of magic and insanity and try to find reason and logic in a place that seems ruled by the belief that there are never going to be prices or consequences for any of this. They're simple magic items. There's two of them. They're like potions. You break them, 
and they do the spell that they're supposed to do. They're called Runes of Recall. You see scrawled in the script of a dying man to his old friend. He says, I don't know how much time we got. They're for your kids. They're keyed to the mom. Wishing you all the... And that's all that he had strength to write. Thank you, my old friend. I'm sorry I missed all this. I'll take them. Two runes of recall. Two tickets out. Your wings spread. You leave the hawk's nest for what rapidly feels like it may be the last time. And you fly home. You fly as fast as your wings will carry you. We return underground. And as we do, I will describe what we all see in time. Pesha. The schism. You look deep into the past. <laughs> the Dawn Father, the Wild Mother. <laughs> Emperor Raushan. Empress Kamort. Two of the primordials. Two of the only that were never killed, sealed under Mount Igora. You see, deep underneath the mountain, the druids tending to the seals. The Gao Drashari. The Gao Drashari built their temples here to tend to the work of the Wild Mother and the Dawn Father to seal these primordials away. <clears throat> Over time, centuries, mortals are so bad at remembering. It waxed on and on, and eventually the wizards came and they saw the broomstone in the mountain and they wished to lift it up. You see the Gaudrashari meeting. You see your grandfather. Our aim is to bring magic to the world. How could that be wrong? I know that your mountain is precious. It is more than precious. There are things within this mountain. Oh? What things are there within this mountain? And here you see that the druids, though they did not have hubris, perhaps had flaws of their own. For they would not say, for they did not trust. Our business is our own, but we will not see the mountain tampered with. Surely, we would not be having this discussion if something were not possible. What if there was a way for us to reinforce? What if there was a way for us to gather magic from all over Exandria and bring it here? We would gladly tithe you some portion of the magic we collected. Is that possible? Your grandfather, a beautiful man, kind mystics, anything is possible. You see them look and say, the land could thrive. Dominus could thrive. And you see here they look and say, would you grant us some boons if we allowed you to take the peak and the peak alone? We can work with the peak. <laughs> Move forward. You see the Gaudrashari. One of them <sighs> summoning a tree into being. A tree of names. If the wizards intend to fly along the ley lines, then perhaps this could be a good thing tree, a 
tree to protect Exandria, to scribe the names of those things beyond which should not come, and you see a floating globe, Exandria, beautiful, and all throughout it, ley lines. The tree is not a wall, it's a pen. It is scribing runes of protection, and as you travel the ley lines, the blossoms fall and protect your world. Protect your world from all the things outside it. For 292 years, Avalir has been writing a spell on the surface of the world to keep it safe. The Gaudrashari believed in keeping things safe and protecting Exandria. And centuries from now, when their order is shattered, only the last three syllables of their name will remain. The Ashari. Hmm. The tree of names. To keep this world, our world, safe from all those things beyond it. You see, one of the druids speaks, the wizards, do they not have a right to know? To the druid turn and says, would you trust them? Do you think they would let the tree stand? Or do you think they would bend it to their will? Do you think that a day would come when a war or a coronation, a betrayal or a contract, some temporary problem they would not see advantage in using what they should not meddle with. No. We will bind them to their word and we will not tell them what we have done. Xerxes, you look in the tree, you see Translucent face you have longed to see for many years. Before his voice was proud, and now his face looks afraid. He looks at you in a ghostly moment and says, Not like this! Blight. <laughs> hits the heart of the tree. <laughs> Rot. And the tree sunders. <laughs> the seam opens along the trunk. And as it opens, there is only fire. Two arms push the tree apart and the skinned face of Vespin Chloris gazes out. And behind him, you hear the true voice that has been speaking to you for quite some time. Very good, my little puppet. Vespin <laughs> crawls through. The tree sunders. <laughs> and the Lord of Hells gazes boom. Ah, to be home again. As the betrayer steps foot into Exandria. That's all for this episode. <laughs> My puppet, <laughs> oh, Vespin. It has... had everything. <laughs> wow. We all betrayed each other. <laughs> we betrayed the world. The world betrayed the world. Oh my God. And I'm going to remember to say it this time. Is it Thursday? Oh, oh. No! oh my God. <laughs> oh.